Alright, I'm just waiting next to the quest. Yeah, that's all good. I remember the first time I got to this part of the game and I found out that the weapons were called Anima and I thought like, oh, fucking like Final Fantasy X. And mm -hmm. I was like, no, it's a different Anima, but you're not wrong. You, you'd be a little early by a couple of years, about six years, give or take. Then later on, I fought Anima, like, well, that was let down. Oh. Nice mm -hmm. fight boss, but still let down. I mean, it's a good dungeon boss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not yeah. exactly what I was expecting, and I wonder, did they jump the gun <laughs> referencing this, given where Dawn Trail is heading? Well, on him, it kind of just means soul in Latin. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so it makes sense. Oh, is that what it is? You know, I don't, <clears throat> I don't speak Latin, it's a dead language, <laughs> or I'm just <laughs> ignorant. I mean, both are <laughs> applicable, but it's more like yeah. I'm just ignorant. I didn't know Anima was uh, Latin for soul. Yeah. Well, you know, even though the language is dead, a lot of people like to take words of it because they sound fancy. Yeah, they sound fancy. I mean, it's, it's, you sound cultured, sophisticated. Yeah, if you walk up to someone calling him Ma uh, Rumpus Maximus, you just call him an ass in a yeah. fancy way. Because Rumpus Maximus means it literally ass cheek. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Darren, thank you for the tier one. Uh, you as well, Blue Dino. Uh, anyway, I can't wait. When school obligations and grinding up seals, Tombstone stops keeping me from wonder. Uh, I mean, to be fair... Uh, we're going to get into it as we begin this session proper. The Heaven Sword Relic grind is nowhere fucking near as arduous as ARR. Most steps can be bought with poetics, uh, with a couple of exceptions. Like there's still going to be a there's still going to be a dungeon grind. There's going to be a fate grind. It's not as bad as the Atma though from ARR. Uh, and there's going to be a light grind, but there's no book phases. There's no two light grinds. Uh, is there another step I'm forgetting? That that was a real big uh, pain in the ass. No, no, no. Really like it, it really good fucking ARR man. It's really it's really those fucking books. Like that I'm just makes not, yeah. everything just pain. Yeah. Honestly, if you dedicate yourself enough, you can knock the anime in about three four hours. I, I, mean, I don't think it's gonna take that short. I think we're gonna we're gonna stretch this to like maybe two three sessions, mm -hmm. depending on how long we knock these sessions out. Yeah. But um, I mean, yeah, hold on. Let, me, let me switch over. There. I mean, if you if you if you like are like prepare well yeah. enough, like you go through like the first three steps, just like that. <laughs> the only it's step you really like, can't center on the you know, fucking. Yeah, fucking, I think the worst thing about doing all this sort of shit is you get all these fucking wires crossed over, <laughs> and you gotta fucking do this shit. There we go. Oh boy, a bit of this. So, are we allowed to talk about the new class or no, John? No, are you talking about what Viper? Uh, yeah. That was so. Yeah, uh, at the time of this live stream, folks, uh, the European Final Fantasy XIV Fan Fest is uh, currently ongoing. The keynote was early this morning, uh, my time, and I was able to catch most of it. Uh, not all of it, because at that point, I was like, I'm a, I'm a sleepy. Um, <clears throat> but they revealed the name of the new melee DPS. It's Viper. Uh, which is not mm -hmm. Corsair. Uh, I don't think anyone exp expected the name Viper. Puts a new spin yeah. on Toxic DPS, if you get what I mean. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> but it's twin swords. It's scouting. It shares the same gear as Ninja. Mm -hmm. But it has twin swords. It's basically, and, it, and the swords combine into a long staff. It's, it's essentially Zidane from Final Fantasy IX. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the things I thought of as well as soon as I saw it. It's like, oh, that's nice. Very nice. So apparently scouting are the dual wielders or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to be uh, giving it a shot. Maybe I'll find a new favorite DPS, and we'll wait and see. Because uh, originally, when uh, when Reaper debuted in Endwalker, you know, aesthetically, I always thought it looked pretty damn cool. Uh, when I first played it, I didn't exactly uh, gel with it immediately because, uh, well, I, I just didn't quite understand the Entroud phase. 
uh, as well as I thought. But then like a couple months later, I decided to pick it back up again. And then I don't know what exactly changed, but something just clicked. And now Reaper is like legit one of my favorite melee DPSs. Like I don't like it as much as uh, Monk or Samurai, but it's pretty fucking fun. What helps in my case with Reaper because it's maiming, um, it's GCD speed is not as fast as Monk or Samurai, uh, which means that it's much easier to double weave shit as a Reaper than it is Monk or Samurai. Oh, so I liked it immediately. I was to play it like, yeah, I really like this. You know, the shroud phase just felt natural to use. Yeah, uh, Hikari, you're gonna have to. Re you're gonna have to. Uh, uh, you're gonna have to uh, remind me what exactly was I, I was uh, calling you out for on your samurai history. Because uh, I, I I'm drawing a blank. Hell, I'm drawing a blank just trying to finish that fucking sentence a second ago. Uh, but yeah, folks, as we're um, as I'm getting ready to re uh, recollect what I might have said to Akari, uh, we are beginning the Heaven Sword Relic uh, uh, series today. Yeah, there's there's another one. Every expansion has a relic weapon. Now, relic weapons, just to reiterate, are weapons that throughout the expansion and its patch cycle releases is an up is a weapon that you can upgrade by doing whatever the game tells you to do in order to upgrade it. And so at the end of the expansion, it ends up being the best weapon of that expansion that you can just do by just doing casual content, right? If you if you don't feel like doing extremes or savages to get your high end weapons, look at his split, right? Like, I need that shit now. You do uh, the relic weapons so that you can get a really powerful, if not the best weapon of the expansion at your leisure. And that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, and these are called Anima weapons uh, and uh I got memories of this fucking quest line because this was the Heaven Sword was the expansion I had jumped into. Like this was when I was playing the game for the first time, Heaven Sword was the current expansion, and as such, the Anima weapon system was the most current like relic to do, right? So I had to do almost all of those steps as is before they got heavily nerfed to hell and back. And I will gladly share my stories as we get to proper steps later down the road. But Thankfully, it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be because most steps can be solved just by buying shit with poetics, your currency, your end game currency, essentially. And uh, we'll be getting into that later. Uh, it was you misremembering when Sam came out. Yeah, that, 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 that does sound like something I would do. Like poke fun at someone for being wrong. <laughs> yeah, I can't shit. believe you do such a thing. Who would, would do you? such a thing? Now, before we get started on anything, we have to go unlock the quest that starts everything, and I believe that's in Idleshire. Um, it's. Uh, I think we have to talk to Rowena. Yeah, mo all, every, mo pretty much every relic weapon starts with her yeah. involved and Geralt because the Geralt's a fucking drunk. Time for crab. No, she's not a crab. She's the bitch. Uh, yeah, no, just okay, no. up a bitch. Not, not okay. <laughs> not let's let's uh, let, let's not be so mean. She's cutthroat. Like she is a businesswoman that has a good chunk of change for good reason because she is no nonsense. But she knows exactly what she wants. I think that the only person who's actually master is character we will encounter later in the game. All right, let's get this still on the road. Now the story of the relic weapon for Anima, if I remember correctly, is that I mean we're not we're gonna get into it. There's like there's multiple parts to it, but like the short end of it is that we eventually find a means to like create a soul from all this shit that we do, right? To make this mm -hmm. weapon. To eventually we give that soul its own vessel, and that vessel becomes a minion. Uh, that you can just take with you as a means of just like showing that you've, you know, have no life and committed yourself to the grind. Um, Jonathan says Anima has the best relic story. Hmm. You know, it's been uh, so long since I did Anima myself, like that. I actually like I don't remember much of the story at all. I, I don't remember it either. Oh, uh, I just know it exists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is it, essentially. Uh, again, because I haven't done Anima since it was relevant and i think how many uh, animas have i made i've only made two okay, Hold on, i've wait. made more i made every tank one i've made the monk one and uh i don't remember i think i made one more i think i've only made yeah i've only made two i've made warrior axe because of course that was the first one i made and then mm -hmm. later after it got nerfed i made the black mage one the black mage anima mm -hmm. i think is beautiful 
It looks nice. Uh, but we're talking uh, about like the, the favorite uh, relics of that step. Uh, I think the axe looks great. The summoner book is fantastic. Dark Knight is great. Um, the Dragoon Spear, the Bard uh, weapon looks fantastic. So am I going to get pranked and the machinist will look funky? If someone could link you the machinist completed anima, you can be the judge of that blue dino. I don't mm -hmm. remember what it looks like, though. I do remember thinking it looked too gimmicky to be a gun that I would use. Because sometimes <laughs> you got your revolvers, other times you get your glowy super soakers. I think it leads towards the super soaker yeah. himself. Uh, the guy named Hunter, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. And Alma, thank you for the tier one. Just want to say hi, and if you had a if you had a Q and A this month, also, what do you think of Yoshida doing a crossover with himself? That's you know, when Yoshi P said that he got permission from Yoshi P to do a fourteen and sixteen collab. That was like, I'll tell you, that was huge for Yoshi P. I'm so proud of Yoshi P. Getting Yoshi P's permission like that, that's great. Yoshi, Yoshi I'm actually really like excited that. for the sixteen collab uh, because yeah. we not only get uh, what was it, Clive's uh, uh, gear, we get the dog. Yeah, yeah, we get the dog as a mount and a minion, and it's like that is enough to just say yes, yes. Yes, please. The no, Fall Guys please. event, right? Um, that's that's being real. So the Fall Guys event in the 14N is coming out along with patch 6.51, which is October 31st. So the next, not this two, not these two coming up. The next Tuesday, Halloween. And that, uh, so we got a clip of it at, this morning in the Fan Fest, and you know, it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's essentially just Leap of Faith, but with Fall Guys aesthetic, uh, because there was no way in hell they were going to able to implement Fall Guys physics <laughs> uh, in 14's engine. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be as wacky woohoo physics game as uh, Fall Guys is uh, normally, but it still looks pretty kooky. Yeah, I was going to be dressed up like a goddamn bean. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right, I'm sorry. Up. October 35th, right. Uh, so you caught that too, Mr. Plow, right? Uh, fucking uh, Koji Fox mm -hmm. did say October 35th <laughs> when they were announcing the date. And I was like, damn, that's so far away. <laughs> 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 well, we could see how that goes. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, there it is. There with the... Uh, Blue Nano found the weapon. Uh, it's a Gaster Blaster tied to Beikabu two boats. Nice palleted and Sans mm. Undertale. I like how Undertale is just capitalized and Sans is not. Mm -hmm. Meyer spelling mistake. I win. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So these two, obviously, Rowena and Geralt, were clearly a thing. At some point, I don't know how far. Yeah. The, I'm not sure if they're divorced or if they're just bitter, mm -hmm. bitterly separated. But these two have it out for each other, and it's like at multiple points in multiple anima, like multiple relic quest lines, because it's always a thing with mm -hmm. these two. You just like get a fucking room, you guys. Whatever, just settle your differences. Just stop dragging me into it. Oh, they fucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but stop fucking. Uh, Gerald has been blue balls. Hey, I want to go down the street and commit some hate fucks. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> ah, let yeah, me I'll do it, but it's going to cost you poetics. God damn it. No, they're not fucking, but they were definitely a thing. Some time ago. I just don't remember all the details. My favorite thing, though, about the... Uh, this is jumping way ahead here. But the Splendorous Tools uh, quest line in Endwalker, uh, you're dealing with the first counterparts of Rowena and Geralt. But unlike these two, the other one, they're, they're actually in great terms with each other. And because it's such a stark contrast compared to what you usually uh, get from these two, the Warrior of Light just sits there and smiles like, aww. <laughs> it's like these two actually <laughs> love each other. Wow. I got the shirt on the straw. Yeah. No happiness in the source. It's forbidden. Yeah. There's always something horrible going to go down there. Uh, let's see. I'll just teleport to the next area. This is this law. This is going to mostly I don't do too much crafting, so that's great to hear. Honestly, you should do. I, I, and if anyone... I, don't, I understand that crafting and gathering seems, like, daunting. Like, it seems complicated. It's not. 
It's really not. not. And I'm speaking as someone who uses macros to make end, like end game food and uh, potions for raids and all that sort of thing. Just that, but that's made strictly to save time uh, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Uh, crafting and gathering is pretty fucking easy. And if you can, if you have the time to spare to level them up, do so is very much worth it. Oh, here's the uh, completed machinist weapon. Yeah. yeah, so again, man, this thing I, I can look like I can eat this thing Like it I mean, looks like it's candy I'm not sure what it is. I always look weird The glow just never appealed to me. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually remind me to make Oz's law my uh, Home point so that I save on gill for teleportation All right, remember to make Oz's law your uh, home point. Thank you. That was really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do it. Actually, hold on. Let me. Uh... So uh, when you say that, I kind of had to do it myself. Yeah, yeah let's just save on cost. When a aetherite is your home point, uh, you can teleport there for free with return. But return is every nine hundred seconds. That's fifteen minutes, I think. Uh, yeah. So it's it essentially seconds. acts as a free teleport. Minutes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. I'm Let's wondering go. how many people are going to be joining me for this one because, you know, well, not for nothing, gonna, because yeah. Anima, because so many steps of Anima can be just purchased with Poetics now, mm -hmm. like, it is a pretty cozy grind. Like, it's still a grind. Don't get me wrong. We're going to be here. We're in here. We're in here for a bit. But not as long as ARR, but we, we will be here for a bit. But it is a pretty relaxing grind, though. And not for nothing, as, a, as much of a pain in the ass the ARR book phase was in our previous live streams of that sort of shit. I think the raid, the, the relic uh, streams were some of the coziest of our a Realm Reborn experience, man, because we're just fucking bullshitting and just shooting the shit while I smack dungeons for the 50th time. Autumn Weapons, a new saga begins this fall on the CW. Yeah, let's see, starting with the first one. All right, a soul without life. And we're doing it yes. as a Dragoon, so... When we complete this, we will get our first step of the animal relic, which is the animated Bryonac. Or is it Bryonac? Uh, well, I remember that, man. Let me see. I just don't have an interest in these relics, unfortunately. Right, you're sleeping on content, my guy. Come on, you're the, you're the streamer. You're the 14 strummer. I know it's I know it's super fucking casual, right? It's super fucking casual and it's super fucking brain dead, but that's why you, the strummer, needs to make up for the fact by just being a very charming personality. I mean, it's also something that everyone can do. So I recommend just showing it off once. Oh, let's see. Yeah, Let I'm only go like we're that. so for our adventures with Romani, we are doing every relic step from every expansion. Wait, by the end of our adventures, 30 years from now, we will have a relic from every expansion with Romani. For for a relic, for uh, a Realm Reborn, we did Monk. For Heaven Sword, we're going to do Dragoon. Uh, Stormblood, we're going to do Dancer. Uh, for, no, we can't do Dancer and Stormblood because... No, that, um, that's Shadow Banish. Uh, we have to do... Uh, Shadow, so for, for Stormblood, we might go Paladin. Uh, I'm not sure. The we'll thing get is, there the most of the there. Stormblood relics are rather lame. Lame, right. That's the issue with the Stormblood relics. Let's see. Let's speak to this old lady here. I'm trying to remember. Relic grinds are beyond hard to be entertaining for. I'd rather just be mad at Pia. No, I think what you need, Ray, is just you need you need some company. That's all you need. You need someone to talk to and bounce off of. That's why I got these chuckle fucks here. Because sometimes <laughs> I can't carry a stream by myself, right? Now, if I got a few drinks in me, if I'm high, I can carry a conversation. But I don't like doing that because it, after a while, it takes a t it puts a toll on me. You know what I mean? And I can only carry a conversation so much using runoff sentences with little to no punctuation to get my point across. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go into this step. Now, the step we're doing right now can be solved in two ways. One of them is that if you're talking to her, you go off and grind, what is it, what is it, fates? Uh, luminous crystals. You're getting luminous crystals yeah. and fates. Yeah, and once you have the, enough fates, you can buy a crystals, you can buy the certain 
like absolute no to one yeah yeah and, so our no, end our end goal for this one before i'm sorry great outro, so our end goal for this one is we're, we're getting two nodes specifically and yes i said node not nerd uh we're looking for an astro node and an umbral node she will give it to us but in exchange she wants luminous crystals for them now uh, uh go ahead and explain the other part uh Charles. Yeah, uh, you can get those, and that's like, for example, if you're doing Darknet, that's kind of the way you have to do it-ish. Yeah. But you can also get those nodes just right here, right now, if you trade in, you completed Relic Weapon. Yeah. From ARR. If you did your A Realm Reborn Relic completely, like up to the Zeta step, you can trade that in to get those two nodes immediately. Now, you lose that weapon, granted, so... If you have some sentimental value for that weapon because of all that shit you did to get in the fucking first place, you maybe don't want to do that. However, not all is lost because you can buy replicas of each relic step that you completed from the vendor. And it's essentially you just use it for glamour, which everybody is using the relics for anyway. So it's not like it's not that really matters. Uh, I'm not going to be skipping the step by trading in the uh, the the weapon that I got because I, I put a lot of work into it uh, with what yeah. currency Gil. Uh, yep. There are there are specific vendors in this game, Blue Dino, uh, the Calamity Salvager, and I forget what the other one was, that will resell you uh, story related or quest related items that are usually one offs for a small amount of gil. Yeah. So like, because you know, sometimes you'll do quest lines in this game, right? Like MSQ mm -hmm. that rewards you with like you need clothes and that sort of thing. But you know. Mm -hmm. Later down the road, for whatever reason, you may lose those clothes, you may discard them, you may accidentally trade them for seals or some other shit. I don't think you can do that with story related mm -hmm. stuff, but either way, yeah. if you lose them, well, how do you get them back if you already did the story? That's where the Calamity Salvager comes in. You go to them mm -hmm. and you can repurchase those things that you originally lost for a small amount of guilt. Mm -hmm. So, those are nice. Like the example, the most of the vendors with the relic weapons will usually be next to you. Oh, like right. get the quest for it. Uh, well, John's gonna get the luminous crystal. I'd say nuts you, to that. You know, not, yeah, you're just gonna. Yeah. Sorry. So Trios uh, has a realm reborn completed relic on Zeal, and he is going to be skipping this next step, which is uh, so our first step for our Anima relic quest is that we have to grind fates. We need a single luminous crystal from specific fates in specific areas all in heaven's word. Thankfully, it's not as bad as the Atma stuff because the Atma stuff required like what, three, I think, or one. I'm not sure how many you needed. Uh, one, just one, just one. But we just need one of each. So we need to just get one of each of these crystals, which means we have to go to specific areas in heaven's word and grind fates. So I'm going to set up a party finder. Uh, I encourage any of those that are making a relic for themselves, like to join me for this adventure. But again, this is first come first serve. Uh, I'm going to be making private PF, uh, recruit, mm -hmm. uh, let me see here, fucking, uh, fates. Get out to get in on that stuff as well. Uh, HG crystal. Fate That's farm. <laughs> Scooby dooby dooby. Now you're scrappy. Password is 8008, as always. First come, first serve. How big is this game? It's gargantuan if you're including everything that's included. Like, up until Endwalker? The end of Endwalker? We're looking at just doing regular story? About three, four hundred hour, I want to say. Because you're sent each expansion, like not even including the the post patch stuff, are RPGs in their own way. Mm -hmm. Where did all you guys come from? I don't know. <laughs> all right, um, I think our first destination. Uh, we're gonna go down the list. We're gonna go to Falcon's Nest first. I think this is where we can get. Uh, uh, the Falcon's Nest. Uh, let's see, that was which one again? Uh, was Kurthus the... Western Highlands. Yeah, we're gonna, we're looking yeah, for you... we're looking luminous. for a luminous ice crystal. All right. All right. Uh, Malicious Edge. I just recently finished the remakes of Resident Evil Two and Three, and plan on getting back to remake of RE One. Have any tips before I get into it? Like, who's better for a first playthrough? First playthrough, Jill. Uh, yeah. Jill has more it... uh, item slots for her inventory. 
uh, and uh, she has a lockpick, uh, which allows you to open up small chests that Chris needs small keys for. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say, though, because RE1 Remake is based off of original RE and not like over the shoulder RE2 and 3 and 4, um, it is mm-hmm. a more difficult game. So if it ends up being too much, I fucking lower the difficulty, dude. Like, yeah. like, do not have any qualms about lowering difficulty just for the sake of getting past the game, because that game can be pretty hard sometimes. Have fun. That's the yeah. intention of every game. I've been doing, been playing the game as well, and yeah, I really enjoy. It, but I still have to get used to the tank controls again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it's 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 a bit. Hey Clark, how's it going? Hey Clark. Hope uh, okay, everything's right. going well. Fucking the Mario Party thing is next Saturday, I think. Our our, our prelude to our Extra Life event happening in two weeks. Two weeks from today, folks! Mark the date! Fucking, hold on, that we, we already killed that damn thing. God did damn. Did get the crystal? I did not get the crystal, no, because we're not gonna get the crystal just yet. Uh, fucking, hold on a second, let me see. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the plug now, because the, the fucking mm-hmm. here, uh, thanks to Clark uh, for giving me this image, by the way. Uh, Legend of Zelda, cheers for the children. This is our next Extra Life 24-hour event happening November 4th, starting at 12 p.m. EDT, going to 12 p.m. EDT the next day. Why does it say EST, Clark? Daylight Savings Time is dead. (laughs) (laughs) Don't give me a heart attack like that. Uh, Our dedicated trailer will be going live pretty soon. Uh, so that you guys can get all the details then and there. But uh, the cheersforthechildren.com will lead you directly to the Extra Life page to make a charitable contribution if you can. Uh, but yeah, showtime will be November 4th, 12 p.m. EDT. We got a lot of prizes in store for that. I can't wait for it. So I hope you guys look forward to that too because uh, the Extra Life charity stuff is, 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 is usually my favorite event of the year in terms of just doing charity stuff. I always love these two ads and this, and they've always been entertaining so far. Uh, we're going to do, st- st- do the sty high situation, or the sticky situation. Oh, no, it's a st- sticky, sticky, because the pun is sticky. <sighs> I can't Your shadows a giant midna beast. <laughs> okay, lads, first and foremost, uh, I do enjoy that. A second, uh, who told you? <laughs> Wood. <laughs> Uh, who's the boss of this one? Is it that dragon? Oh, that big boy. Need a, um, need that dragon. Let's see which one. Oh, okay. Uh, we're gonna do level sync. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I level sync <laughs> down, the, 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 the ice dragons are like bitch detected. <laughs> <laughs> Percent all pass. You guys are melting these fucking bosses, though. God damn. Oh, that's good. I'll just get some extra XP for my Chocobo. No Luminous Crystal yet, though. Unfortunately, the Luminous Crystal drop rates are kind of obnoxious. They're not as bad as they used to be. I mm-hmm. think they're around the same likelihood as the Atmas and ARR. Yeah, let's go for the Polar Express because it's just the closest. Yeah, it's the closest one. Fuck you, Tom Hanks. <laughs> that's not true. That, I don't mean that, actually. Tom Hanks is... Uh, he's a... I always enjoy his moves. Oh shit. Yeah, nothing is as bad as books. Nothing will ever get as bad as books. If you guys I can, any 14 veterans want to like argue that with uh, another contentious uh, relic step, I am all ears and we can we can compare charts right now. Uh, I but, mean, uh, I'll, what, I'll, do you, what do you think? Uh, well, nothing, yeah, it's... The uh, box can't be ridiculous, but I will argue the Stormblood one only because you have to go through Eureka to get it. True enough, but Eureka can be enjoyable with friends. Except Pagos. Fuck Pagos. <laughs> Pagos <laughs> is the pit. <laughs> Man, I, I am going to be bitching you. so much when we get to Pagos. And this is even yeah. after, like, the nerf. I just fucking hate Pagos. Man, I stopped with Eureka there for a year when yeah. it came out. And then I just... Oh, hey! I got one. Luminous Crystal acquired. Oh. I am done here. Wait, I don't need this shit. Well, I might just save it for later on. <laughs> All right, we are moving on. Unfortunately, I cannot afford to wait for everyone uh, to get their crystals. You will have to... You Oh, look at Aaron Jernate here fucking bragging that I got two luminous ice crystals. I'm kidding. <laughs> but, uh, okay, we're going to move on to the next area. Let's see. We're going to continue on for the Umbral Node. So we're going to go to the Dravanian Forelands next. 
Where do you get them? Uh, they just drop from fates, uh, Blue Dino. After you initiate the Soul Without Life quest, when you do fates in a, a Heaven Sword areas, a, you'll get a random chance to get a crystal. As long as you have the quest up. After you're done with it, you don't have to worry about getting your pockets full of luminous crystals. Yeah, yeah I have 20 of these. Crystals drop from Heaven Sword fates as long as you have the Soul Without Life quest activated right here in the top right. Right, let's see which one we're going to this time. That, that meter or bear apparent. I have no intention of looking at Dead Space games anytime soon, Malicious Edge, because um, my interest for them is next to zero. Like, I'm not doing I'm not doing Dead Space before I do, like, Halo or anything like that, you know what I mean? I mean, consider the theme. Uh, I understand that. Also, honestly, well, Dead Space 1 and 2 are really good. The remake is basically on the same level as the our rem remakes are. Dead Space 3 can go is stupid. <laughs> Soul Without Life sounds like an insult. I mean, it is because you're essentially no lifing this shit, especially when it's relevant. No, I, I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. I got I no no personal uh, stake in any of that. Sounds like someone spent about nine, 14, 14 hours. hours. 14 hours on the light <laughs> grind when it, was re when it was relevant. And that was just to yeah. get it done. I that was the like most that. efficient way possible of grinding, and it still took 14 fucking hours in a row. Yep. Uh, let's see what else I'm That doing. shit was obnoxious. Oh, Damn, I, I was kind of hoping for a fucking first try crystal. Uh, we are looking for luminous uh, earth crystal. Uh, earth crystal. Yeah. Uh, let's go to dead meat. Not dead space, because, you know. Excuse me. So we will hate that shit. I'll be the, the judge. Is... I'll be the judge of that. That doesn't really mean anything to me because I don't play the series and I don't really see. When I don't play a series or anything like that, before I go into a review, what people think of what well, what game or this game, I don't doesn't really mean anything to me. So I don't really care. Yeah, yeah but I'm gonna say my opinion that I've finished the Space Three and it's it goes the Resident Evil Three route like at the twice the speed of. Not, not the Resident Evil, the Resident Evil 6, but the first speed of Resident Evil. Uh, like, the second game is really good. I'm actually streaming it for a while, but it's to see the actualization. The first game is really good with the atmosphere, and then it gets Dead Space 3, which was EA's testing the waters with microtransactions, and it mm. basically made every weapon pointless that he, because he could make them all. Mm. And nothing like have electric buzzsaws that you can shoot at people with, uh, with a shotgun on top of it. I am not kidding, that is a weapon you can make. So all seriousness is taken out out of the game at that point. What's scary is here, bits anyway. Hey, I finished Leon's campaign RE6 today and I enjoyed it. Not for a reason they want me to, but I enjoyed it. At the end of the day, isn't that all that matters? You found some enjoyment out of it to make it worth your money. Unless you pirated it, then you know. <laughs> then your opinion doesn't count. <laughs> I'm kidding. Mm, yeah, I, I don't even remember much from RE6 except the fact that uh, we had Wesker Jr., uh, Sherry for some reason, well, and what else did we have? Uh, Chris and Ada and uh, oh, Leon. Yeah, Leon. Yeah, Leon again because we can't get... Can't Honest get to God, like my biggest problem with RE6 is because I think I reviewed that game last year, right? Um, fucking... The game is too long. Uh, and it, it, it just kind of loses. You know what? We're going to take care of the... We're going to kill two birds at one stone. I think this is the Heaven's War boss fate of the Hinterlands. Uh, the, uh, the four... The, the, the fuck is this place called? The Forelands. The, the Forelands, yeah. The Forelands, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you're going off that one. Where are the Maiden Fair? I think this is like the major boss fate of this area because it has a much longer timer. But you get an achievement for beating this dude. Um, normally, when we're doing like relic farming... Uh, the Fortnite, thank you, uh, Blue Dino. Uh, normally when we're doing relic grinding that involves fates, people tend to avoid the, the big boss fates because they take much longer to kill. But we have a full eight stack here, so I think we'll be able to kill this thing no problem and get an achievement for Romani. How could I use the achievement? I mean, then again, yeah, this is one of those ways you don't, you can't finish on your own. You can, it just takes forever. I don't know, so you'd be lucky if you don't get killed. Yeah. They give you so much time for this one. I think this is like the first step of it. Yeah. 
The big one is special uh, Tarrasque for us. Thank you, uh, Lord Lunder. Wait, I didn't shink. Oh, it's not like I need it. So where's the big boy at? Uh, we just killed him. Hey, Luminous Ice cr uh, Earth Crystal. What the fuck? I can't yeah, Luminous Earth, see Earth anything. Crystal. Wait a minute. Right. Nothing else spawns that? in this area, right? I don't think anything uh, else spawns no. in this area. Nothing that we need. Uh, okay, then we're going to move on to uh, the Hinterlands because we are looking okay. for a water crystal. Uh, and uh, thankfully, the Hinterlands entrance is right over here, so we're just going to fly over here. Oh, yeah, because we don't teleport there. Yeah, we, you can't teleport there. Because even to this day, fucking Hinterlands does not have an Aether Eye. And there is, I think there's a story reason behind that. It's been so long. But mm -hmm. Basically, go yeah, ahead, it, it used to be where the uh, Shirelians, new Shirelian was. Yeah. And then when the city got abandoned and everything, uh, no upkeep, Crystal go bye bye. So we have to go from uh, Idle Shire instead. Uh, we're going to do Gets the Red Out. I guess the Red Out, all right. Uh, let's see. Oh, right, this guy. I got it. Level six. By the way, if you're doing this step, I'd recommend. Why the hell did I use power surgeon? I mean, life surgeon. Uh, if you're doing this step and uh, you have a companion, get your chocobo out because this is free experience for your chocobo. So I've got to give Bob here some love. Oh, why is this thing chasing me? Say hi, Bob. What did I do? There's no one tanking this thing. There's no tanks here. Where are all the tanks? Oh, got the water crystal. <laughs> Should eat my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Not much to eat. Let's <laughs> see how to skip the step in order to get it all. Just go to oh, Idleshire. Like, that's your eighth right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know everybody knows about the goddamn eighth right in Idleshire, but I'm talking about the hinterlands itself specifically. I'm just saying it's like you've got to teleport to Idleshire, and then you have to fucking like either that, yeah. click the eighth right again to teleport to one of these sides, or you have to manually go out. So I'm just saying it's a fucking pain in the ass, and it's like it's like, it's like you know there are so many other areas in this game that have eighth rights all over the goddamn map. Why the hell does Idleshire have to be so different? And it, the end story reason it has something to do with like the Charlands and politics that sort of shit. I know. Uh, but it's like, you know, sometimes for the sake of convenience, I would just like one eighth right. Like one, like, like, like it doesn't even have to be like super close, like something around here or here mm -hmm. or here. You know, it's just like stupid. Yeah, that's one of the areas that, you know, I like the way it looks, but damn, it's a pain in the ass to go back to. Yeah, they clearly just need the Charlians. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not that bad. At the same time, though, I don't know. I feel like if I'm asking for an eighth right in the hinterlands, folks are gonna say fucking baby game, man. They keep spoon feeding these fucking casuals. Dead game. Dead game. <laughs> uh, how about uh, you? Go, you shouldn't die. Uh, I'm right. already eating shit. I don't want to get on top of these pricks. Yeah, I'm not gonna follow up on that. Yeah. Sounds like you had a bad dinner. I'd ask more who cares about the intervals. Well, I mean, I guess after you do uh, the Alexander stuff, it loses some significance for you, I suppose. Once in a while, Lemon Scoot requires you to come here because of story reasons. Yeah. Also, we have a cranky old lady somewhere in a cave down here. Hell, I mean, Hinterlands was kind of like my hub for a while because when I got to the Crystal Sands phase of the, El the Relic, uh, I did the uh, I did the Lev quest method where I farmed amber. Uh, and you oh, do I that, that as you, well. you do that quest here. Well, not here specifically. It's more like around general area. I think it's around here. But uh, that was the best way of doing it. Eat a fucking sandwich, my guy. All right, I just got a water crystal. We're done here with the with the hinterlands. Next, we're gonna go to. Okay, we're done with the umbral nodule. So we're going to now sea do stuff for the astral nodule. We're going to the sea of clouds next. We're looking for a luminous wind crystal. I'm getting I still there. gotta do the fucking tribal quest stuff too, Romani, because I want the Moogle dance and I want the um, the Allied Beast Tribe dance too. Man, I, I hate unlocking the Moogle so fucking much. Yeah, Moogle's on, the Moogle unlock is a, 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 is a pain in the deck. I'm just gonna go for the one. That's uh, I'm gonna the activate Rose the one at the Rose Knight, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So if these are the Anima weapons, does that mean your character's mother has to offer herself as a sacrifice to make it? No, uh, uh, my mother is very much still alive. <laughs> so, no. I'd rather not have to do that. I mean, I know what you're referencing, but <laughs> I don't think I, I don't want to do that. Why would you do that? That sounds a bit I mean. I don't know. I think I think Romani would enjoy a visit to Guado Salami. Yeah, see, I'm not the only one who calls them plays that. <laughs> oh man, I feel I feel horrible for killing these things. They're sort of like cats. Well, they're cats with wings, though. Listen, yeah, that's really cats are adorable. I love cats. Own two myself. <laughs> but if a fucking feral cat on a glider starts coming at me at Mach 5, the cat's got to go. Because I don't think I couldn't outrun that shit. <laughs> we have to collect these other and turn them in. Uh, no, you're protecting them. It's tower defense. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn, I shouldn't have said anything. That way I would just watch your ass try and interact with something you're not supposed to interact with. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening. You, congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> yeah, kill or be killed, man. Try doing the Moogle Tribal Steel Breed an Instinctual Dislike. Just the process of unlocking the Moogle Tribal Quest is a pain in the ass because you are going everywhere <laughs> on that goddamn map just to unlock the quest. And then you still got to do the tribal stuff, which is like, you know, three quests every day in for like two and a half weeks until you max out. But you get the you get the Moogle Dance, which is one of my favorite emotes in the game. It's not fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got our wing crust though, so we can move on. Next up, we are heading to Azazel. We're going back to Azazel. No, we're gonna do Azazel last, actually. Uh, let's go for mm. the luminous lightning crystal in the churning mist. Speaking right. of Moogles, fuck this. This is one of the most more yeah pain in the ass places to navigate. I think they started being less of a pain in the ass after this one. Although the Ruby C is still pretty hot player. Hey, there's a bit just north of us. Uh, that guy, Hunter, I just gave you instructions on the Twitch chat on how exactly to synchronize your account with the Discord. Uh, it's automatic after you synchronize your Twitch and Discord accounts together. Uh, the only thing I'll say is because it's automatic, it's out of my hands how fast uh, your account gets access to it. The best I can do is a forced integration, but that doesn't always work. Like, you will... You will in eventually get access to it but because it's automatic uh that is up to the uh discord gods i suppose yeah but you see this is what i'm talking about though folks like we're already almost done the crystal part of this step you know back in the, the arr atma step like we had to we had to get 12 of that son of a bitch like in this we only need to get six i think it's six right yeah, six in total. So, like, we're, like, to the second last one already. I fucking, I stepped out of the fate and I, my level reset. Get back in here. There we go. I saw that happen to Darren, too. Like, Darren's health went to, like, fucking single digits for a second. Like, what the hell hit him? Or them, <laughs> like, goddamn. Uh, yeah, the moonlift dance that you get from the allied stuff is legit one of my favorite dances in the game. Mm -hmm. I, I still have it on my hotbar for Jean. It's my uh, it's my default dance for uh, like the Moogle dancing sequence or some other shit. I say default dance, I just mean it on Fortnite. Yeah, got the lightning crystal. Oh, and I got a oh, challenge log for that, so that's some, that's free experience. All right, uh, fucking, what the hell is this? Uh, let's go do <laughs> let's go do modicide. <laughs> Yay! Fuck them. As Dark Knight main, I, I uh, am duty bound to hate these fuckers. I think 14's Moogles might be the most insufferable, like versions of them. Can anyone argue otherwise? Can you guys think of another Moogle uh, set of characters in any other Final Fantasy that's as insu it's sufferable, if not more, than the 14 Moogles? The one, the ones in nine can be dickheads. I would argue that, but it's mostly the Silinski, the one that kind of fucks up everything for the Magnet there. 
Well, yeah, the one that causes all the Mognet problems is an asshole, but, you know, th th that's the exception rather than the rule. I would say. Then again, it is kind of a game-long quest, right? So... Mm -hmm. And you can mess up if you do it wrong. Oh, don't Make shit talk, dead. Mog. Mog is adorable and six. Well, that and he's the last of its kind. I'll try Thubin here. It's just fucking... It's just here. I... Uh, I think it's in indicating he's an asshole, considering what the fuck he's saying right now. Yeah. Like, haha, you can't defeat me, man. Oh, shit. Well, no, I think it's like he, he eats Moogles. Well, they eat Moogles. Yeah, okay, he shouldn't do that. You've got a stomach ache. They're also just shit-talking each other. That's why I'm getting all these damn texts. A savage, Jesus. A savage battle to the death. The pain. The blood. The pleasure. Is that all you have? He, this this guy is rapid firing through all of his dialogue because we're <laughs> melting his health. By the way, like that's funny as shit. He doesn't die though. Um, he leaves. I think he just leaves. Yeah. I think Isn't I like, this the boss yeah. that we fight in a uh, Soul Mal? I don't remember. No, that, no, that would be killed because uh, she was Nithok's. Uh, no, no, no. Thing. That's um. That's um. That's um. That's the end boss. I'm talking about the mid boss. I don't the one that has no, the poisonous the gas clouds. I don't remember. No, I don't think it's him. Hmm. Okay, I might be misremembering. But it's normally, been a lot normally if life. fates have like dialogue or anything like that, they have a little more significance than just like tank and spank. Mm -hmm. Uh, let us do. I won't leave you behind uh, in the northeast. Cause it's a boss okay. fight, and boss fights are less to keep track of. No, I won't leave you behind. Is the uh, quest? Uh, the airy called... second boss. Uh, thank you, Keldeo sixty. I was drawing a blank on the fucking dungeon. I don't know why. Yeah, uh, it's a uh, Waguli, Waguli, Waguli. That's the. What'd thing. you call me? Uh, I called you a bitch. <laughs> it's Latin. You would know <laughs> if you didn't. <laughs> you know, know. If you were uncultured. So, what is Final Fantasy XI content? It's coming to fourteen. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, in, in in today's fan fest and uh, earlier this morning, they announced that the Dawn Trail Alliance series is going to be fourteen. Uh, uh, fucking 11, I'm sorry. Uh, it's going to get this shit, right? Fucking Final Fantasy 14 is getting 14 content. I mean, get fucking... That's huge for 14. But, yeah, no, you know, uh, you the Alliance the alliance story is going to be a crossover with Final Fantasy 11. Um, and that should be pretty interesting, especially if, if for someone who's looking to start playing 11. Um, not, not, not soon, but s sooner rather than later because of, they want to make a video on it. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Man, that's going to be an interesting All right. Disease. All Come that's on. left uh, is Aza's Law. And we're looking for a luminous fire crystal. This has been so much faster. Holy shit. Experiment. Experiment, what do you think of Final Fantasy XIV getting Final Fantasy XIV content? Am I supposed to be surprised by that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, we are going- that's too- that's too soon. It's gonna run out. Um... That's about to run out, too. What the fuck? Alright, you know what? We're gonna do Life of Brain. Because yeah, the late escape the is about to end in only- yeah. it's less than 10 seconds. And uh, out of sight, out of mind, it has less than a minute. Yeah, a lot of these are the better one. Uh, we don't have the legal power to buy Life of Brain, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a good movie. No, honestly, got all my favorite memes that are like from the fucking keynote and stuff like that is just involving like the the, the sixteen collab. Because my favorite thing was like <laughs> Yoshi P like giving a medal to himself. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, Yoshi P handing a, a letter of approval to Yoshi P of sixteen, and he just takes a look, take a look later to consider it. <laughs> you know that sort of thing. I got. I, I know we said it earlier in the stream, but I, I am really looking forward to the sixteen collab because of the glamour and because we get Torvalds amount. Which reminds me, we start um, SHC on Monday, don't we? we start... Yeah, um, I, I plugged it in the the sub Discord specifically, but I'll reiterate. Uh, let's let's finish this fate first, though. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be lucky and we'll get a first try, right? That'd be nice. All right, I'll be in the background setting you up with a modern Genesis emulator. Then. Uh, yeah, like I was gonna take. Um, I was gonna. I'm not oh, sure if you're gonna be. Me. If you're gonna be. Uh, if you're gonna be busy uh, Monday experiment. I'm not. Um, yeah, I was just gonna take the day to get everything set up. 
because um, the one thing I'll say now, folks, in case you didn't see the um, the notification in uh, the sub Discord, uh, I'm not going to be streaming. Hey, first try. Uh, we're not going. I'm not going to be streaming five days of Sonic Hacking Contest this week in a row because I have prior commitments. Uh, the prior commitments being on Wednesday, I'm going to the AEW show in Philly. Uh, and that's during the evening. And on Friday evening, I am catching uh, the FNAF movie with Elliot uh, that evening as well. So uh, I'm just not going to be available around that time. So uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. EDT, uh, East Coast and shit. Uh, that's where we're going to be showcasing the Sonic Hacking Contest streams. We're going to be putting priority on the contest entries first and foremost. Uh, but because it's only three days this week, what I'm going to try and do the following week is have a follow up to do some expo entries because, you know, I want to I want to take a look at as many entries as possible. It's just bring up your stream set up to Dynamite and try to get MGF to play Sonic ROM hacks. <laughs> uh, OK, I think we're done, though, because that's uh, I, that's why I have two eggs. Let me get rid of those and dragon blood. No, I'm all right. Where'd the scale come from? I thought that was a Nidhogg scale for a second, but I, I'm, I'm sitting on fucking 200k here. Actually, I don't know how much dragon scales go for him nowadays. Probably not that much, because nobody gives a shit about the seething horde at, uh, weapons anymore. Uh, that, um, oh, what so is this it's pretty easy to get. Dragon scale thing, and thing, nothing. Okay, so let's just gonna get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's really useless. Uh, Kenny Queen, thank you for the tier one. Much appreciated. Um, okay, so let us... Uh, let us take these crystals back to uh, this dude. Lady. No, no, we have to go to Mordona. We have to go back to the girl. Yeah, I'm just there because, you know, I got it already. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm just Actually, you know, crystals, you didn't so. save that much time because we haven't even been an hour yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I you don't have to go You could have kept your weapon, man. Now it's gone. Uh, why? <laughs> I mean, I th I'm lacking two crystals, so... You're not going to sit around waiting for me to get them. Uh, over here, was it? No. Uh, wait. It's near, it's near the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I just kind of lost my way. You know, it's like when you teleport to Camp Drybone and you are you feel like you're in the fucking Millennium Puzzle for a second because you don't, know the, you don't <laughs> see the way out. Yeah. God, Garrett's always about to fucking die when he makes one of these. Oh, this book's ridiculous. Okay, we have our Astral Node. And we have our Umbral Node. With these, we can give these to the dude. And complete our first step of the Relic. And just like that, we're done. With the first one. No, to make it glow. How many FNAF games are there? I can't count that high. <laughs> I lost count after the No, legit, one. I don't know how many FNAF games there are. Like, including spinoffs, right? Oh, are there spinoffs? I think Let I'm like... think, because yeah. I had to look this up recently. There's one through four, mm -hmm. Sister Location, Pizzeria Simulator, VR, Help Wanted. Mm hmm. Uh, security breach, and now there's help. <laughs> you breach, no. <laughs> security breach. Uh, there's nine yeah. main games. One, if we count three, Ultimate four, Custom Night, that's ten. Okay. Seven. FNAF World of Hate. That's the RPG, right? You know, yeah, I, I fucking, yeah. I, 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 I've yeah. been like years ago. That was one of like I've been meaning to go back and go like a follow up video on this one because you know it's the other FNAF game, and then afterwards people just kind of fucking stop talking about it because apparently it's not a good game at all. And I just, it just didn't look interesting to me, so I was like, you know what, I'm good. I'm just going to skip. It feels very much like a baby's first attempt at RPG Maker. Mm. From what I've seen. There's a reason it went free. Oh, uh, okay. I never cared much for the FNAF. I'm seeing the movie come, I was like, yeah, that's okay, but I don't think it's going to be a good movie. But I've known a few people who are into it, so I've just had to do quick catch up so I'm up to snuff. I mean, maybe it's a great movie, I don't know, but I just don't care about FNAF in general. The no. funniest thing that we're looking forward to for the FNAF movie, because here's the thing. 
I'm I'm attending that movie with Elliot just because we 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 like to consume FNAF content on the occasion together. But the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the audience cuz one I know that audience is going to be fucking insufferable, right? But that's kind of the fun with it when you're watching horror movies, right? But two, the look on parents' faces when they finally see what FNAF actually is. <laughs> Because I wonder how many parents out there who don't actually pay attention to what their kids or their teenagers are playing, not realizing Five Nights at Freddy's is like a gruesome spin on the, the, the Chuck E. Cheese formula or some other shit, you know? Oh, look, it has animatronics. Most parents oh, don't might even say what the hell is a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> uh. A powerful yeah. rat named Charles Entertainment Cheese. I mean, how open and gruesome do you think that... Well, no, it's not so much being openly gruesome, but they are very disturbing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Next up, we have to go into Snowcloak. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, we have completed the first step. Uh, let me see here. Fucking put some clothes on, Romani. All right. Uh, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's a nice base weapon, but it could be a lot better. We're not going to equip it, though, because it's it's terribly weak compared to what you we have You have to equip have. it to start the quest. I don't want to. <laughs> well, you put it off. <laughs> put it off. Yeah. I made it. <laughs> uh, who are we talking to? Are we talking Are we talking to uh, fucking... Uh, are we talking to... Uh, Ardasher? Yeah, talking... Yeah, Ardasher. All right, toughening up. up. This is the dungeon grind, I think. Yeah, thankfully, we can just unsync that, thankfully. Yeah, we can untake this. Let's see, the ones we're doing, we're doing... No he sold his clothes to help Joan meet Rat on the bar this month. Hell no. <laughs> Joan never has trouble with the Rat because Joan is loaded. Like, not bragging, sort of, but you are. Joan is loaded with money. Joan has enough money that by hopefully by the end of this month, I'll have enough to buy a golden monkey. <laughs> I'm Man, almost there, back. folks. I'm, I'm sitting at 95 million. Because you know what? Because I, 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 I reached um I reached rank twenty on my island sanctuary, and because of that, I can start doing those felicitous favors, and those tokens you can exchange for vouchers. You can put those vouchers on the market board, and I've been selling them for like three hundred k a pop, and Man. business has been good. That 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 heavily expedited the process. Why have one golden monkey? Man, one whole can of beer, fuck a bottle actually, Mick. But uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Maybe we should try that out next time I'm in the states. Our well, stature is like the, the the prettiest fucking man I've ever seen in my life. And it, it, our stature's a guy, right? Yeah, he's a guy. <laughs> he's a guy. I was like, man, what a, what a face. That's a pretty That's fucking face. The boots are too shiny yeah. though. It's the high house ones. I yeah, actually yeah. use them for a bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have to go into dungeon, so we can only have four people with us. Two. Oh man. Geralt is Johnny as a blacksmith. Uh, any comments on that? Why are we going there? Alright, I'm over there. Alright, so we're at to. Oh! <laughs> no! I don't want to go back to Snow Cloak. I thought I was done. <laughs> Fuck me, I actually forgot that the first dungeon you head into is actually Snowclick. I thought Did you Snowclick. think I was just I th saying yes! just to be an asshole? Yes, okay, because everybody it. does that here. <laughs> everybody <laughs> does that here. Don't try to like I'm, I'm I've never fucked with you ever in my life. Ever. Ever. Would I do that? Yeah, it's a good thing I did MSQ. <laughs> but you, you need MSQ. You need to do Snowcloak for you even after Heaven's Sword. <laughs> unfortunately, Snowcloak is a dungeon for men at that. So unfortunately, half of you are going to have to die. So I'm going to do the Thanos snap and uh, choose at random on who is like uh, fucking. Uh, wait, so who can't do the step yet because they didn't get their crystals? I just want to make sure. Uh, I'm uh, Blue Dino, did you uh, fucking. Uh, Piss on him, Joe Bud. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cry. All right, so. Okay, Blue Diamond traded in the his. Uh, oh, he, he traded in the, uh, the, 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 the relic to skip the crystal phase. Okay. 
Um, all right, then what I'm gonna do is uh, kick you, Aaron. Sorry, uh, sorry, uh, trails. <laughs> not hey, not what I mean, because I think they're because I, oh, I don't know. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. Because I forget, you, like, you didn't you didn't skip this part either. No, I already have the book in my hand. I was like, well, it's like, go brag, brag about it. <laughs> I was fucking, uh, look at my book. Oh, this is the, so if, if, you're, if you're not, if, if you can't join this party, I implore you just make a party with a few other heads on because this this step's easy. Like all you're doing is just unsinking all these dungeons. What we'll, we we'll, we'll done in no time. All right, we got enough. We got enough. We got enough. Okay, let's see. Uh, we should be fine. Uh, let me do a raid check. When I killed your brother. I think you only need the weapon. So here's the thing: in order for this to count towards the step, the weapon has to be equipped by the end of the dungeon. So mm -hmm. before you finish the boss off, make sure you have the weapon equipped. It doesn't matter if you have the weapon equipped at the beginning of the dungeon or some other shit. Just make sure mm -hmm. before you engage the final boss, you have the weapon equipped. Please do not forget that because I fucked that up multiple times. Yeah. Uh, unrestricted party is a go. All right, snow cloak, snow cloak, snow cloak, snow cloak. That's right. going back in. Don't make me go in there. I ain't going oh. back to jail. Let's see, are you gonna go in there when equipped with the relic already? Uh, local streamer has to Sophie's choices party members for memorable content like snow cloak. <laughs> More news at eleven. <laughs> Truly, these are the tough decisions one has to make in their lifetime. All right, who's not ready? Come on. Will I make a video about the new Sonic game? What the fuck? What kind of question is that? Of course. I always make new videos. I forgot to upgrade the portrait. I got DMV'd. Uh, Sonic Superstars is my next video, though. I won't be ready for a bit because I still got some things to do in that one. Oh, my God. I can't wait to fucking talk about that game. Uh, I'm not gonna bother eating food. Because we're, we're unsinking this shit anyway, so. John doesn't like Sonic games. What are you talking about? <laughs> Last one to the final boss has to do an AR relic book. How about you eat my ass? <laughs> That's a bear. Oh, did no one grab the key? Oh, thank you. You do ARR relic for the axe and nothing else. Uh, I have done the ARR relic. Actually, hold on. I'm trying to think how many times I've done. I've done it at least twice with Jean, um, because I did it, I did it for Excalibur and I did it for Ragnarok Zeta, the axe. Yeah, uh, and then I did it another time with Romani uh, for the Kaiser Knuckles. Is that it? Am I forgetting anything else? I think that's it. Uh, I'm gonna pass on this. I recommend blue dino though need or greed when they can because you're gonna you can trade this stuff in for seals and you will need seals for one of the finals well not the final steps but a step pretty com uh, coming pretty soon. The Bard Relic? Are we talking ARR? Or, uh, Heaven Sword? Or both, actually, I guess is a, is a valid uh, answer as well. The Bard, uh, Anima Weapon in Heaven Sword is fantastic. Retainer Ventures are also quite good for seals in a more passive matter. Uh, how do you mean, Storm? Uh, how do you get seals from retainers? Oh yeah, I guess if you if you um, if you're doing um, quick ventures, you can just trade in the stuff they give you.
Honestly, no, Anima sucks design-wise. I don't hard disagree. I think there are a couple weapons that are honestly fuck. Like the Black Mage one, the Dragoon, the Bard weapon, the Axe, the Paladin weapon, the Dark Knight sword, the Summoner book. Nah, I, I, I can't agree with that. Uh, I think a lot of them look fantastic. Oh, that's what you said. You know what? I just, I misread what you said, Aaron. Now that I'm thinking about it, there's no punctuation in your sentence. So I misread it as, uh, honestly, no, Anima sucks. I, I don't know why I read it that way. I think it's because I got, like, like fuck, negative juices in the brain, right? Because the internet has fucking destroyed me. I'm, uh, I guess on that topic then, just for the sake of keeping the conversation going, and I think Trios died. No, I'm alive. I just muted myself. Oh, idiot. I wonder why you were going. I was, yeah. going. I was like, I guess he <laughs> got distracted by something. In the last week was ham. Ham? Uh, I was asked if ham was all, uh, if this package of ham was all right because I was a little bit old. Oh. Well, what's the, uh, what's the uh, general rule of thumb when it comes to food beyond its expiration date? Uh, depends I, on. I the give it a week. Food. A week, yeah. Like milk can be good for uh, about a week or so. About a week or so, yeah. The sell by yeah, date is just a sell by date. It is not. There's no magical power, right? That when the clock strikes midnight in your zone, that the food is now suddenly inevitable, like. Yeah. No, it's just that it's the it's the period where they can no longer reasonably sell it without risking something. So yeah. it doesn't mean the food itself is bad. It's just that that's when they got to stop selling it. Okay. But I think general rule of thumb is a week or so past expiration date. You're still in the clear. Yeah, I think like with some meats, like with chicken, I wouldn't really risk it. But with milk, until it actually starts to chunk up, you're fine. Yeah. Next up is Sestasia. Sestasia hard. Uh, okay. Yeah. Me use that bowls of cereals before and not realize the milk's gone yeah. solid. Oh, that's a fucking worst feeling in the world, dude. Um, yeah. I didn't even notice until I ate it. That's the thing, because like I, I, I was guilty of that myself uh, as a kid because, you know, I just want some cereal and I'm, I'm fucking pouring a bowl, not really paying attention to it, not realizing, hey, this shit's cottage cheese. Well, that's shit into cake. You got a good cake. But the uh, the only thing you really shouldn't be ball be careful around if it's past its expiration date is medicine. Do not use it at all. Well, what is it? Medicine. Do not medicine. never use. Yeah, never use medicine past its expiration date. It most likely will fucking kill you. Or at least it's really uh, it injure you. Uh, but like for example, candy can is often like good for months, if not years, after past its expiration date because of. Who doesn't meet the yeah. requirements for this one? Did someone not unlock this? I have it unlocked. <laughs> Nico! Go unlock Sestasha hard real quick. Come on. Let's go. Vamanos. Go. <laughs> I'm sorry, right, I have a good night, Latin. Mr. Sonic Gen. If that is your real name. Hmm. Depends. Cold cut three days past the... Uh, there's a reason you can't cook it around the third day and actually when they start to meet you actually want him to go past their quote unquote expiration cook date for three example. days past day can good can goods get a couple no yeah can't okay I'm sorry I'm, I'm, you, you, got, you guys are terrible at fucking punctuating these sentences and I'm also just a bad reader uh, cold cuts <laughs> three days past day can see there should be a period there not a comma can goods get a couple of months uh, yeah, yeah, uh, and milk gets until it smells funny, and even then you can still use it in certain recipes until you get clumped. I mean, even at that point, once it starts smelling funny, toss it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Just hard, fucking I toss it. Is, yeah, I think such a hard was it in Limsa. It's in but Limsa. Cold, it's pri with, I think it's probably pirates again or thing or what it's called. Yeah. When it comes to cold cuts, I mean, it depends on what type of meat you're using. Uh, usually beef and lamb can you can use a lot longer in most restaurants they actually let them start mold a bit on the outside yeah, before yeah. they cut off the mold because that is them being tenderized and stuff like that uh, chicken don't no uh, don't, don't fuck with chicken don't fuck with red meat either yeah 
Like, uh, do not risk that ship because you just get salmonella. And salmonella is not fun. No, it isn't. Uh, is pork, uh, same. Can be a bit more lenient with it, but. Quickie bar ham, to... yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Drops like a hot dog like... on the floor. Oh, well, let's sell it anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, that's all I can remember. Usually, uh, one thing about red meat is if it's from certain places, you can just eat it raw. God damn it. Quickie Mart. Quickie Mart shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> where was this? Oh, yeah, uh, we're just waiting for uh, Nico to unlock Stasha Hard so we can continue moving. Uh, Stasha Hard is on its definite pirates. Uh, yeah, it's definitely pirates in Limsa, right? Yeah, Limsa, it's Reiner. Okay. His name. Sindri? Uh, so for the sake of the conversation, I've been thinking of what class for each role when it comes to being relevant in Shadowbringers. Is Summoner really smooth brain as a class? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Summoner is pretty fucking easy. Like, it is probably the simplest casting job. Uh... And I think it's very accessible. Um, it is legit become my second favorite casting job after the Endwalker reboot. Or rework, I should say. Endwalker reboot. Yeah, I don't know why I rephrase it like that, but... Um, Summoner, Summoner fucks. Like, I, I, I fuck with this new job identity that I did previously. Uh, and I know that might be a bit contentious with some, especially those that love playing Summoner before the rework, because they love, you know, the, the fucking three-hour long rotation and shit. But, to me, the the one thing that always bothered me about Summoner before the rework was that it was more associated with dots than it was, like, summoning things. Which, I know it's weird to say because you still summon things, but it didn't really... I didn't really feel like that was the major part of the job's identity. Which is not to say I... I I, I, I would mind them bringing it back it reworked as another job you know make a dedicated dot mage or some other shit and it just make it old school summoner but I don't miss old summoner I don't I think new summoner in terms of its job identity is just much better in every way yeah I didn't touch summoner until yeah. and when I saw when I started to fill around with it I was like yeah this is actually a lot of fun I didn't like need to constantly be watching bar uh, deep buffs on yeah. timers yeah, that's, that's to say, like fun. again, I don't want to, I don't want to invalidate those that love playing Old Summoner, right? Because again, Old Summoner still had a few tricks up its sleeve. Fuck, if it wasn't for Old Old, Old, Old Summoner, still had Death Flare. And when I first saw Death Flare, this fucking satellite beam from nowhere just eviscerating everything in front of you—that was love at first sight. That was what legit made me pick up Summoner the first time before I realized, hey, this shit sucks. <laughs> but Death Flare is awesome. Uh, I just could not drive with dot mage. Uh, I just couldn't drive with the dots and the the, the, the pet management and positioning here and there and that sort of thing. Like I know it, 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 it's a more advanced state of play, but I if it doesn't feel good to use, then I don't consider it a good job. Personally speaking, that's how that's my yeah. philosophy. It's not a such a matter of the utility, the kit, the the power of the class itself. Do I have fun using it? If the answer is no, I don't consider it a good job. To me. I have to stress, to me. Yeah, but what about me? What, what about, about you? Me? Fucking play. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> Machinist's uh, Machinist rework uh, was in Shadowbringers, and that in itself is... Machinist and someone actually got a very similar rework. Uh, and just in terms of just how simplified Machinists got. Now, I'll be the first to say that a part of me does kind of miss the ammunition mechanic of original Machinists, right? Because originally, uh, you had to stock up ammunition to do certain attacks or to power up certain attacks. And that was fine. But once Stormblood came into the picture and introduced the heat gauge, the original heat gauge was fucking garbage. Hated it. Did not like it. Turned me off from Machinist completely for the entire expansion. And then Shadowbringers comes by and reworks the entire class, where now it, you're, you're more in line with Edgar's uh, Machinist tools from Final Fantasy VI than you are, you know, shooty, shooty, bang, bang. And I think that it's it's much better for it. Machinist is my favorite Fizz range uh, DPS. Easily. Easily. 
it does a lot of damage it feels great to play and i just i feel so in control of my actions Yeah, the machine feels a lot more better now. I do remember the, like, the excitement you felt when you were I reloading. forgot to fucking change... Oh, remind me to fix the portrait. <laughs> Alright, I'll do that once we're out. Oh, uh, that's roughly how I feel with Astro. I love the aesthetics, but playing it at level 99 content has so much going on that I get too stressed trying to juggle everything. I can do it, but it isn't fun to me uh, because of that. Honest to God, like, Astro used to be my favorite regen healer. Um, but then... Yeah, I have to agree. Like starting with uh, N Walker, um, I don't know what it is. It like there's just something about it that I just can't. I have trouble keeping track of. Honestly, the fucking Lady of Crowns, uh, Lady uh, the the DPS or healing card. I keep fucking yeah. forget that button's even there. Uh, and yeah. um, uh, uh, nothing. What, what was uh, I uh, forgetting? The, not, no, I think that's it. Actually, everything else I'm okay with. You know, Macro Cosmos, that, that is a, that's a, I love that fucking ability. That, that is a very powerful ability. Um, the thing is, uh, after they change the cards to basically be a DP, if you're arranged, you get more DPS, if you're melee DPS. Right. Like, it makes it simpler to play, but I kind of missed the time when you had to, like, think about which card you were using. That said, though... <laughs> the uh, problem the is, is that that just emphasized, that, that put too much emphasis on the RNG element of AST. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know how people get fucking people optimize the fucking shit out of everything where if they're not drawing what they need for a specific purpose, it's considered a dead draw. And at that point, mm -hmm. you know, you're exact you're 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 describing exactly the reason why they simplified it in the first place. Yeah. Because everybody bitched about it. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, but with that said, nobody liked the RNG and I remember when I was doing uh, raids and you had to do a bunch of re with, with pulls because oh the astro got the spire yeah yeah it's like oh wonderful now do we stand here for what how long uh 30 seconds god damn it and you got really bad luck Oof. i hated the beginning yeah back in the day astro cards uh were not just straight up uh damage increases there were um like let me see if i can remember all of this uh actually uh, uh, the, all right, so the end all be all card that you wanted more than anything else was the balance because that was just straight up damage increase. Yeah. Um, the arrow, I think, was second because that was speed increase. That was a haste, essentially. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, gave like a monk with max grease lightning stacks and a souped up arrow, because there was also an ability that augmented the card effects too. I forget which mm -hmm. one it was, but you, you essentially souped up the card effect. And the arrow with a monk at max speed was fucking a TP hog. It was quite a sight to behold, but unruly as shit. <laughs> uh, there was a card that restored mana. There was a there was a card that restored TP. I think that was the, the um, that was the spire. Was the, yeah, the spire, the spire originally spire did that. Yeah, it always got checked out. Always. Yeah, like the spire was considered a dead draw because nobody liked TP. Um, mm -hmm. The Ewer actually uh, increased yeah, uh, that, MP. Yeah, that, no, the you, yeah, Ewer was a H MP restorer. What did the ball do? The tree. The ball. The tree. Uh, was that defense? I, I think it was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was defense. Remember, it was something that tanks like to get. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Then there was the spear, which was a creating increase, which I think was the second they saw. Well, uh, spear was crit rate. Off. Yeah, spear was crit rate. Yeah. But more often than not. Folks were always fishing for balances. And at that point, you have to ask yourself, does the card system really matter if you're only trying to farm for one specific card? In raid scenes specifically, you know what I mean? Yeah, so at the end of the matter. day, I see why they simplified it so that every card just does basic damage up, you know? Mm. Because that is how folks were playing it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that one I understood. Stood. So in certain way, like it lost some of its identity. <laughs> Astro should just ran some pot of green skill issue. Yeah. <laughs> just draw a better card, dipshit. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, it just gave Astro its own flavor, but that flavor was kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Oh yeah, we're almost done with the sunshine. 
Hey, I love my 1 in 64 chance to take two full 09 as for extended party wide bouncing, then get everybody right set of mechanics. Mm -hmm. I, and not even as a joke, man. I fucking that sounds insufferable. Oh, you know, I completely forgot about that too. There was there were there was abilities with Astro that allowed you to spread the whole card effect to the entire party. Now that's yeah. fine. I actually would like to see that brought back. Uh, uh, to, but that, I mean, but they didn't. But they just that just that's just, that's just divination. Mm -hmm. uh, because again, the one card they were fishing for for that was balance, and. AOE spread balance across the entire party. Congratulations, you just described divination. So divination, they just they just simplified it. They fucking they just gave you a button that you hit every two minutes, and that's fine because it just it 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 gets rid of all the busy work that people think is skill. It's not. It's RNG. There's no skill in RNG, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna be checking my recruitments after the end of this. I might be getting um, some folks I want to see uh, oh, afterwards. All right, Sunken Temple of Karn is next. I'm do a raid check. Nobody was immediately X'd out, which means everyone's out of the instance. Oh, we're just running down the gamut, aren't we? Who doesn't Pretty meet the... Good. Nico! <laughs> Nico, you fool! Nico, I'm going to need you to just unlock every optional ARR dungeon at this point. <laughs> because I think all of our dungeons at this point are optional ARR dungeons. They they are. It's, uh, no, they are until we get after Dusk Witch Shield. After that. Yeah, we're going uh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bob. Bob's gone. I miss Bob already. Uh, that's almost like he was here. Hold up, what part of Astro was like Time Mage? When did that happen? Oh yeah, uh, Astro used to have an ability that extended the uh, dur duration of the card buff. Um, I forgot what it was called. I think it was Time Dilation or something like that. Yeah, um, it was Time Dilation. Yeah, yeah, but it, it had an effect that it extended the the effect of the card that you gave to the enemy. Yeah, that, that was, it was, and it had a nice little sound effect too. It was like, it was like I think I ever called like a clock ticker. Like it was really nice. Yeah, I mean, there are things about old Astro that I like just in terms of its job identity, but a big thing about Astro is that fucking card system. Um, and that has been reworked so many goddamn times. Uh, where is, uh, where is Sunko Temple Karn hard unlocked? Uh, hold on, let me check it out. That's an old doll, I want to say. Sunko Temple Karn... Uh, no, uh, I think it actually, yeah, I think it was Wrath of Quarn, which is unlocked in Mordona. Mordona? More donuts? Mmm, yeah. donuts. Okay, I actually had to reward myself today because I basically went on the scale again and yeah, I've lost about extra eight pounds for the month. Fucking, I gotta go back on my shit too, dude. I'm gonna tell you the worst thing about. The worst thing of uh, one of the worst things I've uh, I've experienced being a content creator, folks, mm -hmm. one that does videos for a living, one that you have to stare at yourself for an unhealthy amount of time because you're editing shit, is that when for whatever reason, like you like you you do workout programs and yoga, and for whatever reason, right, maybe it's because you're under you're in a mental rut or. You get lazy and you fall off of your workout session, and you 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 you're convincing yourself that you're putting on the pounds again. It's the worst fucking feeling in the world. I gotta tell you that, folks. But I'm getting to a point where it's like I'm 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 in I'm in my late thirties now. Not my late thirties, but middle thirties. I'm gonna be yeah, forty. I'm gonna be forty in four years. Like, that yeah, shit's fucking weird. nuts. Yeah. But it's also like, I don't want to fucking get as heavy as I was a couple of years ago, right? I think at my heaviest, I was uh, 297. Mm. Uh, 2020 or 2019? What, those videos around that time, that was where I was my heaviest. And I don't want to ever cool. be that fucking big again. Because I was going through a myriad of issues just going through that shit. Plus, it was 2020. I mean, the older you get, it's more important to keep, to get on it. Uh, there's one thing, like in July, uh, I was stepped on the scale. I was like, "This yeah. is the heaviest I've ever been in my life." Like, this stops now. Yeah, yeah. But and the I problem is, is that when you when you're actively looking at yourself, right, 
and you th- and you, you you swear to Christ, like, uh, is it the camera putting on the weight, or is it because I'm not working out as hard as I used to? And the answer, I think, is definitely the latter. You know what I mean? But sometimes mm-hmm. I get too caught up in that. It's like, like I'm a fucking piece of shit, man. Like, no, you're you're not. It's like you 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 clearly demonstrated that you've done it before. You can do it again. Yeah. You know, and it's not as if you stop like eating, like okay. I still drink a shitload of water. I piss water, man, with how much <laughs> I fucking drink it. But, but sometimes you just end up in those moments where you're like, oh, oh dear. Yeah, I'm back in that. I'm back in old ha- bad habits that I thought I was gotten rid yeah. of. So you just have to like. It, you have to just click on your head like this stops now. Uh, but until then, it's gonna be a lot of. I say I'm going to not do it now. I think the like, trick okay, is the, the the fucking trick. Like a big part of the trick is just like finding a means to make it entertaining. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because working out is working out, right? Nobody yeah. wants to work out and be reminded that they're working out unless they genuinely enjoy that shit. Uh, but. I gotta, I gotta spruce things up, and I just don't know where to fucking begin. But it's one of those things that everybody's got three thousand answers for, so I feel overwhelmed when I ask that question. You know what I mean? The plan. Yeah, I see. I tried the Ring Fit. It bored me. <laughs> <laughs> the Ring Fit bored me. It wasn't even because I was sore, because that did, that it did kick my ass. I, I, I will give Ring Fit that. Like it did fucking kick my ass, but it it, it fucking bored me, man. I would love DDR sessions, but I need a DDR pad, man. And I can't, I can't rock a fucking flimsy ass plastic pad from GameStop. And the foam pads from like yesteryear are not available anymore. And metal pads are expensive, if not outright impossible to find. And there's only one thing you can do: buy an entire arcade cabinet. Yes, truly. Where the <laughs> fuck would I even put it? Like that's that that is a genuine question. Like if I were to just, hold, I forgot the fucking portrait again. If I, <laughs> if I were to if I were to dedicate a whole ass spot to a DDR machine, it would be extreme, by the way, because I, I, I hate change. Uh, I don't know where the fuck I put it at. Yeah, that, I can't really help him. I wouldn't say I don't know how it's hard to your place. Pick up a basement for your D. <laughs> I'm in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> My office is always in the basement of whatever place I call my home. I got a garage, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to do with my garage just yet. Him? I'm not sure yet. Because uh, Nora, she drives a truck, but we don't we don't use the garage for a parking spot because we have a lot of we have plenty of land next to the garage that we can just park the truck there. So I'm not entirely sure what I want to use the base, uh, the basement, the fucking garage, just for yet. <laughs> the basement is the garage, huh? Just, why is everyone running away? But what do you call it, Santiago? No. I don't know the car storage. <laughs> no, he's making a Simpsons reference. I was completing it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a car, so I don't have to deal with that. Yo, <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he just looked at me like, oh shit. He gets up, eats shit immediately. Oh man, I don't even know that thing. I just bombed it with AoEs. Time to call Dig Dug for more basement space. I would love that. You fucking hire subcontractors to excavate some land, and all you just hear in the distance like. <laughs> oh, you see, they're working okay. right now. How do you know? You don't hear it? <laughs> hey, while your neighbors are free in the morning, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Turn <outside>? it down! <laughs> and I just hear the pop, and people go, oh shit. How do you know when they're done? And how long Ruby decides to take the cast? Just take up the foundation. I hope your house doesn't sink. 
Ah. Uh, of course, it's so simple. Why didn't I think of that? You know, I forgot that I'm doing this unsynced. I'm a level 71 Dragoon, which means I have access to my Dragon Sight, and I just blanked on it. I don't deserve yeah, to I call have. myself a gamer. Fake gamer. Oh my god. Just use Amnesis to move your foundation. Over. It's so easy, man. Just bought it. <laughs> yeah, I'm Amnesis, I'm thinking of... Uh, Pandemonium. The, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I just think of the of the dungeon and Shadowbringers. Oh yeah, right. Uh, let's see. Get off me! Thank you. <laughs> Unhand me, no. Okay. Dude, I'm all hand. No, if you take out the guy's right hand first, you're a monster. Amnesis is the secret to many things considered unnatural. You see the size oh, of those tits? <laughs> oh, God. What? What is it? What? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's Johnny it, Gaming. I still have that fucking slip, by the way. I'm never getting rid of that. When I was doing a potential sponsor for something that I ended up not following up on because it didn't work out, uh, the product they sent me, my name on the, the, the packaging slip was Johnny Gaming. <laughs> and it's like, that, that, is, that is not even close. <laughs> uh, Adam Bomb made an intro for it. Yeah, uh, I think I still have it. Give me a second. Okay, is this it? Uh, yeah, nice water by the way. There we go. Oh, wow. YouTube.com. <laughs> Johnny <G. laughs> I mean, to be fair, the yeah, water kind of Oh, back to be in the early 2000s. Oh, no, at loot 2000s. Did you guys fucking leave a hybrid? <laughs> yes, you did. Yes. All I just see is just follow the corpses, John. Taking care of Balland tonight. I think we're now. Uh, let's see. Uh, we need to activate this one too. Yeah, both of them. Is it open yet? Not yet. Alright, let's turn it on. What's the thing? Give me Bob and it does a chicka doodle. Getting back on my cycling bike now for the first time in months, I really shouldn't be neglecting it like this. And that's the thing, isn't that the that's the fucked up thing, right? It's it's so easy to convince mm -hmm. yourself. It's like, yeah, I'll start tomorrow. I'll start the next day. Yeah. Then one day becomes two, two becomes four, four becomes eight, eight becomes sixteen, and yeah. such and such and such and such. You know. And the worst thing is, is that you're aware of it, and still nothing fucking happens. Like, sometimes, honestly, God feels like you need a slap in the ass from a friend or a family member to tell you, hey, fucking get your shit together because you're dying. Hey, Chucky, yeah, so much ass I can slap with it yeah. five times in a row. Okay, but if you can and slap my ass my... a little harder. <laughs> All right, let me get the, let me get the smack knuckles. But, uh, what are you doing here? All right, and he, like, every third dungeon, he just pops up, like, oh, yeah, how is this doing? Hmm, uh, stuff, things. Where the hell did you get that hairstyle? Uh, which one? The one I'm wearing? No, uh... The kid. Oh, I don't know. No, then again, it's a high uh, size. Alright, now we're going... Why did I get on my crap? Uh, we are going to Keeper uh, of the Lake. Now, that's an MSQ dungeon. I know for a fact everybody has that shit. Uh, Blue Gun, I was watching the cutscene. Okay, never mind. Update the portrait, okay. thank you. That's the Dragoon yeah, one. Uh, oh, wait, wait, no, uh, I gotta, uh, um... I gotta do this first. Alright. Oh wait, we can't. I can't. I don't. Think, oh wait, why is it on that one? We can't do it in. We can't do it in outside of town. What outside wait, of what? What do you mean? Update the portrait? Wait, why? I just did it right wait, now. Oh. God damn it! I forgot to update my. Wait, why can't I update my portrait? Wait. Oh fuck it! I'm going back. I'm going to old up. Why is everyone going to old up? What's an old up? <laughs> <laughs> people. Uh, hold on, let me see. Wait. Okay, now I can fucking. Yeah, I already updated. What the fuck? Oh, never mind. I'm good. You good to go? 
Yeah, I'm good to go. If I get the MW, I'm gonna go Zeus that one. Oh boy, we're gonna lose our blast now light again. We just got that. Canonically. Who has I mean, a press plus? Uh, probably someone dropping some shit off. I believe I said they were dropping something off. I don't remember what. I think it's Santiago. Aaron has green hair too. They must be Twitch drummer. Oh, <laughs> I killed them. <laughs> <laughs> oh goddamn! <laughs> yeah, that, that's my like cringe. <laughs> do, 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 do. Just fucking falls forward. <laughs> I kind of find it weird that people appropriated that sound to be in the death. Who wasn't sound. ready? <laughs> Lawless <ready>. deletus. <laughs> <laughs> nice argument, but I cast testicular torsion. <laughs> well, that's a bit uh, extreme. Who's not hitting yes? <laughs> It's like hard. It might. You hit commence, <laughs> and then we hit, then we go to the dungeon, and we keep, we get a move on. Yeah, but where do you hit the start button? I don't know. <laughs> Who's falling asleep? <laughs> it's Johnny Nico, Gaming, it's I again. bet. <laughs> Did someone AFK? That might, am I just dumb? Am I blind? I mean, it's valid. I might, I might be. Uh, I'm not gonna. Show. Did someone I'm leave to go show. take a shit? Because if you gotta go to the bathroom, I understand that. But you know, at least give me a fucking reason in that chat. Uh, Nico's Nico's here. Uh, Who's not hitting yes? Hit yes, goddammit. Hit commence! Who's doing that? <laughs> my bow my bowels are empty. Okay, Is it Nico? Uh, the Nico AFK? No, I'm, gonna do, right I'm gonna do a raid turk one more time. He's right here. He's right here next to me, but It's Nico. Nico, you fool. Yeah, Nico AFK. I didn't see a AFK or a BRB. God damn it. Like, I'm going back to the chat just to make sure I'm not blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't see anything. Uh, God damn it. Meanwhile, as soon as I go to uh, get spanned by a fucking... Okay, there we go. I'm getting spanned by another goddamn FC invite. FC invite? Nah, just fucking sick yeah. with the busy at that point. Yeah, you're you're already know. at a party. Yeah. I mean, I, I wonder if there's still a chance to tactics because twice this week I had people complimenting my chocobo. It's just basic co chocobo with a Shiva parting. No, they're just trying to butter you up to get an FC invite. Yeah, exactly. I was like, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Might have gotten been... distracted. A likely Damn. story. Uh, but my counterpoint <laughs> is nice card. Thanks, I grew it myself. Fuck it, it's the Johnny Gaming intro, but it just says nice cock instead. <laughs> 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 ah, sounds like a, a, Oh boy, here comes Twitch, the Twitch police again. Oh, the Twitch police. Uh, yeah, Casey, I did watch the uh, European Fan Fest uh, keynote this morning. I didn't watch all of it, though, because it was like fucking 7 in the morning and I was already up all night working on shit. Dude, you were awake when I woke up this morning. Yes. I think, was it? Yeah, I woke yeah, up because at 6. I, I uh, logged on just to check on my, um, my, uh, my, my garden. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, I just logged back off. Uh, Viper looks pretty cool. You know, you really can't go wrong with two swords. And as a Final Fantasy IX fan, like, I, I, I'm all about, you know, rocking a, a, a Zidane-like sort of, you know, kit. Yeah. But it remains to be seen what I ultimately think of it. I'm hoping it's, a, I'm hoping it's good. You know, I, I'm all for just adding another DPS that I like to play as under my belt. Yeah. It looks perfect for my primal ult, which is supposed to be a dual wheel to it. Use it exactly fighting style like that. But I've been using an gentle now because it's the only dual wielding class. But then come Viper. With Viper being added, people can recreate their Kirito fantasy. And see, that's the, that's like the fourth time I've seen Kirito mentioned, and I don't know who Kirito is. Oh, that was online. Sword Art Online? online. Okay. Oh, see, that's yeah. why I don't. Uh, that's why I don't get it because I don't fucking play Sword Art Online. Uh, it's an anime. Oh, sorry, I don't watch Sword Art Online. Uh, yeah, it, it falls into all, all of the horrible anime tropes. Make the basic shit. 
The basic gist is just like, okay, welcome to this giant MMO world. Oh, by the way, you can't get out of it. You try and take any of the equipment off, you die. Hmm, I see. All right, well, that was a good one. Well, you, you can't take it off. It's more like if you if you die, you die for real type of thing. Uh, fucking, yeah, but you know what? Like, some who the, somebody from the chat are saying, dude, I could fucking, I can mod it later and just replace the swords with two keyblades. Fucking one's the Oath Keeper, one's the Oblivion. That sounds pretty fucking awesome. I, I can't wait. And then I just go, two. I mean, that's one of the memes I saw, it's just people posting the actual two. <laughs> I mean. Two becomes, yeah, and two becomes one. You're right, it fucking writes itself, dude. Fucking just amazing. Honestly, God, I like it. If 14, if, if <laughs> Viper will become the most played DPS if they give us Keyblades <laughs> for Viper as like a joke item or some other shit. Oh god, yeah, it would be, and everyone would be walking around with sword shoes or something like that. I would love that if they if they were to add Keyblade glamour to Viper or just like in general, like don't cash drop that shit. I say that now, they're probably going to cash drop that shit. Uh, hey, it's decent money. But I would love Keyblades. Like any class in this game that rocks a sword or some other thing, like what keyblade would you associate with specific sword playing classes in Final Fantasy XIV? Let's start with let, let's start with Dark Knight. Like when you see Dark Knight, big hey, ass great sword. What keyblade would you associate with Dark Knight? Uh, Jack like says say Ojix it. says Fenrir. Azul says Oblivion. Santiago says Oblivion. Riku's uh, KH1. Well, that was a. Uh, what, what was a uh, Riku's sword in. Uh, it was a stupid one with a wing. What was it called, though? Was it Way to Dawn or something like that? Uh, something like that. Chaos Riku? Soul Leader? Soul Leader? I, I, I think Fenrir would probably be my, uh, my go to pick for Dark Knight. Yeah. It's the one you get from Cloud, so that would yeah. make sense as well. Um, Paladin. Paladin rocks a shield. So, yeah. but the sword is still, you know, the, the principle of the sword is still the same. What kind of keyblade would you think works with Paladin? Uh, I gotta think of characters in the series that rock keyblades. So there's Kingdom like King, 17. Uh, I, don't of them. Think I don't think Kingdom Key. Oathkeeper Oath is probably. Would... Oathkeeper, yeah. Actually, there is a sword in the Paladin questline. It's called the Oathkeeper. So. It's. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, I think, uh, I think thematically that works. So yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, what else? Uh, Gunbreaker. Uh, now Gunbreaker, you already kind of fucking wield that sword like a Keyblade. Lionheart, yeah, there you go. Easy. Uh, Lionheart's easy. Yep. Uh, let's see, Warrior? Uh, well, Warrior wields an axe. So, so, uh, next would be Samurai. Uh, Crossy Silver says Master's Defender for Samurai. Master's Defender? Oh, oh, okay, uh, Master Eriquis, uh Keyblade. All right, all right. Uh, Guardian Soul also works because that was Orin's Keyblade. Well, the Keyblade that yeah. Orin gave you. Uh... Yeah, I think those are the two best answers. Um, what else is next? Mm, let's see. Uh, oh, we did Samurai, we did Dark Knight, we did Paladin, we did Gunbreaker. What else has a sword? Anything Monk? else has a sword? Monk has fists. Yeah, but you can still give it a keyblade. Just start attaching to the fists. Or just like two keyblades like as Tomfas? Red Mage. Yeah. Red Mage, uh, Red Mage is a, a rapier, but it's still technically a sword. What would you What would you categorize, what would you uh, associate Red Mage with what keyblade? Let's see, it'd have to be spellcasting one. Uh, I kinda wanna say two become one because of the nature of the, the nature of duality of Red Mage. Yeah. But probably something from Aqua. Because yeah, because Aqua is like dedicated mage keyblade user. Yeah, everyone's ready, by the way. Uh no, yeah, I was I was I was just dumb. Uh yeah, uh, I guess two. Wanderers place harder. Yeah, okay. Uh, Blue Dino is changing areas. Oh, they're probably teleporting. Probably Which means they're probably done up. now. 
No. I got a laundry list. Who didn't list of unlock this? Which one is next? I got a laundry go. list of options. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we only have. You know what, though? Palace. I'm happy that I'm having Nico experience optional content that they otherwise ignored. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, let's see. The Wonders I Palace told is... you, man. I told <laughs> you. <laughs> let's see. The Wonders Palace hard is unlocked by doing the. What was it called again? They would also have to do regular Wanderers Palace, too. Yeah, not easy being green is the name of the quest for Wonders Palace. Do I have to do the normal one? Do you? I think you have to do normal uh, Wanderers Palace before you do uh, hard. Because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. Okay. Imagine doing the hard one and then doing normal ones. Like, wait a minute, I thought I was helping the top berries. Fuck the top berries. Still ain't done Alexander, though. What the hell are you doing, Blue Donald? Do Alexander. It's, it's so it's easy. One. Yes, especially if you're a tank. I think mm-hmm. I'm quick. I miss you. He doesn't even have the normal one yet. Uh, what? Oh, boy. Uh, let's, see. Hmm, let's see. We, we, we're, we're likely going to have to add an extra dungeon uh, to our list because Nico has not done Wanderer's Palace normal and needs to do normal before you unlock hard. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, so Nico, then, what we're going to do then, go unlock Wanderer's Palace normal. We'll unsync that real quick, and I'll switch over to like a level 80 job or something like that, because I don't need to do that as Dragoon. Uh, and then cool. we'll do that, and then we'll do hard mode afterwards. Where the hell is Wanderer's Palace unlocked? Is that Limsa? Uh, hold on, no. Uh, I don't remember. Actually, Wanderer's Palace. Wanderer's Palace is Trauma Queen. You unlock it in Western Tenthala. Western what? Uh, Th- Thanalan. Thanalan, okay. Yeah. I don't know what's it. <laughs> was it in the Waking Sands? No, it's just in the city. It's called, the quest name is uh, Rama Queen. Rama Queen. Jesus Christ. I'm apparently supposed to remember the portrait. I swapped over to Reaper for now. Yeah, I'm going to switch over back to. Uh, I don't have a level 80 people last year. I'll go back to Monk. Who goes there? Monk is super high level for everyone else. Oh, right, portrait. Let's see, how's my portrait? Do I have to... No, I don't. Yeah, my portrait's good to go. That should be fine. I don't have a yellow exclamation. I don't know, man, because sometimes I, I won't have a yellow exclamation point next to the portrait, which means you have to update it. I'll queue in and I'll still get the fucking uh, message that your thing wasn't queued. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> I already did. There we go. Hello. Hey, Fonz. How's it going? Hey, Fonzie. Hey, Just came back from shopping. Oh, like grocery shopping? Uh, a little bit of both. I was looking for a, uh, uh, not a dust collector. It's a little, uh, the thing for like sweeping just to grab stuff. What do they call it? Brooms? No, not a broom. <laughs> they, they use the a, a swifter? Like, I don't know anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, it's just the collector, the one like you dust know, so you, like a dust yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I think one it, that like yeah. that doesn't require me bending true. down. Right, right. Oh, the, so uh, the the tall one. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, yeah. We went to like nine different stores and none of them have it in the area. Wait, what? You know, I know nothing about that whole thing. I knew what the name was in Icelandic. <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> 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 I'm going to need a sweeper. This is, let's see. Yeah, there are Boy, a lot of dungeons you, in this step. At the very least, we can unsync them all, you know? So it, yeah, it's over before you see. know it. What are you yeah, queuing for? Uh, we're, we're not queuing for anything yet because one of the folks that are helping us doesn't have the normal version of Wanderer's Palace unlocked for us to do hard mode. So we're waiting for them to unlock normal so that we can run that real quick and then do hard mode and continue on. Hmm. And later on, you're going to have to unlock three um, option, uh, uh, three Heaven's Word optional dungeons and all of the Warren Triad as well. When that happens, check your accessories first, then change a piece of gear, save it, update the portrait, and then set your gear and portrait. Like, wow, that's a lot of fucking work for something that is... Well, I mean, honest to God, though, the portrait system is still kind of busted. It's very jank. Dumb. I love it, but it's jank as shit. Mm-hmm. I, I love I love swapping a like a ring and then all of a sudden like nope you have to do it again. 
<laughs> Error in the system. Purging database. What's that? You got a new necklace? Uh, well, uh, well, can't you had different gear before? How your your pose doesn't work. It's broken <laughs> because you changed the accessory. Uh, hey, all right, let me do a ray check. <laughs> Small indie company and Walker Grapes. <laughs> Never forget. Oh, God, all right, uh, let us do Wanderers Palace normal. Where the fuck is that? Here it is. Then afterwards, we can. Yeah. Uh, do Wanderer's Palace hard. Mm -hmm. You probably should have turned him. Real quick. What's the best on? What's the best on for a title? Oh, what? You're mumbling. Shopping for a dust. Random no, question for y'all: Which sounds better for a soundtrack title for a knife wielding jester? The last laugh or nobody's fool? I have no idea what those are. Uh, just rips. Just say like, "I'm the Joker, baby." There you go. <laughs> I'm the Joker, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, that's not it's probably because I'm reading something. We went to like nine different places, like three of them were thrift stores, just praying to God that they have something like that. I ended up leaving with a uh, brand new monitor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, uh, I didn't find the dust pan, but hey, this monitor's nice. It was 20 bucks, I can't say no to that, it's 1080p. It's good for Steam Deck, just to put in the corner. <laughs> yeah, right, you can do that. Oh no, you gave me an idea. Just buy a cheapo like monitor and just uh, put it in the corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it out with my same Steam Deck. Uh, I'm taking it easy. Beat the shit out of this. I fucking smacked the oh. shit out of that guy. I got stuck on some debris. Six sided star. Shit. The only time I actually use it outside of disengaging from the boss. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is useful for my wanderer's tails. Oh, well, you have a tomber chasing you. <laughs> you breathed your last breath. <laughs> oh, he's only breathed, though, right? Uh, am I excited about potentially p uh, playing Pokemon in Final Fantasy XIV? Again, thanks to the new. Yeah, so they announced that uh, Dontrio will have a new limited job, and um, there's reason to believe that it's going to be Beastmaster. That we nobody picked up the lantern oil. Everyone Welcome just ran birthday, past boy. that shit. Uh, hey, Travis. Happy, happy birthday, birthday boy. Happy, happy, happy cake birthday. Day. Uh, no if you haven't over. already wished happy birthday to Trav, uh, Shade also has a birthday today. They share birthdays. If you haven't wished Trav a happy birthday, wish Shade one instead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, had, you had your chance and you missed it. <laughs> you ever notice you never see the two in the same room at the same time? <laughs> oh, I'm awfully good. quiet. <laughs> it's almost like they're not the same. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. Boobies. You know when oh. the, you know they made that a mountain a terraria mod. You know. Excuse me. Yeah, you can have more shoes as a mountain in terraria. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, uh, uh, same. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't want to ride more shoe? Yeah, you ride on his shoulder. Mm. <laughs> Mmm, multi multi. Speaking of like the foil event, like I'm glad that I got tagged in just because apparently we're going back to uh, Vanadale. And I'm like, I left I left eleven years ago, I don't wanna go back. Yeah. <laughs> As you're going back in. Honestly, I'm tiny to do a chair and coming in with me. Don Trail is like you're going to Brazil, Fonz is like, yeah, no big deal. You're going back to eleven. <laughs> <laughs> we need a lantern. Like, grab the lantern. I already fucking have Fucking asshole. I'm trying to grab the lantern. Thank you. I'm gonna... I'm You're going to up. Brazil, but older. <laughs> Door is open. I'm Can looking forward to, uh, According to my friends, uh, we're getting a new Kirito class. <laughs> yeah. Viper, yeah. yeah. You're like so, the yeah, sixth yeah. person to make that joke, by the way. I'm, so I'm looking forward to be just like launch ARR and see nothing but fucking Kirito's everywhere. <laughs> oh, they're gonna, they're going to be endless. To Fonzie, you know that, because people are goons like that. If you it's thought the, it. you thought the near glamour was insufferable before. <laughs> oh my it's like god. When, uh, 
It's like when Margot Robbie became the uh, became Harley Quinn. That's all you would see on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Joker. I'm the Joker, Look. baby. I'm the <laughs> Joker, baby. What was I thinking of? I already forgot. Here's the thing though, because like the next job that they're they're teasing is the is the new cash DPS, and folks are uh, pretty much thinking it's going to be Green Mage because of the thing Kryle gets at the end of the 6.5 uh, letter. Uh, but the I thing know. is, like, are they going to call it Green Mage? Because everyone was sure that the class that we were going to get with the double sword is going to be called Corsair, and then they just come out with Viper out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think they're going to call it Green Mage. No, look at it. We actually called it slightly t velvety Mage. Wait, what? Mm, green mage. It just sounds like it just literally just sounds like a rookie class. <laughs> you're way too green. Sprout, sprout mage. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> sprout mage. And you're, and you're apparently bound to the the novice network. All right, let me go back to dragoon. Yeah. All right, uh, Nico. Let me know when you have hard mode unlocked, and we'll uh, resume. Nature mage, greenhorn mage, leaf mage. God damn it! Someone's gonna do their fucking Green Lantern as a fucking macro. That's nice. <laughs> like that's the first thing they just get to. Someone's gonna do like on darkest night, on darkest day. Actually, yeah. Something, what if it's just what if it just drew it? If you drew it, it would make sense. Yeah, naturalist. Now, nah, naturalist kind of has different connotations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all fucking natural. Spencer, he just fucking streaks everywhere. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> stop this person. Uh, Shrek mage. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> uh, let's see, where the fuck are we? Where are you? Why am I here? Exhibitionist, yeah. If they did well, another are... tank, what do you think it would be? Either the dispatcher and well they don't they don't introduce new jobs until like the beginning of a new expansion. Uh and they don't they they don't introduce new jobs in the middle of an expansion unless it's not, it's like it's like blue mage it's limited. I think like the only time they ever did that was with ninja. Yeah, yes. that one. Fortnite streamer? Uh no, no. Yeah, the, the 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 job. Oh, ninja was, was introduced late a realm reborn. Not heaven sword but late a realm reborn. Yeah, that was a, that was a that was a, one of the patches if I recall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But ever since this is illegal. <laughs> okay, is that the map music that plays in your riding horseshoe? <laughs> but um, uh, after after Ninja was dropped late, a realm reborn, they relegated all new jobs to like the 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 launch of an expansion, and that's it. So if we were to have a new tank job introduced, it probably wouldn't be until eight point zero at the earliest. That said, yeah. if we if we were to have a new tank, we have we have warrior, we have paladin, we have dark knight, and we have gunbreaker. I'm mm -hmm. not forgetting one, right? So, what would you no. think we'll make an, a, a, another tank if we're going to the the pool of jobs that this game has not referenced yet? Uh, if if it um, coming from eleven, we have runic knight. Runic knight. Okay. That's basically dark knight. Yeah, but it looks it'll be good. Nine, uh, Warp Shard says Geomancer maybe like the Shaman tank in World of Warcraft. Now, how does the Shaman tank work? If you don't mind me asking, I don't play WoW. Um, uh, but I have uh, heard of like the magic based like tanking job. Like, well, I don't know how the fuck it works. Totem is what they say. Hmm. There was a recent Crystallis Novalis interview where they mentioned the pitch the old 1.0 oh, Sentinel class, which is a tank with two shields. Uh, fucking this dude uh, from the Empire, uh, the shield guy. Uh, yeah, the one with man on a hill. Killed. Yeah, <laughs> the toughest of yeah. the trials. Uh, rocks two, rocks two shields, and I think that that was based off of the old Sentinel class from 1.0. I mean, well, Sentinel is currently a ability that Paladin has, if I recall. Let's see. Okay, okay Scott. Uh, Nico got them. Let me do a ray check. I don't know. I think a tank is supposed to be ranged because, you know, they have cannons, auto cannons. They just have dreads, though, but yeah. Was that the fucking mm -hmm. pick me noise from Wind Waker? <laughs> uh, the Moblin, yeah. Yeah, I fucking hate that I recognize that. <laughs> I don't think you played enough Wind Waker.
No, yes. uh, hello. Oh yes. my god! Actually, I had that written down in my notes, and I want to mm -hmm. know. I want to know if anyone that played Sonic Superstars thinks the same. This is not really spoiling anything, but um, in Sonic Superstars, you get you get different power ups when you grab Chaos Emeralds, mm -hmm. and the Chaos Emerald power that slows down time plays a theme. Uh, all the Chaos powers have a different uh, tune, unique to them. It's like color powers in Sonic Colors. Mm -hmm. the, the the time slow music from Superstars, if you speed it up, sounds like Nintendo Direct music. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not alone in thinking this. I can't really say because I haven't played Superstars. Uh, it's good. Th the first half is good. I got mm. things to talk about with Sonic Superstars, but I don't want to give it all away now. Yeah, hey, you gotta make your revenue somehow. Well, no, I give people a reason to watch. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me um, let me enable cutscenes. Oh yeah, right. You, you guys right. got this, right? Yeah, we, you you don't skip this cutscene. Fucking uh, where was the setting at? Uh, it was in system settings. settings. Was it system settings? No, no, no. Was it in uh, character settings? I think it's in character settings. Actually, give me a second. Mm, I think it's. I don't remember. Uh. Yeah, it's um. Character settings, uh, cutscene skipping. And uh, skip pillyback back a previously viewed scenario cutscenes. Yeah. We're only doing that for this dungeon because the end of the uncut scene of this dungeon is fantastic. We've already watched it already, but it, it bears a pity again. It's a, it's says a, we it's can't a do great it again. Scene. Yeah, it says we can't do yeah. it again. Exactly. Make sure you have your relic equipped, by the way. Because I know we had to take a detour. But make sure your relic uh, is equipped. Yeah, it's already in my hand. Uh, how about you? Do you have yours up? Have I had a chance to play Mario? Yeah, I played two worlds of Mario Wonder so far. I, I put it down though for a bit because I have to get back to working on the Sonic video. Uh, boy, the yeah. boy, the quality control is night and day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been having a lot of fun with Wonder, but I just have to take a break after each world. I oh yeah, the game is the, the game world, is yeah. the game is pretty meaty in terms of like 100 percenting that shit. Have you done the crystal step yet? For what? Uh, for the least. relic? Yeah, yeah, we already did it. Okay. Y yeah, it's cool, it's not an over with in no time because they nerfed the shadow. Okay. Of it. Uh, get, all right. Now it's time to tell the story of what happened to me. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, one jewel didn't drop for a full 24 hours. What the fuck? Oh, this is back when it was relevant? This is back when it was relevant. Yeah. Uh, it didn't drop for a full day. I, I literally did not stop playing the game for a full day. It Jesus Christ. Drop. I, I think I ended with like two total that day. Oh my god. Uh, and ever since that, I vowed to myself to never do Relic again. That's that, that kind of sh shit ruins a man. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, considering the state of 20 hours, as in, I'm not surprised. That was me with free time. <laughs> <laughs> now that he's a working man. Yeah, and so I, and I was and I was doing it with my FC at the time, where everyone else got their shit together, and I was yeah. the only one who didn't get anything. It was oh, <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> infuriating. I don't recall how long it took me to do my crystal because by by the time I I joined the game three point one, which I think was around the time the first step was introduced. I think so. Uh, so. I don't think I started my relic quest until like 3.3 .3 at the latest. Um, and I think by that point, the step was already nerfed, but I do not mm -hmm. recall having that much trouble with the crystal shit. 24 hours though, god damn. For the first time in 10 years. What? <laughs> what, what? Yeah, I'm waiting. What, what is it? <laughs> Are you having a problem buying a- <laughs> Yeah, I'm just having a problem in general. If that took way too long to load. Yeah, <laughs> yes it did! <laughs> like, what the fuck? Where's the joke? <laughs> for the no, first time in year, I was waiting- I was waiting for a Sonic Superstars joke there, but- <laughs> uh, first time in year, Sonic does no longer suck. He blows. I mean, what, in the last two years, you technically have a, a one and a half good game? Wait, hold on. Okay, I got it. For the first time in 10 years. <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> Why 
How do they keep on recording these in construction <laughs> yeah, sites? No, it, it sounds really reckless. Oh, this the is motor, a funny time to be doing Wanderers Palace Hark. I don't think about the final boss of this. this is a two headed Mamu Jaw. You're absolutely right. Get a little New sneak Super peek Mario and... Brothers Bob, but the <laughs> play some metal play. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you, you know what? You know when you fight. You know when you fight Kafka in this game, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He does a tank buster oh, and just throws uh, hyperdrive. Right. Yeah, yeah, he just drops pots just, and pans on you. Yeah, yeah that's what here for my fucking head now. That's it. That's face as well. No, it's okay. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, okay. I hope you enjoy. Are you going to bed? Oh no, it's only seven thirty. What am I saying? Seventh. Right. What the I fuck? Oh, I fucking phonics me for a second. I'm in East Coast. <laughs> I think it's nine thirty over here. What the fuck's he talking about? Oh, you should be on the times. Really, six thirty over here. What the hell? <laughs> One thirty a.m. There are times where I'm like I'm 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 handling shit for the day, but I I I say to myself, man, I wish I was in the West Coast now because it'd only be six o'clock over there, <laughs> not nine. Oh God. Okay, thank you. Chocolate. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got to wait. Yeah, wait I've got to wait until I finish the cutscene before I kill him. Am I picking up the Metal Gear Solid Leg uh, Master Collection Volume One on Tuesday? Leg? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna wait I'll a little bit. Eventually, I'm not in a rush. No, anymore. yeah, no. I already got my PS5 copy pre-ordered, and I got my Steam version pre-ordered. I'm gonna see how well it runs on. Steam Deck. Alright, time to die. Yeah, that's what I'm mostly like interested in, just to see how well the Steam Deck version runs. Cause like, I use my Steam Deck docked on the TV in the living room a lot, so like, if I could get it there, I have no reason to double dip. Mm -hmm. And it works, assuming. <laughs> on my screen you're terrified. <laughs> it's real. It's yeah, like, oh. it's like, oh, Jesus. look at those <laughs> tonberries, I don't know. Fucking... Yeah, they're tonberries. It's My sister has a a little light up figure of one of them, and uh, I would be terrified. I had one of those lit up in my room. It's like, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like, it's it's like waking up next to a, it it's like waking I, up next to a Chucky doll. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep on the couch once, and one of them, uh, I think it was her husband, woke me up by like holding it in front of my face until I noticed. I hope you have it unlocked, Nico. And the poor keep. Yeah, and but uh, hard. Uh, Nico, just throw up a ready check when you're good to go. Uh, after this, I will be taking a small break, though, because I think we still have a couple of dungeons left to do. Uh, we After this, we have the, uh, basically from level 50 to 61 in. Okay. Oh, oh sorry. No. Someone reported something. Stop doing the Mario! <laughs> <laughs> Amogus. Well, why is that so loud? Holy shit. That, I don't know. I'm my saying, eardrums I'm, vibrated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it's one of the soundboards I'm a part of. I don't know why I'm part of so many soundboards. What the heck is going on in here? Wow. What, what an, an asshole. asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of <laughs> just finished that myself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Trifles. I will be streaming Metal Gear when that comes out. I don't know when, Again? but eventually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, you've streamed that at least once. <laughs> I can, I can, I can beat the Metal Gear games relatively fast if I just skip cutscenes. <laughs> I would like to teleport, please. <laughs> Up yours, wolf morons. <laughs> we'll see who cancels who. <laughs> Sorry, I just derailed whatever the fuck you guys are doing. <laughs> there was yeah. nothing happening. I'm telling you right now, because we're doing relic grinds, and this is like the most casual shit you can do in this game. I oh, just having some random people just to shoot the shit with. This yeah, the best way oh. to do this. I got to get my soundboard up there though for the uh, the charity event in two weeks. Because mm. fuck, I got to enter. I got it. Yeah, it's in two weeks, dude. Yeah, I, I I said the same thing to myself like just yesterday. I was like, fuck, yeah. man, it's in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm only playing one game. Like that's the thing. Is like I'm only personally playing one game. Everything else is for everybody else. That's like, I, I can fucking relax. Are we still for most racing of it. Zelda too? Yeah, we're still racing Zelda too. Fuck. I mean, that's great. I haven't also, practiced. Fuck. I haven't, yet, if it I made haven't you, practiced. Yeah, yeah I've I only beaten the game once. Yeah, I've only. I haven't practiced yet. 
but uh I'm kind of glad i decided not to do any games this time around <laughs> yeah i'm so uh, like we were doing a zelda marathon this fucking year i'm like i'm glad i'm not playing any of that shit during <laughs> who played <laughs> that fucking sound that was the, the cell phone going off near the speaker <laughs> stop that i hate that fucking sound that sound <laughs> haunted me during uh my college days dude <laughs> <laughs> I have regressed to a fucking caveman, man. <laughs> I need that on my sound. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. What is he doing? Well, what's in what? No, uh, try searching for something. I can hear him. Yep. Hold on. Shut up. <laughs> no, kiss my ass. I'm so glad I turned off sound. I'm gonna miss you. 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 Was that a yeah. soccer game? Because <laughs> yeah, it, it, it sounds like he's warning. getting jerked off by the dude that he's <laughs> currently <laughs> screaming. Good for him. <laughs> sounds rather really messy, if you get my meaning. Remember that episode of The Simpsons where like they got a soccer field like yeah. in it, and then everyone's bored as shit. With, like, yeah, Kim yeah. Rockins, like, and he kicks it again, and then <laughs> you cut to the Spanish guy. Man, like, I used to know that entire soccer promotion by heart too. Where they were hosting, mm -hmm. uh, Springfield was hosting a game, and it was like they were they were hyping it, uh, hyping it up as to be like the the the, the, the most hype shit, and then ends up. Dad, what did you take us game. to a soccer? What did you ever take us to a soccer? Game? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Soccer is very, very boring. It is bad. I'm killing you. Uh, I'm killing fuck. you. I don't care about anything else. I don't give a shit about anything else. I <laughs> fucking die. Oh, that one gave me a... Uh, made my skin crawl. I hate it. Uh, Nico's anymore. ready to go. Oh, yeah, Let me do a rain check real quick. Yeah, this is the last one of the optional uh, AR dungeons. Thank God. My sister's kid had the idea of me specifically using the Emmy sound when I uh, join a Discord with the Discord going sound now. <laughs> so I just pop in, just. Oh god. I mean, oh, oh my oh. god, I need six dollars shrimp special. <laughs> oh, god. I mean, for a while I was considering maybe to have like the Soviet anthem every time I don't want the other because apparently that's my thing. No. Oh, let me re enable a uh, cutscene scope. Right, let's go. Time so wasting. Go, 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 go. I'm the thirsty. trigger relic is equipped. Yeah, I'm also a fan of like a lot of people that I hang out with just happen to be absolute racist when it comes to Discord sounds. Oh boy! So I'm glad I had that off. Tell me about it. Wait, what? Uh, because I, because you know, some of my friends know that I stream, so they're gonna be that edgy assholes. Are like, yeah. here's something really edgy when I joined in Discord, thanks to the soundboard. I mean, Thankfully, I, I don't. Really you know, you're just all like you're doing anymore. is just self-reporting yourself. You know that, right? No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't. Really <laughs> You'll see. All your favorite stars is like Adiga, Adiga too, Badiaga, Anuga, and Pozoza. Oh, good lord! So I think Adiaga too is probably my favorite. Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I found a, I found a Simpsons comic while I was shopping today. Really? <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Uh, so I ended up picking it up because it was like a uh, because it was like a five rack Goodwill. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. I hear they're neat. <laughs> that reminds me, by the way, they recently found like a tomb in Egypt that dates back nearly three thousand plus years. One of the art in there is literally Marge Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, she was foretold. I'll have to get the image because I saved it on my phone earlier this I mean, afternoon. She, I mean, she's a rabbit somehow, so. Wait, what? I feel like I, yeah. okay, I haven't watched I haven't watched the episode for years, but I feel like I'm even I'm missing them something. Well, there. that was the thing. Like originally, like what was un what was behind Marge's hair was just like rabbit ears from like uh, Matt Groening's Life in Hell. Mm, oh right, that's stupid. <laughs> general. Oh God, it is Marge. Oh, let me go. Second, you want to finish this? Uh, Discord, what the fuck is this URL it's you do these days? What is uh, uh, so, someone, Sorry, the so, no, 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 it's cool. Uh, fucking, 
outside of your, your friends just being racist and thinking it's comedy, uh, what are what are like uh, uh, some more annoying Discord noises that you friends have as a as a join noise? Because I already mentioned someone noise being the fucking USB disconnect sound. <laughs> uh, the loud dude, uh, the loud dude having an orgasm that uh, as a Discord join uses. noise. What the fuck? Yep. That mm, is okay. unbearable. Uh, the the Windows it's error. Why, it's why the day that went live, I immediately turned all those noises off. <laughs> Uh, the, the, like the Windows, I think it was 10 or AX, uh, error sound. The groan tube, that's what it's called. What is what? it? Hold on. Uh, this sound. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the groan that's <laughs> That's what I have as my current <laughs> like my boy Frankenstein. What yeah. did I just come into the stream on? For the first time in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. It still fucking got me, man. Let's get out of here before we get him grown too. Where the hell are we going? Oh, here's the portal on yeah, the floor. Oh, uh, fuck, wait, Trav, wait. I hate that it sounded like fucking Half-Life 2 noises. <laughs> oh, wait, let me oh, wait. Let me rephrase it. Escapity toilet noises now, but in this case, call it. Oh, God. I mean, at least don't have it as a fucking boo boo sell up. By the way, Trev, where does the first time in 10 years clip? I just looked for Nintendo Direct meme template. I just took the audio from it. Get out of the orange juice. Uh, unless that's the, what you're looking for. It's from a Nintendo. You think this will kill me? I might want. I'll test it out. I don't think this will, but I. No. The thing that I found out, even at max level, the uh, the bombs can kill you in uh, one of the dungeons. Oh, um, Brayflock's heart? No, the the one with the sandworm mini boss. Oh, I that one. It. Oh, like uh, little, Copper like Bell little... Heart. Copper Bell Heart. Yeah. 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 Oh, with um, uh, Biggie, the little bunny guy. Yeah, like one of the like the bombs actually can still kill yeah. you. Yeah, like, I think it's um, it's um, it's gravity based. Um. Or percentage based damage. Yeah. Yeah, that's done. So, oh, madam, are you alright? Do you oh, need medical me. resistance? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you? How's it going? All right, I'm going to be taking a small break after we wrap this one up. I recommend you guys get up and stretch and drink and piss and Jesus piss. Jesus answered, and I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. $6 shrimp special! <laughs> okay, but I have to fucking ask, where do you guys find this shit? <laughs> like, I'm so out of touch. <laughs> yeah, I'm just got really confused at times what I'm hearing. In my defense, I... Don't find it. People send it to me. Okay, okay. Uh, Gian oh, Gianni, the, the uh, fucking yeah. So Duke that one's Nukem Gianni, Columbo guy. <laughs> yeah, because he uh, he voices Gabriel and also did fucking die. Yeah. <laughs> groan tube. Oh yeah, people are asking in chat what that sound is. This is the groan tube. <laughs> hmm. No, that doesn't sound sounds my, like me after. And all. then you flip it the other room. way, and it goes like. <laughs> <laughs> That's me after a hard night of drinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is the squeeze of Jesus Christ. Uh, any more that we have to unlock in the meantime? I think we're done with the optional dungeons. Uh, it sounds like a no, slide wait, was fucking choking. Dust Vigil is optional. <laughs> yeah. Technically, go unlock Dust Vigil as we're taking a break. I think. Uh, what are the other dungeons that are left? Do we have that list? Have uh, I shaken one? Yet. No, I've not uh, shaken one. 
Don't shake it in public. Uh, let's see. It's <laughs> not after I want. I just told Oh yeah, uh, Dust Vigil is the only optional dungeon left. After that, it's all yeah. MSQ. So I'm out of the area and the vault. Uh, so yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, I'm taking a break. Kyle's just a lot. <laughs> that damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fucking not. <laughs> but the laughing I'll makes you feel I'll validated. Be I'll be back. <laughs> I have not shaken it. Don't. No, no, don't shake the baby. <laughs> it made me laugh. That's all I care about. It's getting closer. <laughs> hey guys, today's my birthday, and for my birthday wish, I want you all to subscribe to Johnny. Thanks. And uh, if you're subscribed to Johnny, only then you should watch me too. Because I don't want to plug my content unless you're supporting the man here. Jesus. Are you having a problem buying a home or something? Fret no more. Hi there, Belinda's. I'm Sonar Card Gauge for Sonar Card Gauge Mort Gauge. We can help you get a leg up on the pile. Low rates, percent signs, I don't know. Bad credit? No prom Oops, fuck. I'm not restarting that whole thing. Protective shield! Protective shield! Protective shield! No Draculas! No mummy! No alien! No Duende! Activate alert! Oops. Someone messaged me? What? <laughs> no, that was me. <laughs> no Duende. Play the Maxwell clip? Wait, is that no a specific Ma Maxwell no clip Maxwell. or just the music he makes? Because I, I know the song Maxwell makes. Uh, there's a part where like uh, he finds Maxwell randomly and it dies. I remember when he explodes from fake Maxwell. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's the one that I'm thinking. That was Vine Sauce? Yeah, Vine Sauce Joel specifically. Not enough people know that Vine Sauce is a network and there's multiple people. Super Ghostbuster. I have that on here. Hold on. Somewhere. Dude, my fingers are cold. I help. Oh god, not this one. I'm back by the way. <laughs> this on these things! And it don't look good! Wait, he has a whole new album. One second. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. I'll play this till I find it. You need to pee. That is so crazy. What the fuck? You need to pee. You call the Ghostbusters. They extract it. There was ghosts in your bladder. What the fuck? Yeah. The hell? Someone in New York owns this CD now. Yeah. Ghost pee -pee. <laughs> that is insanity. I 
hope this is transformative enough. I don't think that this is under a record label. Which is where most of the copyright is. Uh, not even that, it's like, it's not even the original instrumentals. And I don't think Joel's like that bad. Like, I, <laughs> Joel, I, like, I did not even yeah. consider being an issue for the Ghostbusters music. No, no. Uh, John, did you see Exodia being used twice at a YCS? Huh? Someone pulled Exodia twice in a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Today. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. I think we should be good to go. Uh, let me do it right, John. Nico says that he has all the Heaven Wants ones locked. Oh, Ooh, God. Okay, that's the hardest <laughs> challenge in Hitman's <laughs> Oh, wait, shit. Let me, um, just for the sake of. You just did the hardest Hitman challenge? Yeah, freelancer hard mode. Freelancer. You know, I'm a freelancer and I consider this hard mode. Hard life. All right, uh, Dust Vigil is next. Yep. Now everybody did. <laughs> this is so slow. It sounds like the beginning of the fucking NES Ghostbusters thing. I poisoned <laughs> they will the water supply. supply. Now everyone dead. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. Uh, on the topic of Yu-Gi-Oh, would y'all be willing to post deck list next time you do a video on SGB on it? If there is a next time, we would definitely be coming back to Master Duel uh, Fanboy Frankenstein. Um, probably so not just yet, but we really enjoyed our time with that until the devs fucking took away my victory. Uh, yeah, no, he's a Republican. Nah, I'm Republican. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Faz doesn't know that. Sorry. No, cool. I, no, I can share this story. Uh, so <laughs> we, we we recorded Master Duel for a, a SmackDown Sunday on SGB, and in the middle of one of my duels, like I think it was against my uncle or Elliot, uh, I get a knock on my door. I get up to see who it is, and um, oh, it's right. um, it's someone like, handing out like pamphlets letting us know like where the nearest voting poll was at just to make sure that everyone's aware of where to go for voting and all that sort of shit uh mm -hmm. but they leaned left they're democrats and let me know that you know hey if you want to vote here make sure you go here and i was like okay cool it's all good it's very important i understand that uh i did not realize that you could time out a master duel for inactivity um <laughs> so that happened in the middle of the duel i fucking lose the duel that was by all rights mine <laughs> uh <laughs> because uh someone reminded me to go vote for the Democrats, so I blame the Deb. Uh, the Debs took my victory. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I forgot about this part. <laughs> That's part of the song. <laughs> Wait, did someone pick up the damaged witch? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, shit. You know, it's the goal. If you do like Tetris, you can use my hole. You got that Tetris? Ooh, you can get some sex tris fucker. Sex tris. You know, I'm thinking of the guy or girl that's Sex listening to this playlist's background noise late at night. I think it gets all cool and chill, oh and then suddenly, oh! <laughs> 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 fucking wakes so them the fuck up. Oh, right, uh, but you know, right, one of my friends right. has that fucking yell as uh, their Discord intro. Which one? Oh, okay. The, the one that. Ugh. Try to play that okay, intro again. Uh, chat, hold on. I'm I'm putting this in chat for people who want to know what that was. <laughs> oh, no, you Why that makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that scream right there, right? Yeah. Someone has that as their Discord. No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. We're not friends anymore. Because that shit's obnoxious. Six dollar shrimp special. <laughs> I think I'll just stick to the normal Discord join sound. But probably if I started to if I did what I wanted to do, I'd probably get fucked by you as, as a communist or something. Yeah, that is. Did no one pick up the key? <laughs> you know, this has been happening way too many, often. Right oh there, my yeah. god! I'm so sorry in advance, but I have to do this. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> My head hurts. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick up the fucking key. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I forgot. There's more ads. Yeah, there's have... more ads. I forgot. Yeah, I fucking love grab bag. It's so it, just like <laughs> it's such a good song. Okay, now I'll pick up the key, please. What the fuck was that sound? Oh, hey, Linky, hold on. Anyway. <laughs> Grow tube. That's what people call it. Hello, uh, Ben. You came right on hey, time. Hey, Ben. Yeah. I came. I didn't know that. Jesus answered. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Oh, God. Hey, Trav. What? Why'd you, why you say it like that? <laughs> hey, Tram. All alone. <laughs> That's hot. I'm alone, too. <laughs> no one wants to talk to me. <laughs> we have Trav, solution what are you wearing? <laughs> Um, A shirt that's a size too small and shorts. Oh, baby. I'm something I'm of a shirt man. <laughs> it's actually, you know, it's probably technically the right size because it fits just right, but I'm used to wearing shirts that are larger. I like to wear shirts that are larger. I don't like form fitting shit. Yeah. 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 It's not even so much about feeling uncomfortable. I mean, it is. That's why, that's part of the reason why I don't like wearing form fitting shit, but it's like, I don't want people to see my nipples. Yeah, I feel the same. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. It's for me, it's the comfort of the other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, one, you guys time don't... In, yeah. one time in college, I got new pants, but one of the pair... What the hell is that? <laughs> ben getting a taste of his own medicine when he goes up <laughs> to the pound board. Anyway, what were you saying, Ben? So one time in college, I was in a photography class. Yeah, so sometimes in photo classes, you would like go out into the woods and whatnot and take pictures. Well, I got new pants, like, the weekend before, but I didn't realize one of my pants was, um, skinny fit and not relaxed fit. Oh, man. Oh, and, God. like, I, it was, like, way too late to do anything about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was walking around the woods, and in, when you're a fat guy in skinny jeans, I, I might as well have died that day. <laughs> I, I think my nuts almost caught fire. You just fire. put some powder on. <laughs> I mean, which is where, oh, well, I said that's on fire. I was gonna say, oh, that, or your hair caught in the jeans. Like, oh, your fucking feet. ball hair gets caught in uh, the jean zipper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wait, get up, my misters! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're done with that. What do I have? What the hell is this? No, I don't like that. That's definitely. Fly, fly. Oh, God. Kiss my ass. Fucking fight or flight reaction. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's the next Mega Man game I'm playing. Jump, you jump. Uh, the next big game, game is uh, X Dive. Remember the great no, game? No. Definitely. Oh, <laughs> uh, I hear something. If I if I wanted to play X Dive, I'd just go off and wait. What the? Who is See, Drew? Who is cringe? Does See, anyone have? Uh... If you have two X capsules, you can get one new Mega Man X. You mean Mega uh, Man does anyone have the shorter version of this where it just goes? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> like. It's like that, but like but they just, reverse uh, it like half a second in, yeah. so it goes, oh. Uh. <laughs> Dear Mario. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know how it hurt. I'm <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Fucking mummy. Yeah, that's gonna be John's new text now. Beware, I live. Run, 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 run. Beware, coward. Run, coward. I was trying to time it and I fucked up. <laughs> Just see the sucking Sinistar fucking chasing you with that damn noise. <laughs> Yeah, he just he has this hold the realistic hands that are playing with that thing. <laughs> I, I don't know what's worse, Sinister or fucking Bosconians. 
Alert! Alert! <laughs> oh god, yes! <laughs> also, I like the commitment to making your voice sound <laughs> like crunched. <laughs> if I say that, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, Adam says I got one for you. Bubble Bobble's hurry up sound. I don't remember what that is. It's been so long that I played Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble Bubble Bobble. Uh, bubble. Do I need to mention the hillbilly version of Bubble Bubble? Huh? Alert. Wait, what? Alert. <laughs> Do you not know that? Oh. oh I'm, going. I'm, I'm a king. There it is. Hillbilly Rodeo. God, this one's ancient. <laughs> Still got those. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Uh, this channel. Uh, sorry, I <laughs> meant Baron Von Blubbo's appearing sound. Uh, no, I have no idea what that is. I haven't played Bubble Bubble in almost two decades. Oh, I don't like that sound. I'm saving it. What is it? Oh, no. Hold on. You'll hear it in a second. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the way. <laughs> oh, I forgot the dun The dragon takes forever <laughs> to spawn over unsaked. Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Rob, are you in there? I can't hear you from up here. <laughs> what? Get out, get out of the well, Krabs. Guys, this is the thing down here. You can't keep you the you light 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 light. Light. I With think it wants on to be my friend. Or else to get the hose on. <laughs> God damn it. It's beefing at me. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Oh, Krabs. Oh, fuck! Give me that secret formula. <laughs> <laughs> Reveals its true colors. Now it brings out the grown no, tube. No, you say that, dude. Do it. But imagine... Imagine the Emmy making the grown tube noise but at, like, <laughs> half the speed. It does that sound, and it, like retracts the proboscis really slowly. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that sounds really hot. Can you say that slower? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, hold on. Let me, let me, uh... Proboscis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I didn't know you were in Cybertron. <laughs> no, that's my... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. There's a hole here. What is it called? It? Oh, right. Bubble, bubble. No, not bullseye. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the sound. Hold on. Oh. Oh man, this is when I'm on a fucking coke binge. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having a problem buying a home or something? <laughs> No more. <laughs> that does kind of sound like Homestar Runner shit. <laughs> I think music I mean, from Wacky World on the Genesis. <laughs> I mean, if we're talking about like official songs that sound bad, uh, Guilty Gear X2 has a uh, a nice remix of a good song. Uh, what song? Uh, Holy Orders for Robokai. <laughs> oh God, that one. What's bad What's about it? Uh, you know what? Here, I'll just post. Okay. I can't play because I don't have a. Those right. Oh, Trav, can you there. play it through your board? Who am I? Oh yeah. You're Trav. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. One sec. Big. The man, uh, the man has a birthday so already started to get house on us. This is fucking awful. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. Yeah. I hate this dungeon. Face cam long. froze. Did it? John, oh yeah, John you're right. Yeah. Oh again? god, again. Is is it time for gifts again? I think it might be time for gifts again. Assuming I can't fix it. A oh, fucking dragon. What if I'm not? What if the cam is not frozen? I'm just actually just fucking done with everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know. For the first the time in ten still. years. There it is. What the hell? What is that? Is that a harvest cord? Oh, man. 
It's so crunchy. Yeah. I love Doom. <laughs> oh, love you more, man. Uh, <laughs> I hate fighting fucking robot fucking person right now. Oh, oh, oh lord, this is something. Take his stuff. But they, but they go, oh, so, wait, hold on, hold on. The, the, the idea behind Robokai, right, was that it was... Mm -hmm. Was it was it a malfunctioning robot or something like that? No, what's no, the he's just, he's just a robot. He's just a robot of, of Robot Okai, yeah. That's all he is. Oh, okay. Oh, Robokai, Robokai. No, Robokai. Yeah. Oh. oh, my fucking webcam. Um... Maybe if I... How do I refresh? Maybe yeah, I know. Like, like, that's just the joke. It's just a distorted version of Kai that he's a robot. So it's his theme just fucked up. Mm -hmm. Uh... Well, we can bring the fish, Linky. Then there's, uh... Then there's the Volker tracks for Guilty Gear, where they try to add, like, lyrics to instrumental songs. Yeah, it's never forget a shenanigans. Consumed by Crimson oh, Lord. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Yeah, you're the Crimson Block. Okay, you're you're moving. Like. Hey, he's alive. Did that kill hey, the yes. stream for a second? No, it's no. fine on my end. Okay. You do have ten fingers, John. But oh, oh, he's AI again. now. I was just testing Wait, movement. Man. Yes, draft. Not the stream, just the audio. Yeah, yeah, because OBS uh, stalled there for a second. It seems to be working, though, at the very least. What the fuck? It's going to freeze again, though. I know it's going to. It's going to. So I might as well get the gifts ready later. I love OBS. Only when it decides not to work, then I hate it to death. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, you really want to hate yourself? Try learning VMix. Oh, God. What is that? <clears throat> so VMix is like a much harder core streaming software that I was trying to learn for the stream. It's cool, but I need more time to figure it out before I want to use it for something like our charity events. Okay. And you'd only consider it because you just there's more options to consider. So just, there's a okay, lot. Yeah. There's a lot more like interactive stuff we could like do on the fly. Right. Okay. It, it just I there are a couple of things I couldn't get working reliably for some reason. Like I, oddly enough, I couldn't make any of my stinger transitions work. But there's just like it's like a different philosophy to how the software works, which isn't good for the event because ultimately you or somebody else has to be able to switch a scene if I go to take a nap, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe next time. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be streaming up until the end of this step. I mean, it depends on what the other step. Where the fuck am I going? Uh, the next step is basically just have a handed stuff. You can finish like the next step in. Oh Guess yeah. On the spot. Actually, we can keep going until we get to the next grind. Then we'll just stop and resume that's, next next time. Yeah, that's the that's the light that's the light grind. Are we already it's getting to a light step? No, that's that's later. On. That's later. That's, that's way later. It's basically it's the the penultimate stage. Because yeah, I think the it. final, the victory lap, is like revisiting hard mode uh, trials. Yeah, first we have to do a victory lap, and then we have to do the light grind, which will most likely be Eye of the Creator. For about twenty times on Sington, you got it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Yeah. You know, the, if it's gonna be next weekend, then I won't be able to join for that. Because yeah. I'm not. Uh, I guess in that case, if anyone plans on joining me for that one, make sure you have uh, Alexander Creator Savage unlocked. Because we're gonna be doing the first round of the Creator tier on Synced, which is the easiest fucking thing in the world. You don't even have to worry about it. Every time we rocked up. I don't think okay. I ever cleared that. What? Savage savage stuff. For Alexander? Yeah. I think every time the FC was gonna do something, either I was busy or it was packed instantly. Yeah.
uh, we want to talk about the fusion materials for the Musician King. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. If you fuse Witch of the Black Forest with Lady of Faith, you get Musician King. It's, it makes all the fucking sense in the world. I mean, I need, I need to... I need to get back into that. I was, I've been doing these solo uh, plays. No, it's learning. not next week, Blue Dino. Next week, uh, I have way too many things happening on top of Sonic Hacking Contest. Uh, I'm also joining Clark's Mario Party uh, extra live stream uh, to help raise some money and to help act as a little prologue before our Zelda event in two weeks. Wait, if, if you're not going to be streaming that next week, then that won't, shouldn't be a tournament issue, right? Uh, say what? No, I'm just wondering about when you're doing the next stream for the relic. Are you oh, do for it next week? It, yeah, it's not going to be next week. I have too much oh, okay. on next week. Yeah. Okay, it's then not going to be next week at all. Okay, then disregard what I said earlier because yeah. <laughs> I almost have a lot of things doing. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, well, actually, Zelda, God damn man, it. Tell me more. <laughs> have you Dude. seen the new? Uh, have you seen the new card, Everyone's King, which is just Jack Atlas, like in a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Huh? Wait, what? Jack Atlas. So, from from Yu-Gi-Oh uh, 5Ds. Okay. So he has his own card. He's a type human. Uh, he can't be played at all. <laughs> but he's an official Yu-Gi-Oh card. Someone just photoshopped the guy who put the who pulled Exodia at a tournament, like in his. Head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, an executive producer became an Egyptian guy, so anything's possible. Only in the English dub, though. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> they kept they kept it to this day, fam. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. To be fair it's though, funny. Slifer Slifer sounds bad. Okay, I thought it was yeah, I the it's Japanese cool name, name. Os o Osiris is pretty good too though, I think. Yeah, I think both yeah, but, are good. Yeah. But Slifer rolls out the tongue better. I, would say. I will agree, but I can I can okay. do with either or. Well, cause to me, Slifer, in a way, sound like Slayer, without being Slayer, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like you're you're no, going to get I, sliced I, up. <laughs> Speaking of, like, weird sensor names, I was walk uh, before I walked to go see the Dragon Ball movie again on theaters. Yeah. Uh, I found this video talking about the uh, localization changes for Dragon Ball Z Kai in Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And oh, they have to pull like a TikTok and have to change some words without mentioning the word death. Okay. In other, like how the old uh, like Funimation ocean dub. dub used yeah, to, the ocean dub. Yeah, like how they used yeah. to say like, "We'll send you to the next dimension." Yeah. Instead of, "Hey, I'm gonna kill you." Yes. Uh, Forbidden memory stuff has been already archived, JC. They're on the uh, streaming archive channel. Now. Are you gonna play the sequel to that? Uh, what fucking Duels of the Rose? The Rose uh, yeah. Later, later, later. I'm not really thinking about that now. Yeah, Duels of the Daisies. Um, or False Bound Kingdom, I think was the other one. I want to try that RPG one. That's on the GameCube. RPG one? Yeah, it's like a it's like a Fire Emblem type one using Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Huh. I forgot what it's called. Dungeon it doesn't look dice. interesting. It's not Dungeon Dice. No, oh, false back Yeah, thank you. Sorry, like my Yu-Gi-Oh knowledge is just uh, Dragon Maids, uh, <laughs> VTubers. <laughs> All right. All the essential archetypes of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Wait, did anyone here ever play the um, the sacred cards back in the day? What are the, the sacred cards? What do you mean? Oh, you mean oh, um, Yu-Gi-Oh game? No, I don't think I have. Yeah, so it was essentially. A dueling RPG that essentially recreated like Battle City, but like it, like a lot of the old Yu-Gi-Oh games, it just had really strange mechanics. Yeah, I remember one of the problems with the game was that it had the anti roll, so you would win the rarest card from your opponent. But when you beat Merrick in the final duel in one, uh, the Wing Jack and Ra, there was no save point after that. So you didn't get to keep the card. Oh goddamn! That's stupid. Uh, Vanilla Rabbit, thank you for the Ray Party One. Much appreciate it. Uh, hope you're enjoying whatever it is you're streaming. The Panda or the Panda? Let's get a subscription. I already have Anyone? the Panda. No, I have the Panda. Panda, hey, Vanilla, how you panda, doing? Panda, Panda. I have the weird Yu-Gi-Oh racing game. Wait, what? On Wii. 
<laughs> Why are there so many Yu-Gi-Oh games? I actually don't answer it. I think I already Dude, there's the a lot. There's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, there's a lot more than you would think. Yeah. yeah, I think something, if I'm not mistaken, I think the sacred cards came with the Magna Warrior cards. It was a GBA like, game uh, or a Game Boy Color? A uh, Game Boy Advance. Okay, yeah, it had packing pack. cards. I was that the first GBA game? Are you thinking about the no. Evita? Because the no, only so two that immediately come to mind besides World Championship, uh, 2004 and 5, was Eternal Duelist Soul and Stairway to the Destined Duel or something like that. Yeah, Seven Trials to Glory was one I liked on the GBA, too. Uh, unlock Alexander, I don't remember. Yeah, if we're going to be doing the Savage Grind for Light, yeah, we you will need to do Alexander. But we're not doing yeah. that tonight. So uh, you have all the time in the world, Ludano. Because I'm not going to oh, be reconvening yeah. with 14 for at least another... Um, I'm probably not going to be going back to 14 for at least another three weeks after the stream tonight. Because next week is all Sonic Hacking Contest. And uh, the, <sighs> the week afterwards is prep for Extra Life, uh, the charity event yeah, for November 4th. Yeah, the member's gonna be hella busy. Next two weeks, I'm gonna be hella busy. And I'm starting a new job just in been two days. A clusterfuck. <laughs> what was that, Ben? Uh, and I'm starting a new job in two days. On oh, top that's of right. Congratulations, oh, yeah, by right. the way. I don't, I, don't, I don't think we stressed that on like on live, uh, live air. But yeah, you got the job. Congratulations. Yeah, that's it's a fantastic. Big news. job too. So. I'm very when do you start? Excited. A little nervous. I start off Monday. Monday. Okay. Is it Monday yeah, morning? You got this, man. Yeah, it's got to do my best to fight off the imposter syndrome, you know? You're not an imposter. You you didn't have a job for a bit. You need the job. Yeah, hey, you right. didn't kick it out of the crew yet. I'm not going to judge too hard because I, too, have my bouts of imposter syndrome. But, uh, you, you know. know. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, you know. I live and breathe. Yeah. I just very syndrome. quickly have to relearn how to use Adobe Premiere. Oh, that's, that's easy. easy. You know, I usually find myself, uh, sometimes just find myself in the class like, I'm a teacher. I'm teaching these kids. The shit. So, well, yeah. Thank you for us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, you, you got this for a reason. And not because they needed more bodies for the count. These are my oh, favorite fun. goons, by the way. Not these guys, but like the guys that just turn the corner and try and ambush you. Like right here. I think it was right here. Oh no, they're not here. Did they not yeah. load? Or did you just eviscerate them already? No, uh, that's not funny. Yeah, I haven't done anything to those guys. I was still thinking of these guys. I think you're think thinking about later. Yeah. No, I think it's there because uh, after this, uh, after this dungeon pool, um, it's all like the giant knights and the horse heads. Maybe they simplified it because of the duty support. I, I saw that they changed a lot of like the dungeons for like AR. Yeah. For better mm -hmm. and for worse. What well, do you think like, is for worse? Uh, mostly I just missed the old Nidhogg mechanic where you had to like save a Stinian. <laughs> oh, mean, uh, probably these guys you mean. Oh, okay. Here's the packing cards for the sacred cards. It was... They are all prismatic, secret, rare. You have the perfectly ultimate great moth, okay. Ryoku, and negate attack. Wow. So the I only thing that was good in there was negate attack, yeah. <laughs> and even then, that was only like in the beginning of the, 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 the game's life cycle, because that would instantly well, be... Well, and uh, even then, it was negate attack was always the worst near force. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, if you just want total destruction, but negating an attack wholesale was still like, was still pretty good yeah, for early so Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna run one. It's gonna be Mirror Force. I mean, you can run both. Because there was for nothing sure. wrong with just like running multiple traps. I'd rather just run Bottomless. No. Uh, so this is before Bottomless, bottomless though, because Bottomless I think yeah. was Legacy of Darkness or so. Labyrinth of Nightmare. One of those two. People have been fucking making videos of like uh, unboxing like legacy Yu-Gi-Oh sets, and then like it takes me back. 
seeing folks like pull out cards. I was like, I don't know what this is. It's like you fucking faker. <laughs> and, then, and then and then and then some guy in the background is like, What are you doing? Think of the value. <laughs> <laughs> no, my money. All right, nerds. I hate that. Like you get these days quickly. Right. Just yeah, right, catch you later, man. Have, right, a yeah. Have a good night. Happy Have birthday. birthday. Have a good Happy oh, birthday. Thank you. Man. Thank Consume you so cake. Get those good rolls and drops. Come. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, At last, I, Travis. I, I just hate that current Yu-Gi-Oh is just quickly becoming the stock market. <laughs> Pokemon, you say. Anything uh, that is collectible becomes like that because uh, fans and grifters are the worst thing to happen to anything. I love that you can't kill this guy before he does the thing. <laughs> yeah, he does it does from a heart attack. Yeah, the commodification of trading cards is hilarious now. Cause like when we were kids with Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards, it was like, "Ooh, this is cool." Yet my friend's kid, who was like nine years old, they were getting Pokemon cards like, "Oh, this one's worth this much and this much. You gotta sell them." Mm. I'm like, "Dude, you're nine. Just play." <laughs> hey, gotta play. have enough money. I guess that's one thing I do like about the uh, digital TCG, because, like, scarcity doesn't mean shit in that no, game. No, like, it does not mean case. anything. Yeah. At the, the most you're bragging about is having, like, the special, like, shiny variant of the card. Yeah. yeah that's about it, though. Which, for competitive, means jack and... Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. It just means you get a better trade-in value when you don't you want it anymore. Oh no, because J fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, like Yu-Gi-Oh in Japan, they treat it like an actual fucking hobby and not the fucking stock market here. <laughs> yeah, let's make sure those nine-year-olds need to at least be able to afford college or something, that's for some matter. They call it a trading card game, but they didn't say you were trading for money. <laughs> you're right, you're trading stocks. Impossible. Stocks. All my stuff and all my cards are worthless. <laughs> Don't talk about an image that makes me laugh. It makes me giggle just because just, just looking at it is the fucking stonks image. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite ones when it's crashing is just not stonks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't worry. John and Elliot almost saw me cry when I took my cards into the shop to sell them. I didn't even get oh, shit God. for it. <laughs> Honestly, of everything there, the Chansey was by far the biggest, like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, like, the one. But of all things, I think one of the speed oh, duel cards I pulled aside just happened to be, like, a bizarrely rare card. That I was like, wait a second, hold on. I looked this one up, and that was worth more than you said it was. And he looked it up, and he's like, oh my god, you know what? You're right. This particular one was a short one for some reason. And I was like, okay, I at least got some sort of win here. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to been buying cards to get to the physical game. The archetype isn't that bad, but the staples. Yep, sounds about right. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, what's that? You want to play? You want to pay a full structure deck just for one card? Gee. I'd love to. <laughs> well, I Fuck mean, you, the I mean, it's still a, it's still a fundamental a fundamental issue. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue that. Still, though, if given the choice, I'd do it because I'll, I'll gladly spend twelve bucks on a structure deck for an Ash Blossom than thirty five on a website. You know, like mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. Oh no, I'm not saying like I'd rather. I'm not saying like buying structure decks is bad. I'm saying when when the when the card itself becomes the price of a structure deck. Yeah. That's what I'm like. All right. Ugh. Oh, and this one that you're pretty much mandatory to have if you're gonna actually play competitive. It's like. Fuck. I forgot to take it out. Yeah, you gotta take. You gotta unquit the weapon. Yeah. The Solomon Great Structure Deck. How much is it going for? And what's in it? Like, why? Why is it going for that much? What's in it? Why am I feeding to the ground? Part of the size. Uh, let's see. Soul Burner. Uh, to the TCG player. Well, it had Ash Blossom, so. Oh, it has Ash Blossom? That'll do it. Oh, okay, yeah. It's, it's good for like 60 bucks. But that's, I think, that, yeah. Um, Zexing was telling me that he used to do that. I but think he bought that dialogue choice is just that. for the sake of giving your anima a gender. Yeah. Fucking promise. Yeah, then it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, yeah, because the anima's dialogue doesn't change at all. It's just it's just preference. Do they even mention its gender again after this? Yeah, it doesn't matter. 
Whoa, well, yeah, my spirit has gone woke. Too. Well, yeah. <laughs> Damn woke out of my weapon. Up oh, yours, well. bulk anima. We'll see who cancels who. <laughs> you anima sure are a friendly bunch. You just made an enemy for life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ash Blossom is a great staple card, but I hate the fact that you need fucking three of them. They even stand a chance. At least no. now, Ash Blossom is like a $2, 2 to $3. Yeah, it's, a, it's very cheap. It is very Thank cheap. Thank fucking God. Yeah. Uh, uh, unless you want the feet edition. That's I still go like, after the shiny variants when I can, because like when all my cards are foils. <laughs> I'm going to say, uh, like, unless you're going for the feet edition, that's like 20 bucks. Yeah, no, I'm not going for feet edition, because you guys are fucking gross. Wait, feet edition? Oh, good lord. There's alternate art of Ash Blossom that shows her feet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's meant to be cute and endearing, but, you know, people are going to be fucking weird about it. I was about to say, somebody's probably wanked off to it at least three yeah, times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't look at the fucking Yu Gi Oh fan art. Like, the TCG <laughs> place is fucking insane. I, the guy used to be in the Naruto fan art in the Phantom. I hate it. I know exactly what's going on in there. No, I think what well, I think is funny. There, there's a place I get the um, the anime style cards from. I think they look cool as like gifts or you know just like it's a neat thing to have. But you'll scroll through their store and be like, okay, yeah, the anime style decks, and oh, that's uh, Dark Magician Girl's tits. Okay. Now <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I gotta tell you though, if you're simping for fucking Dark Magician Girl, that's like the most basic bitch taste. Come back at me when you're simping for Skull Servant, okay? I mean, have you seen Conservant's <laughs> chest? That is a mighty fine chest. I can't yeah, say I shit because both of my decks are animated. Like, are, are yeah, white you, you decks, run so Dragon like... Maids and Live Twin. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. And, yeah. and Exo Sisters. So and Exo Sisters. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> to be fair, I think Exo Sisters of those three are the lesser of three evils. Because <laughs> at yeah, least they're I in armor and shit, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I stand um, for Reaper of the cards. <laughs> At uh, what are your thoughts attack? on grading cards? I don't care. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, the 1380 attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I have to go in and deliver the merchant goods. I don't, I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh for the sake... I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh for the stock market. So I don't give a fuck about graded cards. Like, it's more like if there's a cheaper variant that I can get for myself just for the sake of having it in my deck because I don't like running proxies, I will get it. Yeah, for me, the thing with grading is, is that, like, you're pretty much paying extra for the grading process. But, like, at that point, it's never going to leave a case and get used. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, hell, even the most expensive anime cards got used in the anime. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah, Kyle so Randall. What is, like, what is, like, your, your, your bucket list card, though, that you would like to have at some point or another? Uh, to me, it's the oh. alternate art blue eyes. The one where they're on the, the skyscraper. The, the tower? Yeah, yeah that, that's the probably one my the sky. I would love to have that card, but I, I recall it being really fucking expensive. Time for crab. How much is that? Let me see. How much is that? I'm in TCG. How much is that one going for? It's probably a couple hundred. Uh, Baron de Fleur, Mick, I'm assuming. You know, like, yeah, because that's expensive. Uh, that card, yeah, I'm sorry. but just, just normally, that card is expensive. Yeah, that, yeah, that, card, is, that card is like... Because uh, I, I go to a card shop, and that card is 60 bucks there. Oh damn, that's actually cheap. I saw it for seventy in my. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, I already see. have it. I was happy earlier this year at TMG when I found the um, the alternative artwork for polymerization. I, so it, I like that you, way more than the regular one. If you just want the art card, it is twenty dollars for a Japanese version. Oh. Uh, this is where we need the um, unidentifiable items. Yeah, and, uh, the, and the, the 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 seal stuff. Yeah. Uh, if you want a, if you want an American one, a moderately played limited one is sixty five bucks. For what? For uh, the blue eyes white dragon that stop uh, up no. a skyscraper. Wait, how much was it? Uh, sixty five bucks. If you just want like a moderately played one, so it has like right. some some wear some and tear. Stuff. Yeah. If you just want to actually use it, like use yeah. It. Uh, yeah. If you want it, like because they go in my it go in my blue eyes deck, yeah. Yeah, because if if you want like a brand like a mint one, you're looking at hundred and fifty plus. Jesus Christ. Wait, yeah, hold on a second. I Why can't I get the thing. other stuff? Did you take out the... Oh, I didn't take out the King's there. Cake and the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
was a ADK suit su suit or su suede. Oh, fuck it. I'm dumb. Thank you very much for the raid, though. Party of two. I uh, hope you enjoy whatever you're playing. Oh, yeah. I didn't take it. I, did, I just straight up just didn't take that shit out of my bag. Oh, my God. I'm dumb. Yeah. What's the most money you ever spent at one time at a, on a TCG? Uh, $400 uh, for a pre-built Zodiac deck. Uh, back when Zodiac was relevant. Uh, for me, it would be whatever Linky gave me when we went to alternate dimensions. <laughs> uh, alternate universe, you mean? Damn it! I, that's what I thought it was. I'm like, yeah. no, I think I always mix it up. Yeah, alternate universe. <laughs> yeah, well, we I picked him up for TMG. We stopped by there after picking up Matt, and yeah, he decided essentially to pay me with a Pokemon card. And <laughs> I, like, okay. I mean, if there's value in it, then sure. Yeah, yeah, it was like 120 bucks. I was like, oh, well, is it worth more in store value? Yeah. Well, fuck it. Let's get some cards. <laughs> uh, I, I may or may not pay, like, I think the most I've paid for, a, for just a card. I think the most I spent is like 60 bucks for one of the Dragon Maid cards. The most I ever paid for a card was... I mean, the, yeah, the, no, it's not so much a card, but multiple cards around the same price range. Because I don't think I've ever gone higher than 60 bucks for a card. Like yeah. a card, but I bought multiple yeah. cards that cost that much. I bought a Baron de Floor for sixty. I bought a uh, Chaos. I bought the Chaos Emperor Pendulum for sixty. Uh, I have purchased uh, what the fuck was it called? It was with the Zodiacs, Dimensional Barrier, the trap card. Mm. Um, oh, it was with Dimensional Shift. I'm, I'm not sure. What uh, I, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I yeah. Don't I about. bought multiple copies of that uh, for sixty bucks a piece. Um, I mean, we're gonna talk just about the Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole. I paid 450 bucks for the damn dual disc. But you see, though, that but there, there's value in that, though, because it, it's yeah. it's just cool to have on display or just, like, get a kick out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, my roommate just spent 300 on three boxes, and he just made his money back with some of the shit that he pulled. Damn. Mm. I don't have the patience for it. Like, when I was going through my cards, I was like, I could sell all this crap online, but I got to keep it organized. Then you're, you gotta list it individually, and then it's like you gotta ship it out individually as people buy it, and it's like, I'm good. <laughs> right, right now, how I how I get my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I just buy the cards individually, unless it's a yeah. specific like, unless it's a specific sta starter set that has like there, a staple. There is a nice little high you get just from buying a box of like the latest set and hoping you you know trying to fish for like the card, right? Even if you have no intention of using it. You know, yeah, just the, the idea of idea. either having it or reselling it to make up the money that you just spent. There is there there is a joy to that. I don't normally like doing that because I like just I like building a collection. When I started, um, so essentially, like a couple of months ago, right after I moved back, actually, uh, because <laughs> I that's called be gambling. <laughs> because yeah, I know. I think it's called gambling. You're absolutely right. I have no problems, but <laughs> Sonic Two ruined you. Um. <laughs> fucking because I knew I was coming back to the Northeast where I have friends that play Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> and, and not just Master Duel. I figured, you know, what, all right, I'm going to uh, I, I kind of want to, like, wipe the slate clean. I, I want to start a, my Yu-Gi-Oh collection again. So I ended up trading away most of the, my old collection that I've had for about 20 years plus, And I got close to a thousand bucks uh, because there was and, and, and most of it was just from, like, a couple of cars that I've had for years. Like I had a Magician's Force, Dark Magician Girl. Uh, fucking a lot of Invasion of Chaos stuff and a lot of original print secret rares that are first edition. Uh, and I used that money to essentially help build and uh, modernize decks that I like to run before. That's why I run Blue Eyes, essentially. You know, I love my Blue Eyes deck. I run Blue Eyes in both physical and Master Duel. Although Master Duel is a little bonkers because I have Max C's in there. And <laughs> it's not as fun. I think that question is, I didn't trade for more copies of Metal Gear Solid 1. I just happened to run into more copies of Metal Gear Solid 1. It's funny because trading card games and Metal Gear is like kind of like one-to-one -to, -one to me for me because like my first exposure to Metal Gear was getting my Metal Gear Solid PS1 copy because I traded my holographic Kangaskhan for Pokemon. Because I, I got it, uh, I got I got the game um, around 1998 or 99, one of those years. Um, because a friend of mine, we we're both in the Pokemon TCG because it was exploding around this time. Saw my holographic Kangaskhan. I was like, "Hey, I have a Metal Gear Solid. If you want to trade it, and yeah, it's a of course, of, of course, I was gonna say yeah to that." <laughs> hey, it's an entire game. 
For a piece of cardboard. And that, that was how I was exposed to Metal Gear. So I could thank Pokemon for that. When I, uh, when I was a kid, my main deck for Yu-Gi-Oh was Red Eyes because I thought that those card arts were so fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. And, and I used yeah. to love Yo. I used to love Joey because he was the underdog. Yeah. Then now he's and just then, like, yeah, yeah. Red Eyes just as a uh, what was it? An archetype just represents the underdog feature. It's it's essentially a less powerful Blue Eyes, but it has gotten cooler over the years. It's kind of annoying though because even like twenty years later, like Red Eyes still exists in that underdog spot where it'll get support, but then it gets immediately trumped by something else. Yeah, well, it doesn't help I, the support it gets. Doesn't really help uh, Red Eyes. It's just a general support card. Yeah, I'm looking at you, fucking Red Eyes Dragoon. <laughs> yeah, I know that is kind of <laughs> like the end all be all example of that. But to be fair, that was because Predator Plant was still legal, uh, and it's not anymore. So does Red Eyes Dark Dragoon still get played? It's still good. Like it's still a no. Good it's still card. a great card. Uh, but yeah, I think it. I think now it just got hit because it got reprinted. So yeah. Uh, same thing with like um, Darkest Metal. Like it's a Red Eyes card, but like no one uses it on a Red Eyes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, so this is why, like, I, I love Yu Gi Oh. I do, but I will never be competitive again. I, I was competitive one time. I was not good at the competitive scene, and I wasn't having nearly as much fun. But when I'm casually playing with like my gimmick, like decks with my blue eyes and other mm -hmm. shit like that, I'm I having a ball. That. Yeah, I, I don't. I get frustrated when I play with people that just want to very strictly treat it like a tournament. Like, bro, yeah. we're not at a tournament. Relax. But the thing, the, th the thing for me, for specifically, is like, if given the choice, like, I prefer playing physical games. But if given the choice, I'll go digital because you are less likely to misplay your cards because the game does the work for you. The thing yes. I hate the most about modern Yu-Gi-Oh now is because descriptions are such are the size of fucking novels. People will misplay their cards because they don't understand how it works. Yep. I'm not going to name or names, Matt, but <laughs> I would have to stop him three times in a duel because that's not how the card works. <laughs> um, yeah, Matt and I had some experiences trying to duel this year because he got really salty when I played something that was like banned. I was like, okay, well, I don't... I don't like, care. That's not how it works. What do you mean? Bruh, it has a semicolon right there. That's not how it works. <laughs> what the fuck's a semicolon? <laughs> I asked everyone was going to start doing, doing their thesis. Who, who, what no, you, they don't read what Miscellaneousaurus does. My god, if you want to test a Yu-Gi-Oh player's resolve in understanding how card effects work, give them Inspector Border. Uh, I believe that's the name of the card. Uh, let me see if I can find the image of it. Uh, Inspector Porter. Let's see. What is it? Well, isn't last turn banned because judges just hate fucking making it resolve? Yeah. Uh, I guess. All right. Cannot be normal or special summoned. If you control a monster, neither player can activate monster effects unless the number of monster effects that the player has previously activated in that turn is less than the number of monsters Card types currently on the field: Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, X, Y, Z, Pendulum, and Link. <gasps> if an effect activation was negated, it still counts towards the total on that turn. Only count effects that were activated while this monster was face up on the field. Did you get any of that? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what I'm hearing is that's right. We're gonna. John, shoot. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I can't read. <laughs> I mean, if you I really was first wanted... exposed to that card two years ago at a TMG because one of my favorite things to do at a TMG is actually not in TMG itself. It's actually when I'm back in the hotel and I'm dueling with Russ. <laughs> uh, uh -oh. And he, he had inspector border just to show and demonstrate. And I was staring at folk, folks. I was staring at this car for two fucking minutes <laughs> <laughs> trying to read and understand what this thing did. I mean, back in the He's day, sure. the ultimate test to see how good someone's vision was while also testing their comprehension was reading the original Relinquished. Back before we had, like, any form of keywords in the game. <laughs> yeah, Relinquished is zero, 0 so it doesn't do damage. Fuck you. <laughs> Let's see, I have it here. This monster can take on the attack and defense of one opponent's monster on the field. In parentheses, a face-down monster results in an attack in defense of zero. Treat the selected monster as an equipped magic card and 
Use it to equip Relinquished. You may use this effect only once per turn and can equip Relinquish with only one monster at a time. When your opponent's monster attacks this monster with an attack higher than Relinquish, the equipped monster is destroyed. Instead of Relinquish, any light point damage you receive from the attack and monster when Relinquish is equipped is also inflicted on your opponent. They fit all oh, yeah. that into the fucking card. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, in the chat, Relinquish had so much sex they forgot to put the fact that it had to be ritual summon. Yes, yep, you, that was a thing. Jesus Would you know Christ. that, we, granted, you figured that was assumed because it was a ritual card. It was blue. How do you get ritual monsters out? You have to use a ritual spell card. Why would Relinquish be the exception to the rule? But it's just because they had to stuff so much shit into the card itself that they just they didn't have any room. Yeah, without keywords. I mean, there, it's like, yeah. there's, always, the a, there's always Endymion. What was I that, though? That, I think Endymion still has, like, the highest card text. Damn. Uh, the Mighty Master. Yeah. It has two effects because it's a fucking pendulum. I don't know what it <laughs> Oh, pendulums. Oh my god, listen, I I, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, I do, and I, I'm, I'm gonna, like, I had hurdles getting back into the game because there's so much more of it, as opposed to, like, 20 years ago, right? But pendulums, for some reason or another, piss me off. <laughs> because you have not just the bottom text, but the top text. And it's only because you can play it as both a spell card or a monster. That's that's it. That's all it is. But the there is just so much goddamn words on the card <laughs> that it just drives me insane. Weren't you just complaining earlier that people aren't reading cards? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but at the same time, if you're going to play it, commit. <laughs> And TTL pendulums. Uh, I was learning about it like a few days ago when I was doing Master Duel, and even then I'm like, the fuck is this shit? Why would you do this? Well, that's the thing. When I got back into the game, I I tried setting a rule for us like, hey, I don't want to play the new shit because I don't fucking understand it. But over time, I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I kind of understand how synchros work now. Yeah. I understand and like how Xyz monsters work. Well, X is easy. Just yeah, the same level, same level stack. There you go. And I Take think the stacking mechanic is cool. Yeah. Then you get the pendulum. I was like, what the fuck? Pendulums sort of still confuse me, despite the fact that I, I kind of understand like how the, the, the mechanics work. Link monsters to a degree also kind of confuse me. Oh, I don't understand so, links at all. Matt tried explaining it to me, and my head was spinning. I was like, you know so, what? You do I scoop. You win. <laughs> Remember, pe Pendulum used to have their own zone, too. Mm -hmm. Well, that was the thing. It fucked up the play, Matt, and I was like, what? Yeah, originally, <laughs> Pendulum monsters had their own zone. In addition to five spell and trap cards, like on the field, you they also had two dedicated spots for pendulum monsters that they would eventually get rid of because it made pendulums obnoxious as shit. Well, and then the other problem that came when Lynx came out was they added the they reduced the pendulum field, but they added the um the extra, the extra monster monst zone the extra for the Lynx monster. Zone. Yeah, but in that master rule, you can only have one extra mo deck monster out at a time. So if you ran like. I don't know, an elemental hero deck? Uh, you weren't gonna do well. <laughs> well, that, no, the rule was like, it just has, you can either put a link this monster over deck, by the way. <laughs> 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 I got fucking uh, like booze in me, <laughs> just, like, just to start like, smacking the thing. Like, if I, I recall, the, 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 the rule is like, it's either an extra monster, so it could either be a link monster or a uh, fusion or anything, or single yeah. like that, I think. But then, like, you still have the other spaces for that route, for like, for that too. You still got all the rest of the other five. Uh, Not in that first master rule with it. Master rule, I think it was master rule. What three? are we on now? Seven? I think seven. Are we already on seven? I had no idea. No, no, no. We're, we're on, on no. We're on four, I think. Okay, so uh, the original okay. one with Link, you could only play them in the in that zone. So once you use that zone, no more fusions or anything. Yeah. I remember that pissed me off because I was playing, um, uh, what was that? What's it called? Legacy of the Duelist, the uh, the one that came before Master Duel. It had that master rule, and I was like, oh, right, I'm on the GX part of the game. And it was like, oh, I can only have one fusion monster at a time? This sucks. <laughs> but then the game got an update when they updated the master rule to make it normal again for non link monsters. And it was like, okay, this is good again. Yeah, yeah. I feel what you mean. You know what, though, I, I was caught off guard because I was visiting uh, my local alternate universes 
a, a couple of days, no, about last week, when I was going picking up some booze at the fucking uh, store, uh, and it was evening, and it was a magic night. Dude, fucking, I don't play magic, but I was still caught off guard by how fucking much that store was popping for Magic the Gathering. Oh, yeah. Like, that store was oh, yeah, no, packed. Ma- magic is fucking popular as that hell. That store was packed, man. I, I've never seen so many Magic players <laughs> gather around like that. How did it smell? <laughs> uh, well, I was only there for a couple of minutes because I was checking out the singles. Uh, but... Yeah, I'm sure they were all single. Yeah. Probably, <laughs> <obviously>. <laughs> that's, that's, single that's, that's, there, yeah. Mean. that's that slow-hanging I'm, fruit. Come on. I, I, I love going to my local tournament to be. I, I love going to my local tournament and being the oldest man there. Like, it feels so weird being the oldest man and the only married man in the fucking like tournaments <laughs> in my locals. Married man, yeah. But you have yeah, like the best story about that sort of shit when you think about it, man. You're in a card shop and you're talking about how you're having the greatest time with your wife and you got married at a Taco Bell. No, they're like, look at this idiot, got a married. Like being well, married fuck, instead of well, these- fuck them. <laughs> yeah, it was a Baja blast. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, speaking of that, my uh, my roommate's bringing some of that uh, alcoholic Baja blast, so I'm gonna be trying that later. Oh, it isn't exactly what it sounds like. Is it just Baja blast that's spiked? Yeah. Oh wait, is it the uh, the can stuff? I, I think so. Uh, he sent me a photo earlier. Is it yeah, that it's based all- on diet Baja blast? I don't know. I never tried it yet. Man, so. I tried. So I only played Magic one time uh, i mean i don't i don't mean to say like i played it one time like a single time as i'm like i played it multiple times but it was during uh my first year of college because uh that's where i met jacob and that's where i met russ uh and before we corrupted russ into playing Yu Gi Oh, <laughs> he was a big magic guy and he tried to get me into the game so i had I had a few runs with Magic the Gathering, and I got the basic gist of it. It just didn't gel with me. I think it's because like I was a broke college student. I was like, I can only afford Yu-Gi-Oh! at this point. I can't afford another fucking card game. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I don't know. Afterwards, even after like I got a stable income and all that sort of shit, I haven't gone back to Magic since. I I, I don't know. I think I think I'm just too, I'm too far into Yu-Gi-Oh! now to invest in another card game. My my biggest issue with other card games is like they uh the current the current meta is usually just the current cards and then they'll reset after a certain time. Really? It's the one. Well, yeah, because you know the difference between like uh how Pokemon is, how they keep yeah. having like there's only different uh the current rule is like these certain cards like in these packs and then like after the next generation they'll switch it up and older cards can't be used again. Like that's yeah, the one like thing I like about Yu-Gi-Oh. Like yeah, like the cards won't do well, but at least you can still use a fucking like first print dark magician to this day and it'll still work fine yeah you know yeah how are you giving me a hard time for still having magic cards in my deck <laughs> <laughs> they're proxies fuck you <laughs> last oh, week i answered rip. a Yu-Gi-Oh tcg oh, tournament for the first time last week uh despite losing hard against a branded illusion deck on both rounds i somehow still made it to fifth place i think it's because we people just don't actually know how the cards work i think most Yu-Gi-Oh players okay this is I'm, I'm joking obviously but like most Yu-Gi-Oh players will just read a deck list online build it and not understand how it works it's like this is this is just this is what they recommend for like top level duels so it's like cool but do you know how the cards center drives with each other do you know how what they do uh-huh, no net decking yeah oh, i didn't really i didn't know that was a term for that rick uh thank you uh but yeah fucking that makes a lot of sense i didn't know there was a term for that <laughs> i mean it's it just they see the professionals doing it okay if they do it then then it must be really good i need to do it as well and then have no idea what the fuck they do using it for the best duels that you can have like at, at locals is just like rogue deck versus rogue deck because you mm-hmm. never know where it's gonna go mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i feel like such an this- asshole though because the last time i went to a regional was mm-hmm. in 2006 uh, this was my second year of college, uh, and it was in Columbus, Ohio, and I lost because I had what I classified as my goggles phase, where I liked wearing goggles, just aviator goggles, just a phase I had. I would put them on during duels. Oh, God. My opponent could see my hand through the reflection uh, yep. of my goggles, <laughs> and I lost first round mm. and after that no one never did it again <laughs> yeah you took you got pegasus yeah i got it's like i'm dumb i'm, I'm bad at this 
<laughs> the price of fashion. <laughs> that's, a, that's a smart idea. You know what? I'm gonna start wearing my reflective aviators when I duel everybody. Hershey <laughs> <laughs> Exxon and John got the L. <laughs> This dumb motherfucker decided to wear goggles. <laughs> You're so he lost. Mind yourself. Exactly. You know, I'm thinking of the Austin Powers movie where number two has his eye patch able to see through the car that Austin's holding. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, alright. I am PK Master. I will say, though, that Digimon TCG is actually really fun. I did enjoy what I played on that. The problem is it's Digimon, so it's going to be obscure as fuck for the rest of life, but whatever. I take that. So I'm sort of self conscious. About oh, this is the crystal sand phase, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this is our next grind, or this is where we're going to be stopping. We're not going to be progressing after uh, this. Actually, if you have all the materials, you can just do it here or now. Uh, I don't have all the materials. I have all the umbrites, but I don't have crystal sands. Crystal sands you get from no. them basically. If you okay. give her 150 blue uh, crafter scripts, you can get right. get all the sands you need. That's what I'm doing no. right now. So a TCG player, that usually means it's either a very bad condition card or just someone who has it with a shit ton of shipping prices right after it. <laughs> uh, yeah, because they're shipping that shit from, from uh, Hong yeah. Kong. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> just make sure you look at the market price. That's what my go-to is. Yeah. Never look at the lowest price. Always look at the market price so you can have like a rough idea of what your like, price is. Yeah. I do have all my crafters uh, leveled at 60+, plus, so I could just do scripts. Um, that's 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 the honestly the easiest bit. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna do that off screen though. Like I, I'll I'll do the turn ins live on the next stream, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that off screen because that's boring as shit to watch, guys. Like even for like, even the relics, I understand is the most casual fucking content, right? Uh, but that I'm not gonna subject you guys to. I'm gonna do that off screen. Yeah, this carbuncle is huge, fun. and it's also. You know, like, uh, I know next year, Team G, uh, we're trying to bring one more friend that plays Yu-Gi-Oh with us to yeah. Team G, so we can have a bit more people like that. Yeah, one that dude, fucking, I, my biggest regret this year is that I didn't have enough time to play Yu-Gi-Oh with anybody. You know, because I'm still I, waiting for round two, I didn't fam. Know you yeah. now. <laughs> I'm actually gonna try to like, learn the game properly. Like, honest to God, guys, like man. too many games is has become my like when I'm not worried about working on a fucking panel or shit like that is my primo Yu-Gi-Oh spot. Because everybody's there and everybody plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. So yeah, next year if, if everyone got more heads coming down, and you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh? You let me know because I will. I will make time. Oh wait, uh, that means I'll have to fucking. We will make the hotel kick us out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that isn't too difficult. Fuck you! Just see Fonz with a shit-eating grin on a walk on the wall of shame. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know another way to mm. get, get, get Has anyone done a legit stuff. duel with the fucking duel this? Yes, Emily, uh, myself, and my brother Mark. Uh, back Emily. when the <laughs> the back when the Toys R Us KB Toys variant of the of the Battle City duel disc originally came out, yeah, my brother and I, one. yeah, my brother and I jumped on that shit immediately because of course we were going to get something like that. That's what they use in the mm -hmm. anime. It was so cool. Mm -hmm. The problem is it didn't fit cards with sleeves on them. So we had to we had to fucking raw dog that shit. And I hated it because I had a lot of foils in my deck around that time. And I had to be really articulate with placing the card in the slot to make sure I didn't damage the card. We dueled maybe two times and then we decided just to go back to tabletop. Also, yeah, it just it just doesn't the hit the same when you don't have holograms. <laughs> <laughs> well, that and once you put cards like in the spell and trap zone, you can't see them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you, Elliot, and Matt are living on my dreams. I think all three of you bought my uh, my old old discs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, no, but you have the um, you still have like the very expensive but primo quality Japanese dual disc. I think it was. Oh, yes, right? I do. Yeah, yeah, that shit. It even plays the Japanese OST when you hit buttons on it. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's yep. it's it it's, it's a OST, fantastic piece of memorabilia. And when you put the cards on, it lights up and plays the little sound yeah. of like the cards coming up. It's so cool. The light point counter actually works. <laughs> I, well, here's something I also realized with it over time. I recorded a slow mo video of like the light points changing. 
and the LCD actually simulates the numbers like rolling around like it's a, like, like one of the big things. Yeah. The numbers actually like <laughs> spin around. It's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Dude, if there so I hate VR. I cannot fuck with VR. It makes me nauseous. But if there is a Yu-Gi-Oh VR game out there that I'm sleeping on, I just don't know about it, I will gladly throw up <laughs> just to there, play that Yu-Gi-Oh VR game. I I've seen like, folks make like <laughs> I, I it's out there. I don't know how good it is, but like there are things where it's like manual. But it is out there. All right, so hold on. So this is our this is the Crystal Sand step, right? We're not going to be doing yeah. this tonight, um, but I, I want to get an idea of what what's in store. Did we get an Anima glass or did? Uh, uh, it's, a key item. Be, it's a key item. Yeah, it's okay. a key item. Okay, uh, let me let me check this real quick. But even then, you kind what of you got there. Can... Uh, where's the? Uh, oh, I'm using the note, right? So. Just to quickly explain this real quick, this is the crystal sand step of the Anima. Originally, when this was current, this step was a panty ass because it was a big grind. Um, originally, when I did this, because I did not know what a crafter or gatherer was, I used to do uh, this, the amber and case falcon. Essentially, you're gathering items to trade to Ulan for crystal sands. You need a certain amount of crystal sands alongside with umbrite. It's not just enough to have crystal sands. You also need umbrite to act as a catalyst for it so the minimum required is 60 umbrite we're gonna we're gonna go bare minimum because we're just doing this for glamour anyway the stats are irrelevant it does not matter um but originally when i did this on content with jean i just did a bunch of lev quests that awarded me with amber in case vilekin i did this 60 ish times hoping it dropped in the first place and then I go about my merry way. But nowadays, since it's nerfed, we can also just do a lot of other shit. And because I actually respect my crafters and gatherers now, we can do crafter script tokens and shit like that. So, what I'm gonna do before we wrap this up, I don't need this part anymore. Be gone. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna switch to uh, I'm gonna switch to my weaver. Um, I haven't done my custom delivery yet for, uh, what's her name? Zoe? Uh, Zoe. Zoe, right. I'm gonna go to her real quick. Anyway, uh, to go, uh let's go back to the Yu-Gi-Oh discussion. This is boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, you go, am I right? Hey, what gamers. Fly. What do we need from you, Zoe? Uh, let me see. We need Maelstrom material, uh, search for crafting method. Okay, so that's gonna give me the shortcut for my thing. Uh, let us, let's go back and actually see if we can do this. Umbright looks like blueberry flavored hard candy. It is. I, actually, I don't know what Umbright is. Uh, bullshit uh, fantasies thing. I got an umbrella. Mine's better. I it's found bigger. myself a paper clip. <laughs> um, let me see what we need. No, not. We need uh, six turn-ins of this item, which requires, I'm weaving, right? So, cloth craft, we need three just to make one. So, three times six is eight. No, not 18. Uh, fucking 24. Uh, wait, am I? Right? No, it's 18. What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah, three sixes about? is 18. Yeah, it's 18. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm a little inebriated right now. No uh, worries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. We need fucking. I just looked at the item again. We need three fucking. Okay. All right. Uh, I so the let's see. Maelstrom component. That was the item I need, right? Just making sure I'm cross referencing, cross referencing. This is just to make sure that we got the item that we need for this. This is all good. I'm in control. Are you? No. Uh, two, yeah, yeah. One. Yeah, I need eight. Two. Three, four, five, six. All right. Nice. All right, now we're gonna make three of these. Uh, six of these, actually. Uh, but we also gotta make sure the quality's up to snuff, too. I don't know how much this is gonna require, though. God damn it, I don't have it. I don't have enough. Oh, okay. yeah, look at that. Fucking. Okay. I almost. Oh, dear, this is gonna be awful. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, the durability is not very, uh, it's not low. Yeah. If it was, then we'd be in trouble because I am not in the mental state for this shit. I kind of should get it to break myself, but I fuck it. All right, cool. Uh, we are going to do muscle memory once, but we don't need to do any more after that. All right, nice. 
Ah, uh, yes. Heavensward Crafting. Mm -hmm. So I was not into the crafting scene come Heavensward. I didn't get into crafting until Shadowbringers. Uh, and the reason for that was because Ishgardian Restoration made it brain dead to level up crafters, but also mm -hmm. because I was progging the Epic of Alexander around that time. And as an ultimate encounter, you're wiping a lot. And every time you wipe, your gear durability goes down by a fraction every single time. In an ultimate encounter, you are wiping a lot. So what this means is that just after maybe half an hour of progression, your gear is about to fucking break. And if you don't have your crafters leveled up, you can't repair your own gear inside the fight itself. So you have to exit the fight, go to a repairman, repair your gear, and then head back into the fight. That got really fucking annoying. So finally, I decided to level my crafter to Shadowbringers, and ever since then, I've, I've, my eyes have been opened to the world of crafting and gathering, and now I am a hardcore crafter. I'm an omni-crafter. I'm an omni-gatherer, too, and I make a lot of money because I know how to I know how to fucking manipulate the market board, you know? I thought you were going to say I know how to suck the market board. <laughs> Late-stage capitalism yeah. suckers. <laughs> And now you can repair the gear by the players too. That it absolutely works. Sure, that it, that is a great quality of life update. I was going to say, me on the other hand, I have never done crafting. I'll probably never do crafting, <laughs> and I hate crafting for the rest of my life. No. Well, Swanty, if you come to me, I'll repair your gear for. Why we have a in the sea house? I don't need anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it doesn't get my stamp on it. The only things we can't repair are relationships. We're sorry, some things are just lost causes. <laughs> yeah, true enough. Crafting, though, is honestly not that bad. So basically, just to, just to break down crafting real quick, and this is not at all like a primo guide on this sort of shit. I'm just talking about from my perspective. When you're crafting, uh, you are essentially uh, using actions to build your... Pro you have a progression bar, and you have a quality bar here. The progression bar is like your... It tracks your means of just com just making the item in the first place, right? And if you just build your progression bar, right, and you finish it, that means you're, you're going to make the item, but it's going to be normal quality. And normal quality is fine for some items. It doesn't really matter. But if you want something that's high quality, which in the case of, like, gear that you can wear, higher quality gear has better stats than normal quality gear. So if you're looking to make a, no a high quality gear, you also got to raise the item's quality, the higher it is, the more chances it'll be high quality when you finish the craft. If you max out quality, it is guaranteed to be high quality when you finish the craft. That's it. That's all it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Waste Not 2, which uh, it decreases the amount of durability I use for every action. And then I'm going to hit Innovation, which increases the quality of every quality action that I do. So I'm going to do Basic Touch. That combos into standard touch, then that should... Okay, I didn't get a proc at all there. Fuck me. Uh, I am going to do another <laughs> basic touch, then a standard touch. That's going to run out my innovation. Then I'm going to hit great strides. Then I'm going to hit Byrogot's blessing. And there you go. My quality is maxed out. So this item is now max quality. So I'm going to finish the craft by finishing up the progression bar. And there you go. Oh, I leveled up from that too. That's really nice. That's all. That's all it is. That's all. It's, it's easy. It's easy. Crafting's easy. Crafting's really easy. Anyway, what were they talking about again? <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> I fucking hate reading. Anyway, back to crafting. No, it's math. Oh, man. So anyways, Miscellaneousaurus, can we, I, I, I honestly don't remember what that card is. Can, can someone link me a Miscellaneousaurus? Because I don't remember what that card is. Uh, okay. uh, thank you, Linebeck. Give me a second here. Miscellane- God damn, that's a lot of text. Hold on a second. The hell? Wait a minute. All right. Um. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it myself. Okay. I gotta do it for the content. I mean, I'll let her watch a craft. What the fuck is this? Hold on. During the main phase, quick effect. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. During this main phase. Dinosaur monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Okay. 
You can banish any number of dinosaur monsters from your graveyard, including this card, special summon one dinosaur monster from your deck with a level equal to the total number of monsters banished to activate this effect, but destroy it during the end phase. You can only use this effect of miscellaneous source once per turn. Can we talk about opponents activated effects? I feel so bad for the judge that has to clarify on what exactly that means. I mean, that's pretty bad, but I don't think it's as obnoxious as Inspector Border. Like, what effect did you activate? I eff uh, my effect is I'm, I'm, I'm saying no. I'm <laughs> I'm, the effect is I'm flipping the board. Yeah. <laughs> Eat shit. The effect, the effect is I'm scooping. Yes. <laughs> the effect is I'm done. Okay, we made our materials. Let me go turn these in real quick to get my rewards and my gill. Custom Speaking deliveries are a great way of leveling crafters, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. In case you're like you're looking for a means to level them up, uh, custom deliveries. There, there are some characters in uh, the expansion that will have custom deliveries, and what they're basically asking is you deliver a certain amount of items for them. Uh, after that, you get experience, or if you're already capped, uh, you gain scripts. Uh, two. And scripts are end game crafting currency that you can use to purchase things that you can use for like crafting materials or making uh, uh, end game stuff or just put it on the market for selling. Make some uh, make some money. Stonks. So my favorite uh, Yu-Gi-Oh talk real quick. Uh, what are your thoughts on censored cards? Just censored, censored card cards. Card? Actually, I wanted to I wanted to touch upon that real quick. So. Uh, some cards, card shops have this promotional thing, right? Where if you purchase enough, they give you lost art cards for Yu-Gi-Oh, mm -hmm. which is essentially uh, the, car card. the card's original art before it was censored. Um, uh, and there was one that I, I got recently because I went on that uh, fucking smorgasbord from earlier. And uh, I forgot what the hell the name. It was a spell card. I think it was like Grand Confluence or Grand Cosmo or something like that. And it's just the solar system. Like, it's just, a, it's just the planets aligning. And it's like... What's so bad about this card? Like, why was this card censored? Oh, I gotta see if I can find it. Give me a second. I'm sorry to do this real quick. Give me a second. It's not a flat earther thing, is it? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think so, but man. I can see that being a problem, though. Oh, dear. Uh, what's it called? Uh, something about a solar system. Oh, okay. Uh, I know which one he's talking about. Uh, Grand Convergence. Okay, yeah, that's an edit, I guess. That's dumb. Is uh, John still it. here? Oh, he went to go find the actual card. <laughs> that's right. Oh, dear. Okay, yeah, then I'll wait till whatever he comes back. Cause, uh... <laughs> okay. Um, I found the is, card, by the way. This is the card I got. This is Grand Com I know you can't barely see that shit. Actually, where's my webcam at? I, I have the photo. I have the, uh, the- I have it here. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, give it to me, give it to me. Yep. It's on Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, I'm about to post it. Yeah, okay. What the fuck? That's it? I think I know exactly yeah. why they censored it, and it's the stupidest shit. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, no, it's, uh... It, yeah. They have Give a description a... of what was, uh, what was censored. Yeah. It was just a bunch of cheap walk cycles! So on the left is the original art, on the right is what we got. They just removed the, the plus, the cross. Uh, that's it. That's it, isn't it? Like, it just because uh, it looks like an upside-down cross, that's literally it. Yeah. Yep. I'm hoping it was, good. it was like a flat earther thing. Like, I, <laughs> I would, that would have been <laughs> interesting! But this is just because eh, it looks too close like a fucking cross. So I was like, it's two lines converging. Like, it looks I could, more like a spash logo than a cross. <laughs> yeah. I, I, fucking people, man. Like, I swear to Christ. <laughs> uh, I found out recently one of my Dragon Maid cards is censored. Oh, dear. Which one? Uh, Funny. I, I don't know what it's called. It's, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the dumbest shit because it's so hard to see unless you like someone points it out. <sighs> I don't want to get my deck. Yeah, I, I think yeah, the, the nurse has titty buttons, and that's like that was the biggest edit. Wait, what titty was it? Bun? 
Uh, so one of the Dragon Maid cards, uh, right. the nurse, the nurse is in the background, very far that you can't see. Right, right. She has little, t she has little uh, buttons on her breasts, like. She's fully clothed and everything. Right, right, right. And then the and then the sun's <laughs> no, no, the but she's got those nipple buttons. You gotta think of little fucking three-year-old Timmy that plays yeah. this game. Jamie Jackson in the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> That was Bro, so if, long a fucking, ago. if a fucking like if a fucking oh seven year old God. was collecting Dragon Maid Yu Gi Oh cards, I would be concerned. Very concerned. They're mine now. <laughs> You're not getting the back. Actually, <laughs> I think this coming of Super Bowl is going to be the twentieth Super Bowl since that happened. Ugh. What the the Janet Jackson <laughs> oh. wardrobe malfunction? Yeah, yeah. This coming Super Has Bowl has already be been twenty years. That felt like a <laughs> lifetime ago. It was 04, so, so it, it celebrate. Was 04. the singer's gonna whip out their dick, right? Yeah, yeah and it's it, it's <laughs> and it, it's coated in silver paint. <laughs> yeah. Do I own any misprinted Yu-Gi-Oh cards? No, not anymore. I used to have a Spanish Gate Guardian, but that's not a misprint. That's just a different language. The one misprint I had, I sold to the store. I think it was like Silent Paladin, but it was the card text. The imprint was there, but the actual text wasn't there, so it was Oh, blank. interesting. But, like, the imprint was there. So, it was Fucking... like the machine stamped it down. How did she but, not like, think of wearing a... Because it was staged, JC. Like, there is no way that whole wardrobe malfunction wasn't staged. She was wearing a fucking booby tassel. Justin Timberlake well, deliberately reached for that fucking piece of cloth and ripped it. It was staged. Yeah, I like you know how what? he's the one who deliberately ripped it off. Yeah, she's the one who got in trouble. She's the one that it. got all the, all the fucking right, because like, bullshit for her. Of yeah. course, because that woman crazy. Like, that, that's yeah, literally it, dude. Boys. Like, it's how fucking... How dare the it's, have memory it's, glands? It's fucking disgusting, folks. Like, people are dumb. Yeah, yeah breast in public, disgusting. No, I don't believe in that at all. Yeah, that, babies. No, no, I don't even know why they call it a wardrobe malfunction. I, the, the, to me, that that kind of pissed me off immediately. It was like wardrobe malfunction, that shit was intentional, guys. Like I don't yeah, know. That, why was, that, that was a Timberlake hand malfunction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Timberlake's malfunctioning. <laughs> He's reaching for the tit. Sexy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> then my fucking webcam freeze again. God damn it. Well, yeah, we're about to end this stream anyway, so um, yeah. let me let me at least demonstrate what we can get for scripts. And shit. No, wait, wait. I didn't even turn in the rest of the stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I couldn't even turn in the rest of the stuff because now nah, she's going to be asking for a different thing for a delivery, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. All right. So hold on. Bear with me, folks, because we got to do three more of this shit. We need, uh, we need three, six, nine, three. We need nine more heart, heartfelt gift components. So we're going to make those real quick. All right. Back to quick Yu Gi Oh! John, what is your thoughts on Maxi? Uh, I'm glad it's banned. <laughs> What, you don't like having to make your own fucking deck that goes around that card in Master <laughs> Duel? I love no, it. No. I the only thing I like about Max C is the Max C challenge. Outside of that, no, I'm glad this card is banned. Get it away from me. It is an obnoxious card that is too overpowered in a game where you are special summoning every fucking turn. Overpowered, dude, just action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is assuming you even have an ash in your hand, though. Wait, well, so what's that, the well, Maxi challenge? Is well, that when you uh, find right, the Maxi and Mocha Mola? Are you telling me you're not pulling an ash each fucking pull? Well, that's just skill issue, man. <laughs> Easily, yeah. You didn't draw the card you needed? Skill issue, idiot. <laughs> you're fool. Speaking of card games, did anyone play the blatant Yu-Gi-Oh! ripoff Duel Masters? Yeah, high school. There oh, were a God. couple of friends that tried to make it a thing, didn't take off. Because everybody was already hard committed to Yu-Gi-Oh! at that point. And granted, that's not Duel Masters' fault, right? It, it just had the problem of being in an environment where everybody was already hard committed to Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, if you I, weren't playing Yu-Gi-Oh, you were playing Pokemon. If you weren't playing Pokemon, you were playing Magic the Gathering. You know, it's kind of funny, though, because I don't think in my life of playing or experiencing the Pokemon TCG, because, like, I, I was I was in the Pokemon TCG when that shit just released, folks. Like, I'm talking the late 90s, right? I don't know anybody that actually played the card game. Everybody yep. just collected the cards because it was like Pokemon, right? The, the, you know, a theme of Pokemon, gotta catch them all. 
So for the for the card game, gotta collect them all. There's a card game attached to this. That's fucking news to me. Nobody played the card game. Everybody what are just these collected energy the energy cards. cards that I keep getting. Yeah, mm-hmm. these energy cards are fucking waste of space, dude. Like they fucking took away <laughs> my Echo Fighter for this shit. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> nobody played the actual Pokemon TCG, and in high school, nobody was talking Pokemon. Period. It was all Yu Gi Oh, all Yu Gi Oh. But well, starting in college, people oops, started bringing Yu-Gi-Oh. in Pokemon TCG. It was now a shared space between Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Magic was there on occasion, but not nearly as prevalent as Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon from my thing. Like where I went to college, it was either Yu-Gi-Oh or it was Pokemon, not Magic. It, it's funny to, to tell people that they didn't realize like Pokemon had a drop off in the early 2000s for yes. a hot oh, yeah. for a hot couple years, and people don't believe that. I'm like, no, there was a, there was a good time from like. 2002 to like 2010 where like no one gave a, if you were playing pokemon you were you were a fucking kid yeah well and that's where i come in because i was in elementary school when gen 3 came around in the um fire red and leaf green so for my generation or i don't want to say generation because i'm in like that weird like tail on uh, the millennials. <laughs> oh god when your opponent no <laughs> <laughs> So I was in like the sweet spot where like Yu-Gi-Oh was all the rage, Pokemon Gen Three and the um, Gen One Remix were all the rage, and that's I think that was also when Cartoon Network started airing um, Pokemon. So uh, here you go, I'm posting this. Yeah, I, I thought it was like a weird thing too. where like we were into it when like the rest of the world wasn't. Yeah. And then uh, there's the crowd of kids arguing whether Pokemon is better or Digimon is better back in the day. No, I mean, listen. I'm speaking as... So, here's the thing, though. Back in, I'm not sure what back in the day means for you, Chaos, Alex, compared to <laughs> what back in the day means for me. When back in the day for me, I'm talking mid to late 90s. So, back in those days, nobody gave a flying fuck about Digimon. Like, Digimon those that much. those that did were very dedicated and passionate about Digimon and more power to them. But me, as an ignorant dipshit, just looked at Digimon as a Pokemon knockoff, right? If you were, if you were into Digimon, you were born in like 93 to 95. Yeah. <laughs> well, their usernames to be believed, they were born in 97, so... <laughs> <laughs> Or they could be the 1,997th Chaos Alex. That could be it, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and as it turns out, it's actually a Tamagotchi ripoff. Right, right, right. But with a name like Digimon, it was easy to draw parallels. And that was the thing. It, was, it For me, Digimon fell into the same stage for Duel Masters. They were, as a kid, I was like, huh, Digimon... Okay, so it's Digimon, a Pokemon knockoff. Digital knock Masters, fucking Digital Monsters, not Digital Masters. What the fuck? See, this is how you know that I don't care about Digimon because I got the fucking song wrong, dude. Oh my Change god! Change into digital fact. monsters to save the digital world. <laughs> you know <what's> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Well, we'll see, I was we'll like, see hey. this about Digimon. Uh, the Digimon movie is my fucking soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, except for the Digirab, that can go f- suck a dick. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't deny it. You love it. TNA is back from the And then Duel Master saw the same thing where it's like, huh, Yu Gi has a show about dueling that's popular, and this is a new show about dueling. This is clearly a ripoff, you know? Without even giving it a fair As if both can't exist in the same plane. Like, it's, it's that fucking tribalism that makes wrestling yep. fans so <laughs> insufferable. Like. Mm-hmm. Fucking just play both for God's sakes. Now, granted, no. I can say this now as a, 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 a as a more knowledgeable adult, but back then, twenty years ago, I was just I was the same as one of those dipshits. I think, oh, fucking Digimon. Yep. What a Pokemon ripoff. Like, what the like? Shut it. Riding on the coattails of this infinitely more successful series. I was like, you f- shut the fuck up. <laughs> I will like the it's funny because like looking back at the Digimon anime just like what they did that I think I enjoy better than Pokemon is that they 
they Americanized it, but they kept a lot of the Japanese influence in the anime. Yeah. In the actual proper translation, like all the kids still have their original Japanese names. They just Amer- they just give them nicknames, and I find that okay. Like I'm happy they did that because it's really weird going to like to Pokemon and you have like like oh it's Ash. No, you dumbass. His name is Satoshi. Yeah. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Shut up. Stop talking. Like who are you? Uh, that's my question. Well, you know, speaking of kids, WB, like, where was the Jackie Chan Adventures or the Mucho Lucha TCGs? The what? <laughs> oh, you're talking about something that I also used to be pretty tribalistic about, too. Was oh. Western developed anime esque cartoons. Mm. Uh, I used yeah, to have a pretty bad phase about that sort of shit, too. Like, that, that was originally the reason why I didn't watch Teen Titans. That was the reason why I didn't watch Teen Titans. That's the reason why I didn't watch oh. uh, Avatar. Uh, that was the reason why I didn't really pay attention to Jackie Chan Adventures because I thought like, oh no, only Japan can write can make anime, fucking like America or Western like studios trying to make uh, like anime it doesn't work. It's not the same. Go back to He Man, bro. <laughs> bro, it sounds like you. It, it sounds like you're a weeb who just first thought of like Kingdom or the like finding out what Japan is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. No, dude, I was totally guilty of that shit. Like years Glory ago. <laughs> absolutely. You know, I, I was definitely one of those kids. Was like my first anime was Dragon Ball. That sort of thing is like, oh, fucking found the, uh, get it, fa- get it right. Found the shoe. It was Dragon Ball Z, was right. it? No, 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 Dragon Ball Z. No, all right. Technically, for me, it was Dragon Ball because I, I grew up, I, 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 I did catch the Harmony Gold dub, like ah, growing up with my boy Zero. Yes, was Zero. Uh, but I, that was so long ago. I don't even have any memories of it other than I, I know that I used to watch it. Uh, fucking hold on, wait, quick before we, before we go. That that's Chloe. That's that not 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 the, not the person I was trying to talk to. <laughs> We're gonna talk to Chloe later because she she unlocks wondrous tales, but uh, that's later. I love Whiskers the Wonder Cat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking um, what do I trade the scripts for? It's for the blue tokens, right? Uh, so uh, yeah, 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 blue script tokens. Blue script you tokens. Need five, yeah, you'll need a total of hundred and fifty to get enough uh, crystal sands. Where is it under? Uh, miscellaneous? Uh, no. Uh, no, uh, see, go into blue, go into... Oh, here we go. There, there. Yeah. I think my favorite description to Kappa Mikey these days is just it's a VTuber meetup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to deny that. Uh, I did love Jackie Chan Adventures, though. That was a fun show. Oh, yeah, no, that, that show was great. All right, so we have we have blue script. So we have a means of getting crystal sands, right? So what this? Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is that we're going to switch back to Dragoon because I can't interact with her unless we do. And you need to equip the weapon. Uh, we need to equip the weapon. Thank you. Um, where the fuck is the weapon? Did I not? <laughs> it's in your. In yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right. Uh. Exchange items for crystal sand. We have blues. So we did all of that crafting to get white scripts. That's essentially the currency, the, the basic currency for crafters. Uh, and we exchanged those white scripts for blue crafters script tokens. And you need at least five of these blue crafters script tokens to get one or no two uh, handfuls of, uh, of crystal sands. We have 41. I don't know how much that's going to get us, but eight. Eight. <laughs> well, it's eight times two, so it's sixteen in total. Right. Right. Okay. All right, and because of that, we got fucking. Where the hell did the item go? We got sixteen crystal sands. Again, we need a bare minimum of sixty. We only have sixteen. I'm going to be doing this off screen. You guys don't have to worry about that. That's not like SpongeBob. You need six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you need sixty what? crystal sands to pass. You got six. <laughs> you know, so oh, you know, using moon pearls from the Grand Company is also. Wait, do I have any moon pearls? Hold on, let me check my. Uh, I no, I got. Wait, is it moonstone or moon pearls, Crystal Hero? Uh, it's stone. Hold on, let's go. I got 20 of these things here. One second. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Fucking. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Stop talking. I want (laughs) to. I want to see how much. Oh, my God. Fucking. I forgot about the elemental aspected materials. You can't get these anymore. Yep. Why are they still here? 
Actually, I think they're still on the market board. Why? You can't do I anything with them. All right, we're going to trade these in. We got works. eight more there. Fucking, do I have anything else I can use? Fucking Thavnarian Miss. Why do you need 20 Thavnarian Miss? What about Allegan Cattle? 20? <laughs> For two? What the yes. fuck? That's when nothing else is worth. This bullshit. Power, Wait, yeah. you don't have, how much bocce farther, farthing do you have? Oh, I, I, I don't run alliances like that with this character. So nothing. Oh. I don't have any of them. It doesn't matter. Like, yeah. again, to reiterate, I, you know what? Hold on. I'm sorry to keep doing this, folks. We're going to go a little into overtime. I'm going to show you exactly the method I used to get uh, oh, Crystal no. Sands back in the day. Hold on. Let me take another circle of my drink. I mean, your camera's not working. We could, <laughs> like, you could be doing a bunk of, a bump of Koku. I am masturbating know. right now. That was a good uh, slur. DSP. Uh, mm. Oh, God. Never mind. I hate everything about that. <laughs> um, so my method of getting Crystal Sands back in the day was farming Amber encased Vilekin. And we did that by initiating... Uh, who had the Lev? Was it here or was it in uh, the Foundation? I think it was in the Foundation. Thinking, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Let me go check the was. Foundation. I'm pretty sure it was the Foundation. Uh, I think I'll love for having to look kinda in there. Well, can... Where oh, is the just... there it is? <laughs> I've been loving these streams by the way, like I've been fucking wait, there's just a straight up amber trader. For what? What do you trade for specific? What can I get for you from Amber? Oh, okay. These are items I can just... They're not even high Make. quality, though. I yeah. think you get an Aerodactyl for the Amber. No, wait, no, wait, that's wait, Jurassic wait, wait, Park, wait. you fucking moron. <laughs> wait, 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 can you... Can isn't you that just uh, the Clonosaurus? <laughs> uh, it's I Battlecraft. Uh, let uh, me see. Was it level 56? No. Was it... It, it has to be one of the 58, because that's all going to be in the... In, in uh, the, the Hinterlands. Yeah. Is this, uh, let's see. No, 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 It's not these. It's not these. Is it? It's not large scale. It has to be that. It has to be fucking. It has to. Wait, hold on. Is it not here? I think it was dance magic dance. Which do you remember the name of? Let's dance. Put. Wait, is it here? Put on your dance I'm sorry. Put on your DMC aid. Battlecraft and pray you got a chest. Right, 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 right. But it's like, is it here? Yeah, it's one of these. It has to be from level 50. It's Dance to Magic Dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I'm sorry. It's been years since I've done it this way, so <laughs> um, so that's why I'm, I'm a little skivvy on the details. But this is rubble, how I originally rubble. used to do it. Your face is a mess. Rebel, oh, rebel. <laughs> All right, then we're going to teleport to here. No, no, no. Yeah, there we go. There, oh, fuck. I should have teleported to the east. It's closer. Wow, you can really see the fucking texture mapping from this far away. Mm -hmm. Like, god damn. Oh, it's great going to like older areas, like on a maxed out PC. Yeah, <laughs> you can really tell. Like, right. oh man, this is this is a PS3 game. Is this text, dude? I can't wait for the graphical glow up, dude. Like the the fan mm -hmm. fest stuff this morning showcased. Like there was a panel where they were demonstrating like what they have in mind for the graphical update, and like I can't wait. Like there there are a lot of things. There are a lot of little things that add up to the bigger picture that I'm really looking forward to. We're already here. I was about, I was about to fucking fly right past over that shit. Yeah, here it is, the gray arena. This is what I called it because it just looked like a fucking arena that you fight things, right? So we're gonna initiate this left quest. Uh, fucking here we're gonna initiate, and then we gotta hope that a treasure coffer spawns, because if it does, uh, then that is going to have Amberkin. And then I remember, like, if one didn't spawn, you had to, like, fly around this area, I think, right? I, I used to fly yeah. in, like, a triangle formation just to see if a treasure coffer spawned. If one didn't spawn, we'd have to reset and do it again. 
think it's usually around the uh, quest area. If I yep. right. I'm not I'm really seeing glad it. I gave up. Here this it is. Fucking, like, here it is. 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 Hopefully, we got Amberkin. Yay, we got one. Okay, cool, cool. Now we just finish off the the the, the fucking thing. No, actually, I don't think we need to finish it off. We can just leave. No, no. Yeah, you just you basically just yeah, abandon it, but you keep the items. Right, 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 right. All right, so fucking hold. On, let me kill this guy. All right, there you go. Goodbye, Shine. All right, then we abandon the quest. But did you just say Shine? Sh yes. Uh, then we see here we get to keep the items so you can trade this in for a handful of crystal sand and I would do that 60 times uh, to <laughs> uh, get the crystal no not even 60 because here's oh. the thing so you can so you can trade in either the bare minimum 60 or the maximum of 80 because the reason why you would want to go over uh, 60 is because you could uh, fine tune the substats of your weapon. Now, this only is relevant back when the content was relevant. If you want your, if you want to min max your stats so that you have the the most critical hit or determination or accuracy, because that was a thing around this time, you'd go for the max uh, turn ins for Crystal Sand and Umbrite. But you know we're post heaven sword, way post heaven sword. So all we need is the bare minimum sixty. Yeah, we got to get that best in slot for a twelve s. And it's like, I'm I no. <laughs> oh, How about not? he's getting chased by a I'm bee. I'm so fucking. I'm so fucking glad accuracy is not a thing. I no. get kicked out of a fucking party because like I, because apparently uh, when in my combo I missed three times because my accuracy shit. Even though I was the last one fucking alive. Fuck. Yep, that'll do it. Let's do it one more time, though, just for shits and giggles. Oh, no, he's we're going to retry. Then we're going to initiate. So, LevQuest, you are allowed 100 per... Like, well, you're just allowed 100. Uh, you are you get six more allowances every six hours, I think, or is it 12 hours? I forgot uh, how much. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on that one, but... You have more than enough retries to try this shit. We're gonna try it again, see if we get a, uh, if we get some good coffer luck. I'm gonna reinitiate just to see if we get another coffer that spawns somewhere so that we can get more amber, right? Oh my god, this takes me back because this step sucked dick like so much. Yeah. This is so t again. I only did it this way because I did not level crafters back when this was shit was relevant. So this was what I was literally doing. Imagine me doing this shit like 80 times, 80, oh, man. 80. 80. I hate being that meme where like the dude's like, yeah, I never under, I wouldn't understand your pain while I'm getting like that 24 hour where I didn't get a fucking drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, I'm flying around the basic Bermuda Triangle of my pathway, right? I'm looking around. I don't see a coffer. I don't see a coffer anywhere. I think there's like one more spot I can hang around to see if one spawned. I don't see it. Nope. All right, this one's a bust. So what do we do? We go to the Lev menu. We abandon. Duty failed. Retry. Initiate. Okay. Confirm. Do it again. See if a cough respond. Let's see if a cough respond anywhere. Anywhere? All right, I'm going to fly around here, right? On my oh, fucking I'm floating magical crab. It's fine. I'm getting... Dude, you gave me PTSD. I remember doing this for three days straight. I yeah, 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 yeah. This shit sucked, dude. This shit sucked. <laughs> this shit was not fun. If only because yeah. I did not level up crafters. I didn't know idea what the hell a script was. Same here. Uh, so I, I, I'm flying down the basic pathway that I, I, I did again. It's usually around here. That the coffer can spawn in like different locations. I generally yeah, had a set to... location of where it can spawn. Uh. And generally, after I do like two runarounds, if I didn't see a glimmer of a chest anywhere, I assume it was a bust, and I reset the lev. I don't this see anything. Awesome. This looks like a bust. I don't see no, anything. I'm not having, I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> I'm just doing this for the content to show folks how good they got it now, because this shit was a pain in the ass back in the day. And don't let anyone ever convince you that back then it was better. It was not. It was more tedious. Tedious does not equal fun. <laughs> <laughs> but John, we had not. toilet paper back in the day. What? 
We had TP back in the day. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, I, I was kind of fumbling spare about each of my bad for a second. <laughs> I'm going to clear the selection. Uh, fucking... Nope, I don't see a treasure coffee here. So you know what that means? We're going to abandon? Retry. Initiate. Confirm. Back on the grind. Go, oh, no. magical crab, go. Oh, magic cloud. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Come, magic cloud. Where's the fog cloud? Uh, yeah, sometimes you end up with, like, with this, we can go through, like... Th th 3, 10, 20 levs without, without ever seeing a coffer. Yeah. And yeah. then you'd, you'd have no. to wait for your levs to refill, which, you know, which only happens after a certain amount of hours in a day. You know, because this is an MMO. Uh, an, MMO an MMO that respects your time doesn't want you fucking no lifing this game for 24 hours. Idiots do that. Says the idiot. Uh, Why do you keep on doing this? And Yoshi P is like, yes, we'll fix it eventually. Fucking, we'll never I don't see it. Uh, nope. 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 Don't see a glimmer of a coffer anywhere. Nope. Nothing there. Nothing here. Nothing here. I, I, I am dedicated to this, folks. I'm good. I'm, I am demonstrating how horseshit this was back in the day and why you guys got it so good now. I'm so happy that you guys got it much better than I did. Fucking I'm not. Right. They, should do, they should suffer the same way Abandon, we Abandon. Retry. Initiate. No. Okay. Here we go. Fucking... Now. You know, Fortune smiled upon you when you would initiate the quest and you can just see the coffer spawn right in front of you. That yeah. was the best feeling in the world because that means there's no guesswork. It just means that, okay, cool. This means this level's great. It's not a bust. Oh, wow. Well. Here we go. I don't see anything. I'm going to fly a little over here. Nope. I think you have to spawn right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go over here. Nothing. Don't see anything. Nope. <laughs> How about over here on this cliff side? <laughs> nope. Nothing. How about over here on this side? Anything? Nope. How about over here? Nope. There. No. Nope. Nope. Nope, that's a bust. All right. Remember, folks, if a if a fourteen player said back in the day this game used to be fun, they are lying through their fucking teeth. That's fun until you have to do this shit. All right. Surely this time we'll be the winner. Here we go. All right, I initiate it. Right, and I'm on my flying magical crab. Fucking. I think it's just not fun, we're flying. Man. We're flying. We're flying. We're again. We're looking for a silver coffer. We're just looking for a silver coffer. You can catch a silver coffer from a while because that, that glimmer is has a pretty long drawing distance. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound I make when I see it. Uh, fucking, I don't see it there. How about here? I used to know all the spawn points by heart because they are in fixed locations. I think I saw. Uh, hold it, turn around. I think I saw, saw something glowing on it. Maybe Where? it might be. It, it just could be Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. Maybe probably. it was like one of the sprites. Maybe. Uh, it probably was. Oh, damn it. As someone who didn't get to play back then, I want to play Gun Match so fucking bad. No, you don't, Ray. Shut up. No. I uh, fucking. I don't see anything. Nope. This looks like a bust. No. I'm gonna. It's again, I, I used to know all these spawn locations by heart, but not anymore because that uh, was years ago. Uh, but no, I don't see anything here. Nothing. All right. So this looks like a bust. So what I'm gonna do. Right. I'm gonna gonna park my ass right here. Gonna fucking fucking stop. Let me abandon. There we go. <laughs> Retry. John, I, w I would like to say thank you for next month. I'm not spending a month. Thank you for activating my PTSD. That's fine. I hate everything. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's great. See, I'm saving you, Fonz. Because I know like, I know that you lost the bet. And that's why you're back on 14. It's like, this motherfucker doesn't actually want to be here. What's he doing here? <laughs> uh, oh, Fonz. You're not leaving. You're here forever. Yes, I remember the yeah. TP gauge. The TP gauge sucked. And anyone tells you that, otherwise, it's dumb. They're lying. Uh, no, fucking... it's, it's, it's only bad when you died. So the best thing to do was not, <laughs> not die. die. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so easy. Just stop being yeah. depressed. Just stop that. Be, yeah. Or be a dark knight. And if one of your bars fucking empty, oh, well, you're fucked. Mm. I remember that. <laughs> and don't AoE. It's so easy. Just don't fucking uh -huh. attack. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to lose your TP? Don't fucking do anything! Also, your DPS is low. Why? 
Remember when because Invigorate, I'm... like, remember what, what state, remember Warrior when you had a, two different stances, like Invigorate either increased your TP or increased your health? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a bust, I mean, too. I'm going to retry. Uh, well, it's just Black Blood and okay. the other one. Good for no, kind of fuck! I, I fucking, I shifted the difficulty to zero! I mean, what if, this, what if this is the one that actually spawns the coffer, right? Right, right. What if it has not? No, what if the difficulty has nothing to do with anything? I think it doesn't. Hold on. Well, we're, hold on. Maybe this, this this is the run, right? This is the run. This is the run. John feverishly said to himself, hoping that this is the one because he's tired and he wants to go to bed. But maybe this is the one that has the coffer, right? This is the one that has the coffer. This is the one that has the coffer. It has to be the one that has the coffer because otherwise this would be a waste of time, and John doesn't like wasting his time because John, he could be doing something productive. Why are you looking at a coffer at three in the morning? Fucking, because I lost control of my life. It just it hits on four, yeah. Fucking, I don't see one here. I don't see one, boo boo. There is no silver coffer here. Nope. Nope. Don't see it anywhere. I don't catch a glimmer of any sort of shining coffer. This is a waste of time. So let me fucking. Ah, uh, yes, good old Sword Oath, where you just did more auto attacks. That's it. Surely this one, right? This one has my silver coffer that I'm looking for, that has my amber. Where? There it is! Yeah! <laughs> there it is! Yeah! That was fun! I'm so good at this game! John, I think this- I think it's called coping. <laughs> And He's then we abandon, boat. and then we just do it again! But we're not going to, because I'm tired. <laughs> so now we are going to... I'm not going to teleport to Idleshire, I'm going to take the long way. Hold on, uh, John, open your map. Yo. Uh, I see the part that wasn't explored over there. What? You mean here, and there, and there? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to yes. leave it like that. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> 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 I hear your argument, but also flying crab. Hey, uh, okay. how, but how good, good, good about? Hey, John, did you also yeah. remind the chat that Amber and Case Falcon are untradeable and unsellable? To be fair, I I'm not gonna bitch about that part uh, because if it was, then there'd be no challenge to the step itself. You know, people would just fucking buy that shit off the market board or bully people for fucking you know buying their. I don't know. I I, I don't care that it's untradeable. You know, but it would have saved a lot of fucking time. <laughs> Back in heaven's word, <laughs> coping wasn't a word, yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> it wasn't a word, it was the fucking meta. Back when heaven's word launched, a lot of words were considered okay to say. <laughs> <laughs> and we exchange items for crystal sand, then I go to amber and case falcon. I have no, I wish I had 99. Were you going to check something about the moonstone? I already did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I had some in my Chocobo saddlebag. Speaking of, how many seals do I have? Uh, not many. It's just 6,000. Oh, wait, wait, actually, yeah, that is one thing I want to remind myself before we uh, end up the stream. Let's go back to my squadron. Yeah, Don't right. pet me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Virtual Cosmo, thank you for the tier one. Much appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Okay. <laughs> Fucking, uh... I found a video where uh, so I bought Heavens I bought the Heavens Word Collector's Edition like the actual box with everything nope uh, I recently found a video that I took with my friends that I sold I ended up selling the whole thing to my friend but I kept the code <laughs> Because I thought to myself, why did I buy this? Like, why did I buy it? And I'm like, oh, and then like just sold it to my friend for a hundred bucks, and I just kept it. So there. fucking um, squadrons. This is this is the place I'm at now. This was this was essentially Heaven Sword's prototype for what will eventually become the duty support system, where you 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 take a bunch of NPCs with you to run dungeons, right? In case you don't like the MMO elements of Final Fantasy XIV, and you want to keep it strictly a single player game. Uh, you can use duty support to run dungeons with a bunch of AI controlled buddies. Uh, in Heaven Sword, this was in the form of your squadrons. Now, squadrons, I I'm going to dedicate a session to this specifically because there's, there are certain emotes that you can unlock by doing squadron missions. Um, but 
Uh, for Romani specifically, I'm, I've, I've been hard pressed in building the Lala squad where all of my squadron buddies are Lala fell. It's racist. It is. <laughs> anyway, so the problem is, <laughs> is that there's only a certain amount of Lala fell that you can recruit for your squadrons. Now, you you get more members for your squadron by visiting your enlistment paper, uh, papers. Now, new recruits will appear when you fulfill certain conditions, mainly when you complete certain things in your challenge log. The problem is if you want certain members to spawn, you have to do certain things and get it and get challenge logs completed for certain things of the day. So the Lala fills that I'm looking for specifically are from the gold saucer, but their spawn rate is very fucking low. And I have been trying to get these two to appear for months, months, just casually doing my gold saucer challenge logs that I think what I'm missing is streamer luck. So what I'm going to do real quick is going to take just two minutes. Bear with me. Assuming I didn't already do it. Actually, hold on. Let me check my challenge real quick. I think that's should, uh, should Hold on. Let me check my challenge log real quick. Where's my, where's my log? My challenge log, gold saucer. Okay, I didn't do anything from the gold saucer just yet. So let me, let me, let me, exactly. let me, let me fulfill a challenge log from the gold saucer. I usually just like to punch the cuff occur thing. But they have the you know, squad enlistment manual thing. Oh, uh, that too. But I didn't send my uh, squad for a thing. That's terrible. That was nowhere near close to the middle. I shouldn't be doing this while drunk. That was also bad. Oh, that was better than last time, but I was also not in the middle. I never got the direct center of this. See, look, challenge log okay. entry size doesn't matter. It's almost complete. We're almost done. Hopefully this one. So when you complete a challenge log, you unlock the chance to get a member for your recruitment. It's not guaranteed, though. There are two uh, gold saucer challenges you can do just by doing mini games. There is size doesn't matter and from small things. Uh, both are just given to you when you win enough MGP from rewards. Hey, there we go. Brutal. <laughs> You're a winner. <laughs> You're a winner. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah, I didn't even get MGP for that one. Nah, I just hit no on that one. <laughs> no, I'm going to try. Yeah, nah, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a new recruit has arrived. View a list of papers oh, in the brags. Okay, there we go. That is that lets you know that you have a new recruitment in your squadrons ready for enlisting if you decide to accept them. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back to our squadron HQ and see if it's that fucking Lollafell. I was like, see if it's a fucking cat boy and get him though. Yeah, Fuck if out. it's that cat boy again, I am going to shit. Because <laughs> I don't want him. I want the Lollafell in the fucking snowman glamour. <laughs> And it is here as soon as it appears. It's easy. See? Yeah, fucking click on the thing. No! <laughs> 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 You're just an elephant. <laughs> I don't want. Okay. I don't want that. That's not what I want. I, I I I want to. I want to complete my Lala squad. I have six out of eight. All that's left is Hasta Loea. And uh, Hasta Loega, more where's likely. the fucking? Where's the other one? Where did the other one go? Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Cecily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking, I, want, I, want, I want to be clear. For Joan, I don't go fuck. The squadrons are whoever the hell I have. <laughs> They're already maxed out. Uh, but it's like, yeah, it's like I've had enough of these tall people. <laughs> like, I want people my size for my Lala squad. But it's really fucking, it's annoying because you have to do specific things and you got to hope RNG is kind to you. You want the full daycare. I want the... Can you not okay. fucking infantilize all of it? You're part of the problem. <laughs> Fonz. You're fucking you just a dragon made player. <laughs> I'm married to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, oh, but, the, but, yeah but, the, but, but you don't you don't love your wife because she's a Lollafell. You love your wife because she's your wife. You know what I mean? Do I have to say that? Do I have to yeah. say love in public? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you're throwing a lot of words there. <laughs> yeah. Those are some words that uh, I've never said. But it's like, I want to construct my Lala squad. 
Unfortunately, there's only so many Lalafell that you can recruit in squadrons, and I have almost all of them already. So now I'm pixel hunting for those final two. And both you can get from the gold saucer. I think the other, I think you can also get one of them from Fates. But as we saw, the one I got from Fates was someone that's not a Lalafell, so it didn't, it didn't fucking count. Let's see. Uh, actually, I have some of the Lalafells here. Let's see. There is Sasha Shu. That's one of the. That's, that's the one I'm looking for, actually. Um, uh, that's. You can uh, also get it from PVP. Yeah, yeah, but I haven't done PVP with Romani just yet. That's later. We we'll get in and do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, later. No, not, not now. I'm tired. <laughs> but uh, oh, right, right. And the one, but the one I really want is the the Lalafell in the snowman costume. That's gold saucer. A, but that's also Cesariku. really rare. Yeah. Cesariku. Yeah. Um. But again, that's something I'm going to be demonstrating later uh, when we do a dedicated squadron session for Heaven Sword because Heaven Sword is when squadrons were introduced, and uh, I think. Squadrons are something you shouldn't sleep on because there's some exclusive workout emotes that you can get, like squats, push-ups, sit-ups, mm -hmm. uh, that sort of thing. Uh, and there's a couple of other benefits to uh, doing squadrons that I'll elaborate on a later time. But we're calling it a wrap now. I'm tired. I'm also very sweaty. You can't see it. My webcam is like shut off and I replaced it with ass blossom and no joy like some time <laughs> ago. But uh, this has been very fun, folks. Like, like, we're almost done the relic. Like grand, like we are almost fucking done the rug. After we do the crystal sand shit, all that's left, I think, is the light grind and the victory lap uh, with the with the trials. We we'll we'll, we'll we'll knock that out in a stream. We we're, we're gonna finish this stream this relic next stream. Uh, that yeah, it's the Zack Squad Triforce. It's it's the Final Fantasy VII Squad uh animation. I mean, it's just basic squads. It's not exactly that. It's not like Zach, like Seven has a patent on it, you know. I think it does. Does it? But uh, just to reiterate, folks, because I'm not going to be streaming again for some time, except for the Sonic Hacking Contest stuff, please do save the date, November 4th to November 5th. Legend of Zelda, cheers for the children. This is our next Extra Life 24-hour charity marathon. We're playing a bunch of Zelda games, and our, our trailer for it is going to be going live tomorrow to give you guys all the info that you need for, uh, for the festivities, the good times. There are a lot of raffle prizes to be won for this one, and I'm hoping it's going to be a humongous turnout, and we got a lot of things just in store for that. We're just in terms of just having good times and good vibes, a lot of folks, a lot of friends, a lot of fucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, two edibles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Not uh, no edibles. Not no. Because if I took an edible during the middle of the stream, I'd sleep and never wake up. If there's one thing we can guarantee, there will be a Zelda somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Just maybe. We'll save her. That's a different question. Yeah. But yeah, save the date. This is when it's happening. Again, official trailer will be going live tomorrow. You can get more info uh, than in there. Cheersforthechildren.com. That will that will directly link you to our actual life page where you can make your donation if you can afford it. And if you can't spread the word, that does more than enough. Believe you and me, it does. I help a lot. If you can't make a contribution, just simply talk about it. Spread the word. Just tell folks that we're streaming. Or they're trying to raise money for some kids out there, folks. For the holiday season, they really need more now more than ever. But uh, again, more info to come for the trailer coming out tomorrow. I hope you guys in, uh, tune in. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys starting Monday, uh, 7 p.m. EDT for our first night of the Sonic Hacking Contest 2023 showcase. That should be a fun time. Uh, as always, though, I will catch you guys next time. See you guys tomorrow in the sub community discord uh, for Scooby Doo on Zombie Island for our Halloween movie night. That should be Ooh. pretty fun. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, we should we should have a good time for that one. This has been fun, though, guys. Thank you for your time and company. And I'm um, sorry for the webcam going, but there's nothing I can do about that. But uh, yeah, yeah, uh, have a good night, everybody. Let's find someone to read. What the fuck am I talking about? Oh, Amy's online. Let's go raid Amy. Uh, she is playing Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Uh, we that. need a raid hashtag, though. Uh, I don't have one. Mm. Relic BS. Of uh, we, we went on so much Yu-Gi-Oh tangents. Of. Uh, I, I I don't know. Street sharks. The <laughs> <laughs> Get ash. Get ash, idiot. <laughs> or miscellaneous saurus. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that that that'll that, that'll set them for a loop. Hopefully, unless they play Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like, oh fuck that. This is supposed to be awkward. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good night, everybody. Take care. Send me my love, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>